We're talking about Camden. Let's try this again. On seven hours, I'm trying to save five minutes. The true classic man. Nice pixie time. Very nice. Hopefully you get a nice haircut. Um, but yeah. No, no, that's not a role I can add. Hey, shameful one. Yeah, on weekends I try to go earlier because, um, normally my job doesn't let me stream during the daytime, and I figured the weekend would be a good time to do that. And I've been doing it for, uh, Force of Habit. I finally got the key. We're now locked in. There'll be no more resetting for the next seven or six hours or so. This can tend to be a six-hour run because I'm really bad at Haunting Ground. Either way, I'm wondering, do I want to do New Game Plus Haunting Ground? I think it's just a better quality of life change, but uh, it's New Game Plus and people might not like that. Calling out, calling out Twitch staff? A lot of people will do that. Correct, Archangel. Um, I've worked at my job for two, uh, three and a half years. Um, I've been there for a while. I paid off my student loans as of last year. And overall, it's just going to be kind of interesting. I know that. Hi, Unitex. Your chat is broken? How so, Exion? Also, how's the stream? We gotta get on. Apparently, the chat rules are bullying people. That's not good. I set them up so people wouldn't get bullied. But what can you do? There we go. Hey, it's a fun grind, Archangel. I, I honestly never thought I would get partnered on Twitch, but it's kind of interesting to see how far it's all really come. And even more so, uh, the big thing I got partnered for, and I guess I've been known for, was Clock Tower, in a sense. And just the weirder games. I, I think it's also kind of a weird position I have that. Wait, why am I going for God RNG? I almost tell me. Mobile's fine? I think it might be the rules that might be doing it to people. It might be the rule set. I was about to go for world record strats on a run like this. Why was I going for. Yeah, exactly. Right? I'm about to go for like world record mode. Piano, good to know later. So, let's talk about the history of each Clock Tower game while we're doing these, because I think it'll be an interesting thing to add on while I'm playing. So, this is obviously the first one, Clock Tower SNES, and when this game came out, it was an absolute bang. This game was a hit in Japan. Not like the biggest hit, mind you, but this game really paved the way for the horror genre in a sense. It really is one of the earliest examples of cat and mouse style gameplay. And, in a sense as well, this game was one of the first to really feature a system where you can't fight back. Other games obviously can still do this as well, and there were others, but I'd say Clock Tower was the notable one to really kind of infuse this. People will mention Alone in the Dark as one, but I feel like you can fight Alone in the Dark. I could be wrong. Oh my, did I really, wait, did I really mess this up? I sorry, please be, please do not be, please do not be the library, please do not be the library, or please be the library, I should say. Please do not be the empty, oh, thank God, thank God, thank God. I was about to say, did I ruin the RNG? Did I, like, go for worst RNG and not get... That was almost the God Seed. Correct, Archangel. Uh, in a weird sense, it is. Because none of the Clock Tower games relate to each other after 2. It all just uses the same name and theme, so anything in the Clock Tower sphere of gaming counts to me. Alright, looks like we're going with the Staff game already. My god. I got bodied. Okay, where's the... This is Pink Bathroom. The first room to, I think, it was Staff. Do I understand Japanese and memorize the text? Memorize the text. Also, we're gonna do this. <laughs> we're gonna get the upper floors done first. Ah, shit, I probably should've done the second. Ah, uh, yeah, I should've done... Alright, um... We'll do the dad first, just while I'm up here. I'll be faster, I've already committed. And clearly, Zoku, my Japanese is absolutely impeccable. I, oh my, that was that was first try. I don't agree. There we go. Oh my, oh my. Shindeiru. Shindeiru. Oh, right, we're doing staff. My muscle memory is just absolutely botting me today. Anyway, C ending of Clock Tower SNES is my favorite ending, if you're wondering, out of all of them. Oh god, I, I keep doing this wrong. Eh, that's fine. I'm used to having different items. I need the rope. Yeah, it's simple. And a lot of it I knew because I played the I played the English translation a lot, so I kind of just remember it from that. Ghost Head is an interesting one. If you're wondering what the worst game of the list is going to be, of actual, like, am I having fun? Clock Tower 2. Of, like, like, the hardest? Haunting Ground, by far. Haunting Ground's insane. 
Thank you, Cheese Dude. There's a, a big announcement kind of celebrating those two years, in a sense. Ghost Head is at least fun. Like, I can't complain about Ghost Head just because Ghost Head at least is a game. Clock Tower 2 isn't a game, it's dialogue. There we go. The, the girl in Clock Tower 3 isn't smart because Yalador. In Clock Tower 3, all she had to do was win is not come home. And she did the exact thing she had to do to to not win. Alright, and now we are off from here. I figured out the truth. I just want to get the key. Also, Rock Tower Steven, how's it going? Good to see you. I, yeah, I gave the big announcement. I'll be going full-time starting in February. And also, I'm not entirely bullheaded. I'm not entirely just... Um, Going to chase something I don't think is obtainable. Like, if I notice it might not be going well, give a text. The gift sub the Alador. Thank you very much for the gift sub. It is much appreciated. And the first time gifting a sub to the channel. That being said, as well, if I feel like I can't do it and I feel like it's not going well, I, I'm giving myself six months to kind of obtain this knowledge. If it is going well, I'll be going full-time here. I've been working full-time my job for three and a half years. Who's gonna break my printer now? People already break my printer. I made sure I talked to my boss to make sure he'll be okay. I'm still gonna be working there while they, I ideally, I think, find a replacement. I mentioned if I can help them in any way. I would. It just, for right now, I'm about to see. Oh, I, I keep doing things wrong. Wait, I don't need the crows. What am I doing? I don't need these. We're doing, we're doing sea ending. My god, my routing for C ending is so off right now. I'm using like A, I'm thinking like A ending because of the staff. There we go. Alright, let's get the staff. Shouldn't I sub myself first? Oh, you mean Unitech. Oh, you mean me? I'm already subbed. We need running horror in general or Clock Tower exclusively. J Dob, I run exclusively horror. So Clock Tower is just the biggest series, like I do, because I love the series. I do the entire series for multiple reasons. But um, yeah, I always do horror games. That being said, I plan on learning new horror games. Still, I'm not gonna drop that. I, I do love learning horror games. They're fun. Um, a couple of games I have in mind I want to do are I've kind of geeked out about The Darkness too. Um, I don't know how good that would be, but I'm interested to try it. Hellblade, just kind of for the sake of showing off Hellblade, because it's an interesting game, it's just a bit long. And also, that kind of opens up longer games, given that I'll have more hours to do this. Um, a big thing that was kind of preventing me from learning the games like The Evil Within has been I don't have the time to learn that. Scrylo, Haunted Ground as a speed game is RNG. It's pretty rough. Um, Huey can be a bit of a problem. In the late game, it's easy, but... Early it's hard. And Song of Horror is fun. I, I did, um, three of the things. Roll of Horror? I've heard about that game. What is that? Hope it's good. There we go. Alright, doll fight time. Do I get the RNG manip? I don't know. I'm so cool. Thank you, Barbie. But that being said, the next big event I have my eye on is RPG Limit Break, which will be submitting soon. That's actually something I want to mention as well, Shameful One. Nightcry is part of the run, Lady Samus. It goes Clock Tower all the way to Remothered, so Nightcry will be happening later on. There I am. Oh, he didn't get the RNG. He didn't get the RNG minute. This is fine. Although, fun glitch I can show you off now. If you walk into this, you just face tank the doll, and it's hilarious. But yeah. Uh, so I kind of hope that explains a lot of it. Yeah, I added a few more, Teddy. I added two more. I want to add more as we go as well. She uses the force, right? Just like bounces off her skull. Also, fun fact for Remothered. I, I learned this today and I'll tell it when we get there. But I actually figured out what Rosemary Reed's design is based off of. Because I asked Chris Darrell about it and he got back to me on that. Well, also, it does suck, Teddy. You'll get that one for free. I have heard of Elbleed TMC. That game is painful to play. Very fun to watch. 
I have a donation incentive to play it again because that game is painful to play. Nice, Exion. Uh, also, we have to get extra items because I have a staff route. Oh, grab a thing. Thank you. Let's get out. But yeah, it's kind of weird, though, in a sense that this is the shortest game of the entire series. Like, yeah, I added Chris Darrell, like, yesterday, and he got back to me today. Like, this morning. Not you? Chris Darrell likes me. I'm, I don't know. I'm, I'm adjacent to Italians. I don't know. Mr. Rofek, how's it going? I did do the announcement. Teddy, I'll be going... I didn't DM him. I just added him on Twitter, Joe. I, um, I'm going to be going full-time streaming starting in February. So, we'll see how that goes when it comes down to it. Um, I have a hopefully good feeling on it. As the current way stands, I don't have a lot of bills. Mainly because I live at home. Like, I feel like if I didn't live at home, this would be a very different thing. But currently, I, I live at home. I've been living here so I can save money. I have some money saved up, so in case I need to cover bills, I can do that. Or if I need to, like do anything else or go for events I have money to front that essentially ah come on oh I didn't get the the glitch that's fine yeah I think the full series all endings would be an interesting category although I would like save scumming is absolutely allowed for that I, I want to make that known like let's see Nightcry would be about an hour clock tower SNES would be about two hours um Clock Tower 2 is the one I'm most worried about, and Clock Tower Ghost Head. Holy shit, I would hate Ghost Head so much if I had to do that. Ghost Head would be so brutal to do all endings for. If you're wondering why Ghost Head's easily the worst for that, so Clock Tower SNES has S through H. That's pretty reasonable, all things considered. That's like nine endings. Ghost Head goes all the way from A to M. Yeah, M, as in... Well, I guess either one would be bad, but, like, M is in... I don't know. I mean, I feel like that as well. I, I don't like... I don't really like making it the big front runner for things. Like, I have the Silent Hill 4 donation incentive, but also because I want a clean VOD, I'm not going to put it on here. Hey, thank you, Dan Francisco. Hope you're having a great day. Correct, Eva. Many ending. Mancy. I... Whenever I say M, I don't want to say Mancy, because that's always the first thing that comes up now, because of Archer, and I'm annoyed by that. Dan Francisco. It's a fun one. I'm doing well. Also, if you're wondering if anyone knew, Azon knew the whole time. He knew the whole time, I didn't tell you. Medicate? Correct. Oh, hey, Mary's in here. We're good. Also, you guys want to... Wait, chat, really quick. Question. Does Laura spark joy, chat? Does Laura spark joy? Laura does not spark joy. So she must go. I'm going to answer the phone. Oh, just a dead phone. Yeah, it was a fun one, Dan. It was a really fun one. Clock Tower SNES, uh, definitely breaker. I think of all the games, Clock Tower SNES is probably the best speedrun. Uh, it just, it's a lot of fun. There's, there's a, there's good guides, there's a lot, good runners, there's a lot of help. It's probably the most thriving community of the entire Clock Tower series currently. Uh, the only one that has runners outside that maybe is, weirdly enough, Ghost Head. I wonder where the hell I run. Remothered technically has runners, but I would say, is there, how many hours will it take? All endings? I'm trying to calculate, because... Let's see, you'd have to get all of Helen. I think Clock Tower 2 in Ghost Head would be the worst, but everything after that should be fine. Haunting Ground would be the longest. Haunting Ground by far would probably be the longest. Like, my god, that ending is tough to get all the endings in. I'd even consider Haunting Ground. Haunting Ground. Haunting Ground, absolutely. You'd have to make a save right before Debilitus. You'd have to route C ending. You'd have to then kill Debilitus, run the entire game. You'd have to abuse Huey so you can get one of the endings. And you'd have to do a lot to get that one going. Yeah, Ghost Head would be insane. Also, I'm losing time because I got Demon Idol previously on this. Alright, we got it. Hopefully this works. Don't mind time loss here, we make it all up later. Haunting on his time save. 
Take it easy, Pixie Time. Take it easy. And thank you. Yes, it's for the Twitch anniversary. That's correct. Do you have to meet Lorenzo? Meet Lorenzo where? To get the best ending in Haunting Ground, you just have to not kill Debilitus, and you have to be nice to Huey. Those are the only major factors, actually. Like, obviously, you have to beat the game, but still. Roz. Highlighted. Sweetie, sweetie, coming for Ek Booty. No! Also, Roz, I officially announced the news. But yeah, going back to that, though, uh, Neo. Cloud Tower SNES. Um, there's visual guides, there's text guides, there's, like... Uh, there's plenty of runners who would help. It is a very good game to pick up speedrunning. Alright, perfect. I did it right. I was worried I didn't look at the mural. Also, you guys are going to see why staff games are bad. It's because you have to do this. You have to learn how to use the staff, because Jennifer doesn't innately know how to do it. Also, now you're only going to see Jennifer's full story. Oh, yeah. Also, I think I have the goal now. I need to find my PS3. Also, you wonder why Clock Tower doesn't have splits? It's just because it's it's the shortest by far. And we get to go to Arby's, correct? I have my PS2. I need to find PS3. Correct, Teddy. And we're about to hit the end of Clock Tower PS1. So for the story of this game, if you haven't noticed, we've kind of been running around. Scissor Man chases us. Um, we learn Mary is not who she says she is. She's bad people. And as well, we're going to about to see our friend Lot die. Lot dying is actually one of the most important things you can get. If she doesn't die, you can't actually beat the game, even if you learn the truth. She's very important to kill. Like, you need to kill Lot. If she doesn't die, you can't actually beat the game, I don't think. Oh, I didn't look at the book. Oh, I could just... Yeah, that, that's fine. This game is really unique. It's interesting, especially being a point-and-click game on the SNES. Devotion got me good. Alien Isolation can still get me. But it really depends on the game, I suppose. And, yeah, I guess that's kind of most of the news I had for now. Uh, no family share. Joe, I learned you have to log into my account, so it's definitely a no. Like, I, I heard about family sharing. I have to log into the computer for you. Which I no, I'm not, I'm not gonna do that. I'm a good pro Spartan. How are you doing today? No, no family for Juo. Area. This game was ahead of its time. And the quietness gets weird though, because they really hammer on that in later games, and it's it's, it's strange. You have to log onto the computer at some point, and then you can install the game. Yeah, NASA was not a head shaved house, no, I'm going full time. Although, I still do want to donate my hair to make a wig at some point, so we'll see. Is it my birthday? No, it's my Twitch anniversary. Uh, it's not only it was during GDQ, but we didn't get to celebrate during that, so today is the day we're celebrating. How many clock tower games have a clock tower? This one, clock tower PS1, uh, clock tower 3. Technically haunting round, and that's it. Shadow celebrating the room with me. Yes, here earlier. That is Dan. Dan Barros, orphan meat baby Dan, tiny bird, the twin brother of ba of Bobby Barros. There we go. Oh God, yes, yes, Breaker. It's fucking cursed, and I hate that so much. Oh, I missed it. That's fine. Okay, we're doing C endings, so we're going to the bottom. Hmm. I wonder what's happening up there. Kronos! The tier one sub. For nine months. Thank you, I think I was just bugging out. Happy Twitch anniversary. Thank you, Arith. It is much appreciated. And yeah, uh, in a sense, it's all gonna be sorta of weird. I've always had this picture in my splits. This is just the one I use in general underneath me. And just in the Spirit Clock Tower, you might realize it's actually the Clock Tower box art I've been using. There we go. Oh, no, no, that's like a more recent thing. And also, I don't normally stream under the first fear. So, yeah. Also, fun fact, Clock Tower the First Fear is what this game is supposed to be on Twitch. 
You know how many- why is my screen blinking? Or is that the- is that lightning? It's lightning, okay, I'm like, wait, is my game breaking? I hope it's not breaking, I love this game. When the new Rooney emote drops? I know Moonshine has done a lot more work on it. She sent me a colored sketch with uh, a lot of the line art, so... Soon. Very soon. And that's the box art for the Japanese uh, PS1 game. What's happening to that old woman? That's Mary. Uh, she found out we... Archangel! Now! The 10 gift subs of the community. Breaker. TMC. Rith. Silas. Young Espresso. Trader. Little Brother. Pelican. Uh, Afriz. And Neen. Also, there's Clock Tower. Sea Ending. Thank you for the 10 subs. It is much appreciated. How the kids entered the house, they got adopted. And we are watching all the ending. This one is good so far. We've earned the ending. Oh yeah, it's it's a good one. Thank you, Archangel. It's the Twitch anniversary and the announcement full time, so it all it all works well. Oh my god, wait, I might I might actually have to do Sound Hall 4 soon. Shit. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. We're, uh, apparently nine subs away now from Silent Hill 4 in the Team Silent Marathon. Which I'll have to learn how to do Silent Hill 4. I'll have to hit up Enigma for that. Wait a minute. Wonder what yours is? I remember mine on the day. Actually, if you remember why, if you guys don't know why I remember mine, I can go to my car and grab it for you. Because I carry around, a, I, I have two of these so far, and I have one every year. At the beginning of every year, I buy a calendar, and I write down every single stream and any major event that happens, and all the details of it. I hear that, Baka. I hear that. And I have those in my car, and I'm immediately take them inside. I have two of them right now that are full. I have a third one that's starting. It's a good calendar. It's a good one. Ah oh, shit, we got raw danger. Sound of 4 is fun. Exactly. If you guys are wondering why I picked the ending, by the way. So too quick no, stream's over. Ha! <laughs> now you can see where my stream ending comes from. Also, a lot of my stream settings are obviously clock tower based. The the ending, my splits, the follow alerts, donation things, like a lot of my stuff's clock tower based. It's all over, fairly. Gotcha, Basta. Hang no! forward the gift sub that they got, and gifting 10 subs to the channel to Sir Dog, Zuyan, Alec, Sandria, Skyborg, Adagio, LPG, Katie, Nerdy Gamer, Eerie Lime, Zowzers, and I am adopted. Thank you very much, Gotcha Basta. It's much appreciated. And also, if anyone here got a sub gift from anyone, make sure you thank them. Make sure. Raw Danger's the next one. True. Okay, we have to do... Yep, we're gonna have to do Silent Hill 4 now. Holy shit. Uh... <laughs> it's been crazy supportive, and we just began. It's been Clock Tower SNES. So the reason why I choose C ending is because there are three canon endings in this game. A ending, B ending, or C ending. You may pick which one you like. A ending, um... There's Crows and Laura dies. Um and you see her die. I like Sea Ending the best though, because it features Jennifer actively taking down Mary. Uh, I think it's a neat thing, and she has to live with that. That being said, time for the next game. We'll set that up right now, and we'll be taking off the hat so we can put on headphones. There you go. It is now time. I have Christina. I'm going to be streaming full-time starting in February. Oh, we're going to be hearing Jennifer more in the next game, don't you worry. There we go. Yeah, it'll be fun. Thank you, Tiny Bird. It's a nice one. I, I enjoy my hair. Keep at it, Archangel. It's a fun climb. It's a very fun climb. Anyway, I uh, gotta get my... I'm emulating for the next two. <gasps> Doc Awesome. 
tier one. One year. That went by fast. Thank you year. for a year of great content. Thank you very much, Doc Awesome. Enjoy the golden scissors. It's been good having you around. Okay. Time for the next one. Also, I need to get out my... I have a just minor guide for this one because I never remember Ghost or Clock Tower PS1. I don't do this game all that often. Anyway, um... There we go. Oh, I need to... Hold on, do I have this ready? Do you have bloody scissors? Right? I hope this skips it. Oh god, look at that. It's beautiful. I need to change the title of the stream, by the way. One whole week, Zoku. I'm proud of you. Hey, it works. Cool. Let me change the title. There we go. That was a good... <laughs> That is true. I like this game. Ooh, hold on. I want to check one thing really quick. Is this your favorite clock tower? I like this clock tower a lot, but it has some issues. Hold on. Hmm. Hmm. All right. We ready to go, chats? We're doing... Oh, I need to move this out of the way. I have one thing I need to move. We are doing the category known as Jennifer 100%. Also, I'm holding the window. Put this back, actually. There we go. Okay, oh my god, this fucking... This game, man. This game. Three, two, one, let's go. I hate this game so much. <laughs> it's a speed run. This game is such an awful speed run. This is the worst one. Well, surprise, Dark Viewer. I'll be going full-time streaming starting February. I hate it more than the ghost said? Yes, I do. I put it on the schedule? I did. I have to. It's part of the series. Yeah, it'll be interesting. And, Athelene. I'm glad you enjoyed it. And yeah, it's it's been a fun. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. What on earth are you doing I love that we get that one, too. You mustn't hypnotize her like this. She's not ready to remember the murders yet. Helen. The clock tower murders are fascinating research material for me. I must know the truth of what happened. This for 12 minutes. She can't take any more of this today, Professor. I'm taking her home. All right. But remember one thing, Helen. Oh, you get to hear all the dialogue, though. You may be her guardian. Yes. But you are also... Also, you're going to see the full story, so I'd be wondering about that. Clock Tower Murders? Yes, a shameful one. What's been happening is, Mary's been up to her scheme for quite a while. This isn't a thing where, um, like, Mary just had the Clock Tower Murders with Jennifer and then all of them died. She's taken many people to that house, adopted them, and has been eating orphan meat for a while. So it's known as the Clock Tower Murders and Jennifer put a stop to it. This game takes place one year afterward. Also, just that trippy image. And as a result... Uh, currently we're in therapy and uh, the police station to kind of figure more out about this. Jeez, dude. Quick crime stuff. There we go. Not sure why I didn't do this before. Congrats again on two years, and I am excited for full time. Thank you very much. It's going to be an interesting thing, and I'm excited to share it with all of you. 
And thank you again for the Twitch Prime for two months. Two survivors? No, there's... Everyone survives in this one. We're doing 100% Jennifer. Um, the canon ending can really be Jennifer or Helen, but I like Jennifer because Jennifer is bae. She is inspirations. I love Jennifer Connelly. But also, this game gets a really creepy look into Jennifer, and that's upsetting. Oh, yeah. I own this game, and it's somewhere in my garage, so that's why I'm emulating this. I ha I don't have the emulator window up, though, just because I like presentation more than... This isn't an official category, it's just something I do. No one else has ran this, so more people decide to run this, then I'll worry about competitive time. Oh, yeah, Azon will never let me live this down. So if you guys are wondering, this is the game I played with my buddies Azon and Shiroi, and they will never let me live down the fact that I made a grave solution. I, I did the right thing, and they will never accept that I did the absolute right thing the entire time. I definitely did nothing wrong. Hey, I didn't kill all the man. Yep, this game is almost entirely dialogue, shameful one. And if you don't roll the record, all you have to do is buy a Japanese PS2. You let chat decide? Yes. <laughs> you have to talk to everyone, by the way. You have to talk to everybody. They're all talking about the Scissor Man and how there is currently a Scissor Man running around. He's returned. And as well, it's just kind of building the story upon it. The Scissor Man returns one year afterward, right? This has been the time of faxes, by the way. Fun fact this is where you decide who you play as. Oh, definitely, Breaker, definitely. This is where you decide who you play as. If you talk to this man once, you play as Helen. If you talk to him twice, you play as Jennifer. So we're doing Jennifer. What do you miss? Iago. We're doing the Clock Tower Full Series Marathon. And I will be streaming full-time in February. Yep. That is correct, Dirk Navi. Harris is also, um... Really into Jennifer. Now, guys... Which one is creepy? Uh, here's a here's a question. Which one is creepy? A 25-year-old man hitting on a 15-year-old girl, or a 35-year-old man hitting on a 15-year-old girl? Also, look at this man's camera. Both? Correct. Both. Yes. Both. C. All the above. The answer is both. That is very correct. Oh, God. Well, Helen's, like, the best character in this game because she calls out Nolan like, Hey, Jennifer's 15, bro. The entire fucking game. Also, does he even have a camera? Look at his hand. He's just like this. The love interest in this game is 25. This game is all sorts of fucked up. People will remember this one more than SNES. That's the next one, Barbie. He has a very small camera. I love... Dude, I mean... Tim is the greatest character. Look at his style. He has clout. He has drip. Nolan does the 400 IQ move. It's also implied that Nolan doesn't... Nolan and Jennifer's relationship doesn't last. That's correct, San Francisco. It was localized. And also, this... You know what the worst part about this is, though? So, guys. Quick, quick question. What's worse than a game where if your main character is 15, there's a 25-year-old man who's the love interest and a 35-year-old man who's the villain who's hitting on her? Can the game get any worse in weirdness? The answer is yes, but you don't know how it can get worse in weirdness. No. No. No, worse than a 45-year-old man. You can, Dan. Worse than 75-year-old. So Jennifer's 15, and you can make... Some creepy people might make the argument, Oh, the age of consent's over 15 in Norway. Okay, fine. Go. Let's assume your argument makes sense for a brief moment. It doesn't, but let's assume. 
The main twist of this game... I'm, I'm gonna level a spoiler with you right now. There is a 10-year-old kid, and this 10-year-old kid is manipulating a literal pedophile into doing his bidding. Hey, Gerp. Yeah. And you have to wonder which part is worse. It is the Ice Teddy. Thank you, Gert. It doesn't scream Game of the Year, are you sure? I want to say about that one. I thought that was Rule of Rose? No, Rule of Rose is a couple of, uh, like, little girls, um, being bestest of friends and having a, like, childhood crush relationship. And also, something else is kind of weird. What is this game? This is Clock Tower, PS1, and the story got really fucking weird. Oh, don't worry, there is someone in this game who is 10. And they're coming up right now. Gals being pals? A couple of gals being pals, correct. Alright. Oh, hold on. Uh, talk to Harris twice? No, Harris there. Snip, snip. Me, my Yalador. The cool thing about this game as well is it's a giant whodunit. Is it a special announcement? I already did. You missed it, Gert. Now you'll never know about the announcement. Oh, I have to look at the demon now. Hold on. The, the announcement is I'm going full time in uh, February. The Who Done It's actually an interesting thing because the twist of this game is really neat. Uh, in case you guys are going to know, I like if you haven't figured it out yet on who it might be, I'm not going to spoil it, but um, I'll let you know who Who Done It later on. It was Bryce Cube. It was Killer Man. This is a pedo. I didn't say oh, Camden. 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 Uh, hold on. Oh shit. Was it yes? Okay, thank God. I was like, Do I pick yes. It's yes. Clock Tower is owned by Capcom, as far as I know. How's it going, Extracto? Welcome. Camden. I never said it was a man. I never said it was a man. How's it going, Demon Little Ralts? What is a man? A miserable pile of secrets. Chris Darrell has actually kind of mentioned that if he was to do Clock Tower as a remake, it would be um, based in... What's the word? We kind of like how Sherry's section was. But there you go. The game had some interesting beats. It just, the game got really weird. Also, notice this kid's short. Like, my god. Why are his shorts like that? They're tiny, they're rectangular. Why? Why are her shorts so short? Who likes short shorts? Edward likes short shorts. This kid right here is named Edward. Apparently, he's also a survivor of the Clock Tower murders. Rectangles, apparently. Me too. Is Edward the 10 year old? Well, he is 10. Yay, we did it! All right, now you can be Jennifer. Okay, we need to go to the University Research Building. Also, the game had like a weird like go to locations thing. This game was actually really weird and doesn't like correlate to any other game in the series like this. Like Ghost Head doesn't do any of this. How's it going, Wallaby? Well, it's more than a lot of people in this game are short. Also. She's Norwegian. Which might be part of the reason as well. Right, Joystick? It's a weird map, Aveline. It's a really weird map. And yeah, thank you, Gerd, as well. It's, a, uh, It's an interesting thing to kind of have the full time coming up. 
Guys, you're doing well. Also, Camden, the best part is the shorts get shorter throughout the game. Also, this is uh, a new Leon National Hotel. Ah, uh, there. Yep. Exactly, Breaker. Oh, this is entirely just clicks. This is also the slowest game of the series. Once you pass this game, you're good to go. Tell me these shorts did not get shorter. You guys just saw the shorts in the last scene. Tell me they just did not get shorter than before. Maybe it's a skirt? No, they're like boys' shorts. Also, Kay works at the Granite Orphanage, which is the orphanage Jennifer is from. Alright, with all that now, um, honestly, this game is a fun game. I, I do enjoy the game, and this is set in Norway. Oh, wait, wrong thing. I've clicked out. I was like, wait, what am I doing? This game is set in Norway. They're short shorts. And ultimately, I do think this game is a solid game. I think it's a fun horror experience. We did Texan, and the surprise announcement is that I'll be going full-time beginning February. I put in the two weeks of my job, and I'll be leaving. You did guess right, which is why I didn't respond to you on Twitter. I feel like anything I said would have confirmed that. It's not a hard guess. There's only so many things that you can have. There we go. University staff housing. Someone's in the front of the house. Hey, look. A 25-year-old man is going to put the moves on a 15-year-old. Also, all the boy posters. You're the reporter that came to the university yesterday, aren't you? Oh, please. Call me Nolan. I've been collecting information on the clock tower. Me too. Case. For a long time now. Listen to me speak. Even though it is a really big case, very little of the truth is understood. As a reporter, I simply can't leave it alone. Yes. The truth. And I'm interested in you, too. Hey, what do you say to having dinner with me? I don't care what you tell me. I just want you to... Talk. Are you asking me for an interview or for a date? Oh, uh, well, uh... Uh... That's it. Both! Yes, both an interview and a date. All right then, teehee. Let's go. Now do you know why I mentioned the 25-year-old part? Now do you see why I mentioned this, by the way? Why did she agree? Good question. Very good question. Although, I do want to note, the game does have a good beat. Because why Helen, like, while Jennifer is kind of doing this... Helen is, like, extremely against Nolan existing. Like, she hates Nolan the entire game. And Helen is the equivalent of Jennifer's mom. Like, Helen is a great character. If you if you want to stand anyone in this game, it's Helen. Play a Helen story. Helen is great. Help. Someone is following me. Some kind of weirdo? Some kind of weirdo, yeah. Also, look at that walking. It's like, it's like that. Can you imagine that? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Oh god, I messed up. Oh. I forgot, it's virtually impossible to win those fights. done this game in a while. I went to the wrong area. Here we go. It was literally the story I had to enter. All good. All good. Good thing this isn't deathless. 
I had to go to this door. Have fun, Gert. There we go. Yeah, Helen is great. Helen's an amazing character. You're not going to notice much of her in the speedrun, though, unfortunately. Also, I love how we just do that. Is this a Bobby? No, Bobby died. This is a new killer. And we don't quite know who it is yet. The killer can be anyone. Um, this game is a big whodunit, so the entire staff that you met, you had to meet them for a reason. The killer could be any of the, of the staff. Also, the game is really weird on when it wants to run and when it doesn't want to run. Even you, chat. It can't be Bobby because Bobby died, though. Also, more importantly, this guy right here, if you talk to him, the scissor man pops out, so don't do that. Just, just leave the room. Hey, and I bet you guys are wondering, hey, first level of the game, it must be long, right? You're probably in for a very long first level. Well, about that. Uh, about that. About that. Hold on. We had to grab the oil can for the end of the game, because you actually that's another one of these things. Every clock tower game has some bullshit where if you don't do something level one, you're gonna be shafted in level three. So about the uh, level one being long, there are three whole floors to check out with tons of hallways and a lot of cool scares. We're already out. We're done with level one. I hope you enjoy level one. Although Jennifer did learn how to climb stairs in the past year. I have PT, I do not. I do the same exact thing whenever I climb ladders, by the way. How do you get the hint about how to do that? Oh, you find the ladder key, and then it's just a ladder. Like, you, you kind of look for it. Although, if you do that too early, you can go back. Fantastic! Texan! One day I'll throw enough at you to get WMG. Thank you very much for the $420. It's much better. What the fuck is going on? Gods and Helen are great. Gods and Helen are amazing. They're great characters. Like, if you're playing this game, do Helen's route. Helen's route's not creepy. Although Helen's face is creepy. It's like a fucking Picasso painting, dude. So the cool thing about Chapter 2 is you get to play as a new character. Uh, no matter who you're playing on, um, your character will change in chapter 2, depending on who you picked. And you can also pick the character, too. Uh, I need to talk to Helen. Uh, Jennifer. There we go. Yeah, this game came out before Resident Evil, by the way. Came out in 96. Either before or around the same time. Hey, PBJ, how's it going? Mute. Noon. How are we doing good? Noon. There we go. Anyway, University Research Building. There we go. You have to talk to certain people each time to make sure you're going the right way. And you need to talk to the proper people. We need to talk to Helen. Also, I love the fucking mask in the background. It came out before the rain? Yes. Although, I also want to notice, this game does acknowledge a cool thing as well, and that is that the Scissor Man name is fucking dumb. The guy's never called the Scissor Man. The Scissor Man is a name given to re by reporters that everyone at the police station says, don't fucking sensationalize this shit, it's fucked up. Which is why in the first game he's not the Scissor Man, he's Bobby Barros. But then later on they come to embrace the Scissor Man identity. Cool name, mind you, but it is fucked up. Oh yeah, Immune. We're doing the full Clock Tower series. We're already at Clock Tower SNES. We'll make up a lot of time in uh, Clock Tower 3 onward, I think. They're amazing though, Breaker. Think about it. You can cut up an entire man. An entire man. No, they're scissors. This game is... Uh, they are definitely scissors. I, I originally thought that they were hedge clippers like shears, but no, no. They are just straight up a giant pair of scissors. 
Thank you for the follow. It is much appreciated. Also, if you're wondering, early on in the game, I made a yes or no decision. Uh, that decision's going to become very important in a little bit. Uh, the decision is where is the demon idol. You need the demon idol to make it to night three. If you don't have it, you can't make it to night three. You have to go to the right spot. Also, here's Helen just going, uh, who's Nolan? She's kind of figuring it out and going, you probably shouldn't be dating a 25-year-old Jennifer. Anyway, now we're going to be going to meet up with that 25-year-old. Does the game tell you that you need it? Yes. Um, chapter 2 is all about looking for the demon idol. And you made a choice early on as Professor Barden, where you need to also find it. Also, the strategy here is to click on Nolan's ass the entire time. And this will give you both the dialogue and immediately put you on the yes option. It would not, murder. It would not. I like that name. Ooh, that's what I'm saying. Nolan, in his defense, isn't the creepiest guy in the world once you start playing. Like, he is nicer, and they kind of portray the relationship as more as the interview part. But the end of the game does have romance, but also it's implied it doesn't last. But yes. I, I just wanna, I wanna mention that. I love the Aztec though, you just click on his ass the entire time. Also, if you're wondering why don't I put Clock Tower PS1 in Marathon Days? Hey, Eck, should I run Clock Tower PS1? By the way, I hit a yes, and uh, I haven't hit the yes yet, though, but he'll be in a moment. It is, because the trigger is right there. You need the yes. If you don't pick yes, you die. It's very important you pick yes. Alright, now you get to play as Nolan. Exactly, Ashabasta. <laughs> yep. Although, do you guys know a man named Barry Burden? Do you guys know Barry Burden from Classic RE1? Jill, the master of unlocking. No, no, you just, you play as, if you pick no, you play as Helen, but I put the demon idol in here because it's faster. Wow, what a mansion. He's a, why is Barry Burden a piece of crap? So, fun fact, this old guy, this old guy is Barry Burden. I want you to know this. This old guy right here is Barry Burden. <laughs> Azon, if you're here, your favorite part's coming up. So, hold on, chat, at Azon for me. We need him here. We need Azon here for this. Also, Nolan's like everything. There you are. Thank you, chat. So Rick tells you about the Clock Tower Mansion. By the way, <laughs> in Clock Tower SNES, that is a mansion, right? Well, don't worry. There's a second Clock Tower Mansion in Britain. So not only is there the original Clock Tower Mansion, there's the second original Clock Tower Mansion in the UK. And that's what you learned from Rick. Yes, it's also a Baros Mansion. They had another Death Star just lying around. Here it is, chat. It's Barry Burden. It's Barry Burden. Oh, I know where I'm going. This is Barry Burden in a nutshell. Watch. So it used to hang in the Baros Mansion. Yes, what wonderful times they were, except for... Why? Why is he just waiting? Why would he wait underneath there? The entire time is like... This is a chandelier I got from the Barros! <laughs> 
That's the sound I'll also make if I don't make it into GEQ. <laughs> Just put on very burdened voice clips. Those are the sounds I'll make. Oh, God. Oh, God. So I have to get rid of the scissor man. Also, you know how level 1 was short? Well, level 2 is also short. I love this chandelier for being a butler. Also, how do you defeat the scissor man, you might ask? How do you defeat the scissor man? You get a fucking blanket! And then he just dies. Oh, I forgot how much I love this game in an actual sense. I don't like the dialogue mashing, but I love the actual game. It's just, it's great. Okay, uh, we have to get the demon owl now. No, the dialogue just comes randomly. It just randomly comes in. There seems to be something inside. Why didn't you grab it? He died by the dog. Yes, you can, Bryce Cube. You can die by the dog. A small room. It looks like a closet. Here's the demon owl, by the way. Also, the staff's not even canon, meaning the staff that Jennifer found in the first game doesn't even matter. She just found a random fucking staff. Hey, cool. The demon owl is all that really matters. Which makes the much worse. Also, I'm gonna try to show you guys an Easter egg here. Or uh, just a little funny thing, because it's fucking hilarious. Ah, damn. I'm gonna try it again. I'll give it three tries. Yeah. All right, one more. Uh, I don't think we're gonna be. I don't think we're gonna get it. Uh, damn. Come on, come on. Ah, uh, we didn't get it. So what I was trying to get is, um, if you enter this room, you can get a little like jump scare thing, where it, it causes the scissor man to chase you. But what it is, is it's a... The Scissor Man is, like, going back and forth in the rocking chair. It's, like, fucking dancing. And he's watching cartoons and laughing. But we didn't get it because he didn't show up. It's it's an RNG event. I tried to get it, but if I keep going, it'll take too long. Also, there's that guy just dead. Saturdays are made for dad's and dad's car there I am. rng it's rng for like technically a, a bad thing but i still wanted to show it off because it's fucking hilarious like the scissor man is genuinely watching it also while you're he's chasing you you could just like straight up like fall down the stairs and it's hilarious to watch nolan just like fall down the stairs also if you're wondering you do hell in scenario gots comes here Oh, wrong way. You have both uh, Helen uh, and Jennifer different scenarios. If you go in the other one, Helen gets played. Which is the library. There we go. Hey, he actually ran. How many clock tower games have we made in total? Officially four. Uh, in terms of the total of what I'll be doing today, I'm adding on three more to that. Also, the weirdest fucking boss fight in the world. Hey, the location of the Barrow's Castle. We found it, chat. We found the Barrow's Castle. That's all we have to do. Don't worry. There is a boss fight where Nolan is going to avoid these chairs and chuck a can of soda at a demon mask and then they fall. You will, Joel. You will. All right, now I can leave. We have the statue. You're on the edge of your seat? Well, don't worry, there's another mini bops fight. Now, to quote one of my favorite movies ever made, it's time to rub some dirt in your eye. Time to put some dirt in your eye. 
Hiya! Pocket sand. And then he just fucking runs away. The puzzle is genuinely... He gets soap, he throws it into a dog's eyes, and then runs away. Because that dog will kill you otherwise. Also, Jennifer has on her iconic... The iconic jacket. I love this outfit, dude. It's great. It's cool. Okay, time for the worst part of the game. In fairness, the dog would kill you if you go outside. And the dog kills uh, Rick in the other uh, ending. There we go. What the fuck is Clock Tower? Patch, this is the game people remember, by the way. And like, When people say Clock Tower was so good, I, I look at them and I'm like, y You mean SNES, right? No. They usually refer to this game. Who's the dog? Is that then? That's Rick's dog. Rick's dog is just deadly for some reason. Hey, did you damn? How's it going? Right, Leo? Right? Uh, not Leo. Neo. Right, Neo? Don't worry. It gets better. Why doesn't Rick have a front door? Well, sorry. He spent all his money on a chandelier. He can't afford luxuries like a front door. Nice. The dog grows violent because of Scissor Man magic. Have a good one, uh, diabetic. Take it easy, and uh, glad to have you around. Have a good rest of your day, and hope to see you next time, I do. Also, how is it going, Lest? Hope you're having a good day. Rick is very burdened, so yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, clearly maintenance. Pretty much, the dog gets possessed. Uh, police station. So, the worst part of this game. So, Nolan and Helen are going to accompany Jennifer. Um, or, sorry, Nolan, Helen, and, um, Gotts are going to accompany Jennifer. To the UK to save the day. Because the Scissor Man will keep killing until everybody's gone. However... Why you call an ambulance? Well, why, why would you, shameful one? Why, why not? Why not just not? Well, Jennifer's campaign's way better because the chandelier is fucking hilarious. He died as he lived. Who's embracing it? Also, he was old. Maybe it just happens. You know, you walk around your house all old, and the chandeliers fall on you. It's old. It's how you die of old age. Yep. Every single... Remember how I mentioned, like... I, I know, uh, Jenny, you mentioned you're like whodunits, right? Well, how do you force a whodunit scenario? Put every character in the game on a plane to the UK because they want to go on vacation to a castle. Some of them are accompanying Jennifer to save the day. Some are like, hey, Britain sounds cool. I'm going on a vacation and I'll join you. Every single character that we've met is going to the UK. It's amazing, Chris. This game blew my mind, lol. I love this game. It is really fun. Like, I, I, I'm making fun of it, but I make fun of it because I love this game. I'm not making fun of, like, the gameplay. The gameplay play is fine. It's just, the story is so fucking dumb, and I, I, have to, I just love it. And thank you for the tier one sub for two months. Yep. Also, you know what the best part is? So, you guys remember how I mentioned that, like, oh, why is Remother count as a, a Clock Tower game? Clock Tower Ghost Head doesn't relate at all. Clock Tower 3 doesn't relate at all. This is the last game of the actual series that relates. Also, going to the hotel. Because Jennifer wants to tell everybody. Including Kay and Edward. Although, I will say, the game has a really good twist. And I'm not going to say what that twist is, but it's a really good twist. Don't spoil it, by the way. If anyone knows, don't spoil it. You might know who the main villain is already, but there's actually a really big twist involving on that that you don't know, and I can bet you you don't know. The twist is good. The execution, not so much. But the idea was there. Yeah, all the all the game is in ch uh, level 3. Shameful one. Well, it's just so happened right when you get to level 3, by the way. Like, it's the intro to level 3. It's barely a Burroughs thing. That, that's the only reference. 
No White Claws? No, I haven't been able to buy any. I have a bottle of wine, but I have to use a cork to open that. But no White Claws today. They shall spoil, or they'll get banned for 10 minutes. 10 whole minutes. Okay, going to the university. Very nice, Dan. Very nice. Blood Orange is legit. Uh, that's a flavor, my dude. Also, I'm almost at 800 Twitter followers. Uh, here we go. Also, here's Harris, and uh, I don't even remember her name. Thank you for the follow. Oh, absolutely, Eva. Beth. Beth is her name. Oh, yeah. Like, literally, Beth just wants to see a castle, and I think that's fucking hilarious. Bagline is good. Like, there's no reason, and the best part is they call all this out in a bit. Uh, I'm gonna go back to the police station. I think. No, I was supposed to go back to the uh, Oslo. I made the wrong choice. It was Oslo. Yeah. Never tried truly? No, I don't use an Android phone. There we go. Perfect. Although I do hear they're good. I just I like the gimmick of white claws, they're funny. Although I'm not gonna lie, I saw the weirdest thing. What phone do I use? I use an iPhone. Uh, sad, I use an iPhone. I, it's just a phone to me, I don't really care all that much. Also, I, I went to, like, a diner with a couple of my friends, and we were, like, looking at desserts and everything, and I thought it was hilarious, because while we were looking at these desserts, they had a bunch of White Claws in the place they put, like, pies and everything. Like, go from Oslo to London on this Indiana Jones-style map. This is a thing. Well, yeah, White Claws are low-calorie. It's great. Looks like England to you. Depressing. I don't believe it. Yep, they're just trekking through the forest and Jennifer disappeared. Teach, have you seen Harris and Edward? Kay is looking all over them, but she can't find them anywhere. Oh, no. Jennifer is missing, too. They can't be missing. The castle, hurry. That was a cool cone. Scissor Man, the last scenario. Okay, here's the twist. Don't be afraid, Jennifer. It's me, Harris. Harris? Poor girl. Don't worry. I'll help you now. Where are we? Where is everyone? It was the 35 year old pervert. Correct, Dragoon. Wait for it. Just wait, wait, wait. He told me. He told me that if I, I kidnap, kidnap you, you, you to, to me. me. Also, you remember I talk like that? That's how they talk. Give you to me. He told me to dress up like Scissor Man and kill people. <laughs> and kill people. There's two scissor men! It's Clock Tower 2 with two scissor men! So, in the early game, Harris was killing everyone, but there's two scissor men out there, and you have to find out who the other one is. Right? Absolutely, Space Cowboy. Oh, the execution is shit patch, but the idea was there, and I give them props on that. Also, Jennifer Scenarios is tenly a bit tougher than Helen's, I would say. Yes! Yes, Jenny! Also, considering it came out at the same time, and the idea made sense. Also, the idea is done in both Helen 
and general scenario. The second Scissor Man changes based on who it is. The main Scissor Man does not. There we go. Alright, let's keep going. Also, general scenario is insane. I'm glad you enjoy it, Dan. We'll be doing that game later today, too, because that's a clock tower game, believe it or not. Two Scissor Men! Well, the English voice acting is the best, because you get and kill people. There we go. There we go, paper. This game is not like way before the room. This is like old school horror games, dude. It's fine. Like I don't, I don't ever dog voice acting. Like I love to meme on it, but I don't dog the voice actors. Nineties voice acting is just a, its own beast. And that's perfectly fine, all things considered, that I work with. Why are you ever scared of this game? Because it was it looked more realistic back then. The more and more you get used to things, you don't really notice. Also, oh, yes, we got moon. Chat, remember, we got the moon. I don't need the plate. We have moon. That's best RNG. That panel over here has three things to be on. It'll be either sun, moon, or star. We got moon. There we go. I love Gots, by the way. Listen to Gots. He's great. You're still alive. Kim, he's like dying. Mr. Gots, thank heaven, you're all right. It's assistant inspector. Assistant inspector, chat. Inspector Gots. I'll go and look for the others. It's assistant inspector. Hey, it's be careful. Assistant Assistant Inspector Cots. Also, um for this ending we need to save everybody. You can actually get people killed and Gots is one of the people who can die if you're not careful. Leonard doesn't show up in this game. This game is uh the predecessor to Leonard. Although Gots is a good model of what Leonard would eventually become, I think. I think uh, Gots is just a great character, so we get Gots in this game. He's the Leonard of this one. Also, even weirder, like, Clock Tower Ghost Head does some something similar to Clock Tower PS1, but it doesn't. And it's really weird because it almost does. It's a pretty neat series, in all honesty. Right, let's get out of here. Okay. Exactly. This is the Alpha Leonard. Like, the pre-Leonard. pre, pre -Leonard, The Beta Leonard, I should say. The Beta Test Leonard. And then later on, you get Perfection. Although, as well, the game does have some good stuff. Ghost Head is pretty good, all things considered. It's a bit rough, but a lot of the Clock Tower games are rough. It's kind of just emulating the old-school style. And, for the most part, is this game bad? No. I don't think this game is bad. Is it creepy? Yeah, it can get a bit creepy in more than just the sense of a horror game kind of creepy, where you have, like, monsters and, like, creepy things running around. This game gets creepy in an uncomfortable way that I don't know why they made it that way. But in the same vein, a lot of this game does things right. I don't actually know they consider Nightcry a financial success. As far as I know, they put Nightcry to the side. They did not... There's no hype behind it, barring they did do the Vita version. Exactly. This game came out before Resident Evil, by the way. So I can't really fault it. Also, there's a funny thing if I get chased by the Scissor Man. We won't, because as long as you're making progress, you should be fine. But yeah. Port Nightcrawler to Switch? They did it to the Vita. They do it to real console hours. Okay, uh... I'll get out of here. There we go. Alright. Also, this one always gets me fucked up. I look at the book. I never look at the book. Also, this is where the actual game comes in. If it, I feel like if we just did level 3 speedruns, it would be an actual speedrun. But, yeah. Also, another important thing to note, the running in this game isn't consistent. Like, sometimes she'll run, sometimes she won't. Take it easy. Thank you. Have a good one, Digidam. 
You know, they really should, Johnny. That's a good idea. That's a really good idea. There we go. Doing good, Sneaky Magic Man. Hope you're doing well. Yep, we're celebrating the two years. Two years of streaming with the game that pretty much started it all. Jennifer. You see, Azon, I didn't kill Professor Barden. He lives. Professor Barton, are you all right? I'm not injured. This is an extremely important experience <laughs> for me. Shush. Because here I am at the site of the murders. A very, very intriguing situation. Hmm. hmm. Oh, Professor Barton. I found something I would like you to look at. There you go. Thank you, Sneaky Magic Man. Hmm. I do want to note, though. Yeah. Also, Joe, have a good night, man. Take it easy. I'm glad you're doing good, Sneaky Magic Man. Words to open the door. Yeah, I'll open. It's good. One more. Barden's a bit weird, because Barden, in Jennifer's scenario, is just kind of really into the whole thing. Shh. ni ha a sh I don't know. It means to open a door, just as it says, but it doesn't say which door. Also, Barden's faster than doing Helen, because you have to get Barden anyway, and Helen would take too long to go to. There we go. So the thing is with Barden... In Jennifer's scenario, he's just a guy who's really into the clock tower murders and the case. The, uh, hold on. Uh, yeah. In Helen's scenario, Barden is the secret scissor man. Which is really insane, given that uh, Je um, Barden and Helen have their own creepy relationship. And that one kind of makes a lot more sense, because Helen doesn't like Barden very much. But they have to work kind of together in a begrudging way, and they're kind of adversaries. Which is why both Helen and Barden can translate Latin for you. In Jennifer's scenario, that's not nearly as explored upon as you get Harris's thing. Harris isn't a bad guy in Helen's. Harris is only a bad guy in Jennifer's, and they actually change the villain um, based on which one you play, which is an interesting thing. GDQ is a lot of fun. I'm going to be excited for SGDQ. I already know it's going to be fun. But yeah, it's going to be interesting, though. Also, now we're in the wine cellar, ooh. A jump scare. Nolan wouldn't be a good second scissor man, though, because he's, like, while he is kind of creepy, he's not oh, super Jennifer, creepy. Like, Harris is insanely creepy. Nolan, at the very least, respects Jennifer's boundaries, and later on they confirm that they never actually did anything. It only, at the end of the game, it gets kind of weird with that. It's creepy, but not nearly as bad as Harris's, who's, like, cornering Jennifer in a literal room about to do terrible things. How's it going, Sora? Good to see you. Hey! Same to that, Chris. I'm hoping it'll be well. We can't get upstairs anymore. GD here is fun. It's always fun to submit as well, because, just in case, you never know. But yeah, it's been good. Sora, I hear the announcement. There we go. There probably isn't a way out. Poor Beth. It's great cinematic. Well, this game casually is fun. There's a cult building my Discord? That's not about right. What's what's the cult though? I don't know what it opens, but it'll probably It is. I announced it and it was pretty heartfelt. Also, cinematic, did you know that more copies of the arcade is coming across? It's looking good. The Mute Squad? I hear that. Wait, I get the key? Wait, I got the key, right? She didn't give me the key, did she? Hold on. I think she gave me the key. She might have. I think it's not Mac. Underwater smoking walls and grommets sucks. They do. 
Oh, Kat's been sick lately, Sneaky Magic Man. She has the GDQ flu. It's unfortunate. Thank you, Lady Samus. I was, like, missing that. I forget some items are invisible. And yeah, it would be. It would be Dan. Events are always fun to do that. But yeah, Cat Link will be back, though. Don't you worry. She'll be back in time. Alright, I'm going the right way, by the way. Yeah, I am. I am. I am. Cool. Uh, oil can. By the way, if you don't have the oil can, you physically can't do this. Coming up. Right here. You can't save hell if you don't have the oil, which you can sort of saying. I'll keep that in mind. Also, Katrina, how's it going? Good to see you. It is a good use of channel points underwater smoking. No, no, not softlock. You can't get Helen. Well, also, ground does suck, Teddy. It does. I don't remember if they do this. We do. Scissor man, a mummified scissor man. A key. There we go. Box key. I right, thought I the bats. Close them out. There we go. If you don't close out the bats, I think Helen dies. So you don't want to kill Helen. Oh, god damn, I missed the cue. The Mummer Man? Correct. The Brendan Fraser Scissor Man. And yeah, the flow. I had a, like, middle, and mine was easier. Hey, Avium, how's it going? Thank you. Also, Avium, I made the official announcement. Although, I think you already know. Oh, I could just leave Helen. Yeah, we're good. We save her. Bye, Helen. You know, Helen, your adopted mom. You, you don't actually need her. Also, can I leave? I mean, I, I guess... Uh, there we go. Helen's out. We're good. Okay, up we go. <gasps> Avium! The five gifts no! to the channel. Thank you very much, Avium. Now, Avium knew, though. All my mods were aware. Thank you for the two-year anniversary. Okay. And then I go... I want to say this one? Correct, Underwater Smoking. And the five gift subs to Leet Washer. Hi, Loyo. I think it's... Door. Uh, Drazar. Deadpan. And Sagittarial. Also, the Scissorman's walk is style. Thank you very much, Avium. It's much appreciated. And have a great time at D&D. &D. And it'll be interesting to see how it all goes. I love it how he's walking like that on the end. Also, here's Nolan in the Room of the Damned. Jennifer. Nolan, you're alive. And thank you, Dan. Where is everyone? Uh, it was hard to put in my two weeks. I, I like my boss a lot. Like, the job has its good days and bad days. I really did like my boss. Like, he's great. Sounds good, Avium. Thank you very much. Also, you guys only heard the weirdest song to ever exist. Just a cut. I'll be alright if I rest. Well, good thing hearing and reading that. Am I going to get my hair cut from Bobby? No. I'll come back after I've found and killed him. Jennifer's ready to kick ass, by the way. I love that. Bright red. Yes, Dan. It is the ghost album. What was that? You saw them too? I've seen them a few times already. They are probably the ghosts of the children killed here. No, he, Nolan's been in this room breaker. Which is better when you think about it. Because 
Because Nolan's on, like, a fucking timer, like, every five minutes. The ghost children just come in and start singing. Snip, snip, snip. And he's like, alright. Like, imagine being stuck on It's a Small World or something, but with ghost children who are singing about Scissor Man. That's what Nolan's been going through, and it's really humbled him, so now he's now he's okay. <laughs> You'd pay for that? I hear that. But yeah, for anyone who did come in later, though. Also, Lump's how's it going? Uh, starting very soon, I'll be, uh, going full-time streaming. There it is. There we got it. I was like, wait, wait I don't have the phone still. Uh, starting in February. Also, hey, chat, do you remember if it was moon, sun, or star? You remember that, chat? Yeah, it'll be interesting underwater smoking. It'll be interesting. Do you remember which one it was? I know which one it was. Thank you, Cinematic. It is indeed moon. That is correct. This is where it comes in handy. Also, did I notice the thing? I did. Boon! No, not moon. Not boon. Moon. Moonstar, correct. It's the moonstar. It'll be good, Space Cowboy. I think so, anyway. So, in this room, there are going to be sun, moon, and star. Depending on which one you get, it could be either one. Also, moon's the closest, the easiest to see, and it is the answer. It's an instant death if you pick the wrong one. It does, beautiful B. Arthur. It does. Also, 1,000 Dead Draculas. How's it going? I love your name. I don't remember if I've said that. I might have. But I do love your name. 1,000 Dead Draculas. That's more than like 999 Dead Draculas. And I'll be keeping mostly the same hours as well. Like, I, I'll be going longer... It's not going to be, like, wildly different. It'll be the same hours for the most part. It's a personal goal? I hear that. Also, Punchy. Nice. Mummified Scissor Man. Hey, Betty White's old. They do. They do. But they make sense on the puzzle. Like, they give you the chance. Very nice, Punchy. Nice. Very nice. Okay. Okay. Nice. 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 I remember when I first did this on YouTube, they told me I would save time if I peed less. So I might be able to save time if I just don't pee. I have to pee. Punchy always redeems 69 every now and again. I don't think I've ever seen Punchy redeem anything else. 69 is a nice redemption, though, so I give him props. Okay, we go here, I think. Yeah. Now it's time for the best character. Now I have to pee. Sub goal for no peeing? I have to start drinking water. There's no sub goal for not peeing. I need a pee. Hey. Hey. It's Tim. Yeah. True. Looks like we're in a bit of a jam, doesn't it? Tim is cool. I like Tim. I think you should keep these matches. Matches? Maybe you'll need a light. Maybe you'll need a light. Thank you, Tim. See, Tim's a sweetheart. Everyone loves Tim. He's just vibing in the room. He's chilling. Tim's all good. Tim is all good. Okay. Uh, go up here now. Oh, hold on. Oh, fuck. I'm the wrong way. That's fine. We go here. It's this one. Run. I'm not going to get a catheter for speed running. That's a weird concept to have a catheter for speed running. They are, but they have purpose sometimes. Okay. And then it's this one over here. So I grabbed Genealogy earlier, which tells you that one of the Barrows family was a traitor. And behind his Quentin Barrows plaque, he has a map that kind of helps you out. But it says, danger is near. I've hidden the map in the library. There I am. 
And you need this to go when you go back to the library because then you can get the thing you need. Yeah, Dan, it's a fun one. Also, tomorrow will be like a normal marathon where it's going to be sub games. So if you got any uh, one of the gift subs, make sure you join the Discord, actually, because uh, there's still voting open for that until like the end of today. And right now, it's going like, to be like a three-game marathon, which is sort of weird, but it is there. Yeah. We're almost done, by the way. We're almost done. Candle. Sounds good. Thank you, Dan. Hold on. Is the matches? Oh, no, right. This, this, this. It's such a weird puzzle where you need to look in there first, and then you can go back here. Those, the, well, there are demon children. Those are the ghosts of children that the scissor mans throughout the years have killed. Because apparently there's an entire generation of Barrow's family scissor men. I love how Nolan is just looking at, like, the equivalent of, like, being stuck on the haunted mansion, by the way. Alright, now I can get out of here. We have the mansion map. Soon, Camden. Soon. Alright. Exactly. Although, Quentin Barrows put the way of stopping the Scissor Man in the bottom. Now, I bet you guys are wondering. Can it get any weirder? Can Clock Tower get any weirder? Well, yeah, I can. I can. Go to the valve. Go. There it is. No, no, I mean, this game is gonna get weirder. There we go, so now we're out. Ooh, my neck. That was a good one. Also, every game after this actually has gameplay, I'm much happier to do them. Alright, down we go, we've done everything, everyone's alive. Remember, this is going to be seven survivors, 100%. I tried underwater smoking, but I couldn't get there. Yeah, you can vote for whatever you want, Tiny Bird. Like, if there's many games there, you can vote for however many you want. There's no limit on what you can vote on. As long as, like, it's there, you can vote on it. Yep. There we go. So, I've mentioned a bit of a twist, and you kind of have a good idea of who the main villain is. Yes, it is Sneaky Magic Man. We'll be going all the way to Remothered and everything in between. Wait for it. It gets better. It's fun, Dan, yeah. It's 62. So, it was you, Edward. <laughs> I guess the secret is finally out, Jennifer. But my name isn't Edward, it's Dan. <gasps> you don't mean? No! It, gets, it actually gets good, though. Oh, you remember me now. Jennifer! No! Come here, you scissor finger. Oh no, Dan, Francisco. Also... The cool part, no, Dan didn't die. Like I mentioned, PBJ, in the original Clock Tower, Dan is wearing an orphan meat shell. Why did you say out of sync? It just is. I don't know why. That seems always out of sync. Nah, he. And now it's time for the greatest part. It ends when you stab him. 
the giant Shadow Realm door opens. And you need to stab Dan to send him back to where he belongs. Yep. So quick explanation. When Dan the Man Barros from Clock Tower SNES, the giant orphan meat baby, um, got lit on fire, it was just his orphan meat shell breaking around him and leaving a normal-sized child who is Dan, who assumes the identity of Edward later on. That was Clock Tower PS1. Also, I should say creep warning. Hey, it's better than I cry. Although I do love this part. Not that one, but this one coming out. I can remember it was like seven or four. Helen, 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 Helen. Hey, Zoku, in fairness, I mean, I'd like that. You're not, I, I'm not strong. You're a weakling. Damn, well, you got me there. Clock Tower, PS1. And now to end it officially, ending a Seven Survivors. We did it. Hey, that's the game, and it's a fucking weird game. How old is Nolan? 25. Jennifer's 15. Call the police. Well, yeah, that's why Nolan isn't as bad as Harris. Also, um... It's now time for the next one. It's very easy to swap my games around. Anyway, enjoy the intro. I'm gonna have to be right back really quick. I'm gonna pee. So, be right back for peeing. Zoku's in charge, or any other mods may be here. And Azon. Anything I do is real record attempt, because I peed a lot there. Oh, what did I miss? Hold on. Uh, chat's talking about something. What's chat talking about? Why are you sub? Oh, yeah, people got... I did wash my hands. Uh, let's see. I have a problem with Jennifer putting the moves on Helen. Oh, no, Nolan asks... Or, Nolan puts... Uh, asks, uh, uh, Helen... Uh, Nolan asks Jennifer out on a date in the beginning of the game, which you should not be asking a 15-year-old out on a date. So... Ghost Head. 
What is my opinion on this game? I like it. I like this game a lot, actually. This game has one major issue, and anyone who's ever played this game knows that issue. Also, let's go. The major issue of Ghost Head... Oh, I need to get my actual other instructions. Event cut? Yeah, we, event cut uh, skips all the uh, the cutscenes in the game, thank god. Makes things faster. But the thing Hello? with this game that I enjoy is, one, you can actually skip the cutscenes, unlike the other game. So this game actually has cutscene skip, which is good. Clock Tower PS1 did not have that. Because, look, uh... Like, teenage girls getting chased around by people with giant pairs of scissors is part of this game. Although, Ghost Head is weird. Because it has a lot of the same beasts that PS1 would have, but it's not creepy. In, like, the same vein. Like, again, the major plot of Clock Tower PS1 being the fact that Jennifer is being hit on by both a 25-year-old and a 35. This game has someone they try to set up as a love interest, but the character doesn't do it. And the character is respectful of that, and it's kind of nice. Who bleeds yellow blood? A human tor- Do you want to hear a human torso? Alright, you know what? We'll do it. For you? For you, Neo? We'll do it. Yeah, you come into the house and the entire family is just fucking dying by diseases. A human torso. This game is goofy. It's fun. Now, what's my issue? This game, out of the entire series, is the cruelest game you'll play. The mechanic between the switching is just, if you do it the wrong way, you can soft lock. You have to save at many moments so you don't get fucked up. This, oh, hold on, I need the key. The game at several points is going to want you to make sure you're doing the right thing. You little shits. But the game has a lot of charm and personality, which I think is one of the best parts. And the body parts. But this game's cruelty is also honestly the reason why I kind of rank it a bad game. Most people who play this game love level 1. They just fucking love this house. They love everything about it. Um, they enjoy level 2 to a decent amount. They despise the third level. They, they do not like the mechanics that go around that. It is just downright cruel. The samurai armor is not even the bad part. It's the fact that there's several endings where if you're just baits, you lose. If you're if you're baits at the wrong time, you die. If you're Alyssa at the wrong time, you die. And the game won't let you know, barring getting the game over. The house is comfy. Also, fun Easter egg. The poster of Clock Tower 2 is on the wall. Thank you for the follow. It's much appreciated. Also, I'm really happy I don't have to change the title at all during this. I just changed the game. The biggest part of this game that I don't like is just the cruelty. So that she has a beard, I can see it. Exactly, Dan. And I agree with that. Is this game bad, though? No. Oh, because right now, P PBJ, the main mechanic of this game is that Alyssa, the character we're playing as, every now and again, if she's not wearing her amulet and undergoes stress, she becomes a spirit known as Bates, who is a guy and is much crueler than Alyssa is. The amulet prevents Bates from coming out. Which is important. There we go. And also, this is the idea of the struggle within or ghost head, because there's the ghost in your head. Also, now we have actual splits. So it's fun. And yeah, stress is defined as fights. So if you get into like a any kind of stressful encounter where you lose a health state, you will end up getting the thing. Also, I love this guy just vibing back here. It's a good emote. Uncle Phil. Goodbye, Uncle Phil. Yeah, now we're getting all the splits. The other games don't have a lot of splits. Q has a good emote for that. Correct, Dan. Alright, back here. Oh, I went the wrong way. That's fine. Uh, hold on. No, not Alyssa. Alyssa. Notice, in Clock Tower Ghost, and Clock Tower 2, The Struggle Within, and Clock Tower 3, the main character's named Alyssa. 
Dagger, I'll be going until Remothered, and then after Remothered, we're done for the day. What's the game of all time? Probably Sound too. 2. I rank pretty high. Oh, don't look at that. Look at this. Or Devotion. Devotion, Sound 2, or Clock Tower SNES. If I had to pick, like, one of those three, pick depending on the day. Sound 2, though, is consistent. I really do love that game. All right, okay. Okay, look at this though. Let's see. Oh, I can look at it. Look at it. This isn't a game. Yeah, it is. You just played it. Come on. You just played the game. This isn't a game. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I like the little tidbit they threw in there. Also, I want. Oh, we don't get. I oh, never mind. We're not Bates. So you don't get the cool dialogue. If your bait's here, she'll go, you little shit. Which is fucking hilarious. Also, upside this game as well, you only have to look at things once. Alyssa doesn't need to like, oh, hey, uh, there's something here. Cool. It's cool in the, well, this game takes place in J California. Also, it's easier to run in this game. The other game, like Clock Tower PS1 is not easy to run. What console is up next? PS2. We're going to in PS2 era soon. Oh no, the statue is like, look at the statue. It's different. Eat your hamburgers, Apollo. Exactly. Ah, uh, yes. Beautiful Los Angeles. With sushi restaurants. Temples. And arches. The beautiful Los Angeles and Catherine. This game was released, I want to say, about '98. So this game was around the same time. I think shortly after Silent Hill One came out. But I could be wrong. Maybe '99. Someone say Catherine. I did. Uh, oh. Uh. Check this out, everyone. Let Catherine, run! Hurry, run! All good, Dagger. All good. We'll be going, we'll be going through a few no, games. Don't come out. It does, Zoku, but, like, it's heavily implied that this is supposed to be, like, a Japanese area, and, like, in the original game, it isn't a Japanese area, and they change it. Hurry up, old lady. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> the little twerp. I'll kill her next time. <laughs> That little monster. And now you know why everyone loves Bates. Bates is fucking hilarious and has a take no shit attitude. Like, Bates is such a good thing of this game. And if you're wondering which version should you play, uh, the, like, Ghost Head or Two Struggle Within, this version of the game. It is superior because Bates is not nearly as good in the Japanese version. Bates is an American thing, which is really weird. Yes, false side. There's actually fan art of Alyssa as a uh, JoJo character, and it's hilarious. We get to entirely ignore her in the corner, I think. There we go. All right, the thing. Bates doesn't exist in the um, Japanese version of this game. Bates only exists in the American version, really. There we go. Gotta get the letter. Also, I forgot to split. Ah. Go. Yeah, she goes to evil was like a child. Like, Bates is a gruff adult in this game, while Bates is like a, ch a I guess, show is a child in the other, uh, the other one. I don't know. Alright, now I can keep moving. A big thing in this game as well, gender ambiguous? Yeah, I can see that. This is a strange game, Bryce Cube. It's a very strange game. Also, I bet you're wondering... How does this game relate to Clock Tower PS1? Or Clock Tower SNES? Well, I'll show you. 
Good to know. It does. It does. Slightly. Very slightly. Well, the thing is, Bates is just, um, a spirit possessing Alyssa's body. Although, in this game, it kind of hammers on that Bates is male, given that you have you can go in the male bathroom as Bates. And you only go in the women's bathroom as Alyssa. Like, you actually get restricted, which is a weird thing. Yeah. Is that Scissor Man? No, that's the Samurai. There we go. There's two killers running around. A samurai I had to activate, and there's also a little girl. Short, black hair. I'm looking for my daughter. There we go. But with this game, it has weird beats, but none of them are creepy. Like, there is a creepy beat, but in a good way. And that's going to be with a character later in the game. Mufuyu... I don't have the voice down. It is. Also, Bates is just a fun name. For multiple reasons. The more I think about it. Here we go. Oh, wait, wrong door. I don't have to be here. She's just vibing. Bill Bates, founder of Microsoft. Ah, yes. How could we forget about Bill Bates? Yeah, I got it. Correct works. Gil Bates, the founder of uh, some kind of fish-based Microsoft. I don't know. Right. And the main difference, you can see the male-female thing in Alyssa Bates, or show, and I don't remember the... I don't remember the actual Japanese name for Alyssa, and, uh, honestly. No, not books. I need the, this thing. There I am. You? Thank you. <laughs> I didn't mean that, but thank you. <laughs> Panic event. Get him off me. Now you run away. Yep. But the thing is, in like some of the levels, the bathrooms can only be entered as the different characters, which is kind of just a way of gating you and making you play as other characters, but it's also kind of neat. Anyway, I bet you're wondering, what's this thing right here? This gold thing? This is the demon idol from the last game. And it's wrapped in like a gold thing. That demon idol is the one thing that connects to Clock Tower PS1. Yep. Go. Yep! Game has no relation to the original games outside that. The Demon Owl makes it all crazy. Also, let's get some dancing, chat. I chat. must burn the statue. I must burn the statue. <laughs> you get plenty of time as long as you cover this. Oh, dude, clock time music's fucking inspired. It's good stuff. I'm going to kill you. <laughs> Just give up. Oh. Hey, you little shit. What good is it gonna do to burn that? Yep. Also, Stephanie is your cousin, I think. That's the way I, I do, do it. it. That's the way I do it. Amulet, protect me. <laughs> and then she's back up. Stephanie, I'm sorry. Mm. 
Absolutely. This cutscene's. Oh, yeah, it gets better. It gets better. Or worse, depending on your opinion of better and worse. <laughs> there we go. So, now we're in the hospital. And, um... This game is going to take a really weird turn in this level and get even weirder. So you wake up in the hospital, there's like a budget Nicolas Cage guy, there's like a reporter. None of them are hitting on you, they're actually really sweet to you. But you're trying to find out what's happening here now. And are you? there's a creepy woman who's going to be talking to us, we need to activate every single one of those events. Also, you guys ready for the greatest wrestling sensation of your life? So, in this game, Bates can't kill people here, in this level. Alyssa has to kill people, and she's going to do it the only way she knows how. With a steel chair over the head. Sounds good, Dan. Sounds good. It might be, Camden. It might be. He did. Good question, all honesty. There you go. Watch out! Here comes Bates with the steel chair. Why is the doctor a zombie? All the doctors are going to be zombies. And the nurses. Uh, there's an infection running around. And you've got to figure out what's happening. Also, you ready for, um... Probably one of the weirder concepts you'll ever see. Oh. Go. Wait for it. Oh, hold on. Uh, oh, oh, that's fine. So, you need to kill every single one of these. How are we going to kill all of these? I'll show you the first cutscene. I'm going to be skipping all the other ones. We're going to be doing this like five different times. This works five different times. And you have to keep doing this, by the way. Every time. I need to skip the cutscene, luckily, which is also why this is a good speedrun, because you can actually skip cutscenes. So you like the point and click action of Clock Tower PS1, and want an actual, like, you know, game that isn't just dialogue mashing? This game is a good one. But you need to kill all the zombies. If you don't, it will not end well for you. I can't have the zombies in certain places because only Alyssa can kill zombies. If I'm, I need to be Bates later, and if I'm Bates and I'm trying to kill a zombie, I won't be able to do it. I can stun them, but I can't kill them. So we just keep running back to the same room. Oh, yeah, don't spoil it, but the end of this mission is amazing. For those of you who have never seen this game, you're in for a treat. It's a pretty good treat. There we go. And perfect. It only gets better, correct. Also, you have to like leave the elevator in the weirdest sense. Like you ride up and then you have to leave it. And then you enter it right back. I'm literally just trying to make sure all the zombies are gone. I, I cannot have a single zombie around. Wario with the host. Thank you very much. Can I get a shout out from Mr. Drunk Wario? The dude was doing Dead Rising, chop till you drop. Which is fucking hilarious to me. I, I, it's a fun game to watch. It's RE4. But with Dead Rising, and you shoot poodles. It's, it's a weird game. Go. Oh. 
Also, we actually did it. Cool, we got that. Yeah, he was doing that, Punchy. Is that the Wii version? It is the Wii version. Also, we have to do a couple of uh, quick things here. So, I not only killed the zombies I needed, I can now become baits, because you need to be baits for a certain part coming up. Um, and then the way we're going to do that is like so. Jesus Christ, Wario. That, that's insane, though. I was watching that run, and it looked painful. Okay, uh, we need to get the events, and we need also to become baits. There we go. So there we're gonna come. Wait, hold on. I don't have the thing yet. Go. Locker. Put the gun. And then the sink for the event. Then the light turns back off once that happens. I mean, we got the event. I imagine so. I definitely imagine so. And now you become Bates. Wait, you didn't open the door? I thought you opened the door, Alyssa. Come on. You want to just run in this guy as quickly as you can, because the way Bates spawns every single time is going to be with a swift kick to the dick. Oh. <clears throat> Boom. Yes, Drunk Wario, but I'll tell you again, because the announcement is still available. The announcement is going to be that I will be full-time streaming starting in February. Um, I put in the two weeks of my job, and then we're going to see how that goes. I put a lot of thought into it, but we'll have to see the results, I suppose. Yep, I'll be going full-time starting then. I'll be doing it for, like, a bit. If it continues to go well, um, we'll do it more. If it doesn't go well, then I'll just go back to working IT stuff. Stall works out. Also, good. All right. We do need to get one more event. Let me look up. Thank you, Ardwin. And I kind of put a lot of my thought. I'll, I'll, like, make a highlight out of it just so I can kind of have that for reference on what I talked about. Um, I talked about a lot of things, so I'm sure it's all good. Also, the reason we had to kill the zombie here... Exactly. I'm going to be doing it very, very, uh... Exactly. Like, that's why I'm not too worried, Dragoon. Like, if need be, uh, I've had a few companies reach out to me on LinkedIn, like, in the past year or so. Um, usually offering a less amount of money, but not, like, like, I can definitely, like, if need be, it sounds like I'll have the opportunity to get another job if it ends up not panning out. I'm definitely planning this out in the sense that if it goes well enough, it can work, and my major goal isn't going to be so much money, but growth, and will it grow? I obviously, I guess... In that sense, money would have to grow just to make sure I can sustain, but that's really what it comes down to. Can I sustain, and does it have potential to grow? If so, we're good. If someone goes set, it's going good. Not too bad so far. And also, like I mentioned, if anyone has any questions about any of the full-time stuff, I'm more than happy to ask. There we go. Or ha happy to answer, I should say. I put a lot of thought into it all, so hope it goes well. And I have some general ideas of what I'll be doing go and also having the big repertoire of games definitely helps on not having to burn out on like one game so i'll only be doing let's go with a good example like only super hey. mario or something and then kind of failing because you only have the one game a lot of people end up burning out because they can only play one game for so long before you go insane there we go is ghost have the best voice adding the series uh, it's hard to say. I think every game has its, like, own things that I put, like, on high merit. Oh, I keep forgetting to split here. Oh, no, prevent suicide. Yeah, we're doing that. <laughs> this guy's really weird, by the way. And then he... So you kick him in the dick after... What's the word? He tries to kill you, and he's really into being tortured, apparently. I don't need that key. Uh, got the back of the door key. Now I can keep moving. 
Okay. How you doing, Del Nucleus? It's good to see you. You got a Founder's Badge. Ooh. How you been, though? It's been a hot minute. So I enjoy. Uh, hold on. So I enjoy running. Uh... Exactly. I normally do horror games anyway. So it's not going to be too different. Exactly, Neo. The hurry up and... I love his voice. It's like really high pitch. It's a weird voice. Also, I didn't know Clock Tower Ghosthead had Twitch art. I like that. Actually, he has the legit art. Also, let's see if I can actually get the shot I need. There's a gunshot coming up that's pretty tough to hit. If I get it, we'll be good. Uh... Cerebral... Parasitic brain. Got it. Alright, we're good. We got the shot. If you don't get that shot, the game, uh, you have to get the amulet and then use the chair. There we go. RE, right? Base can just use a gun, by the way, which is a clock tower first. Like, you can, actually, you can use a gun in clock tower PS1, but it's pretty much a puzzle gun. It's not like an actual gun. How good did I play this last time I did this? Holy shit. Glad you enjoy it, Dave. I'm glad you enjoyed the commentary. We're doing Nightcry later today, in fact, as part of the Clock Tower series marathon. There we go. And then you need to talk to her as Alyssa so she doesn't kill herself. No. If you don't do that, she won't show up later. You just have to talk to her once and you're good. Yeah, it's uh, it's grown a lot recently. Uh, recently it was like 120, and after GDQ, it people have been very supportive. Very nice, Dave. Yeah, you'll probably be here in time for this game and Clock Tower 3. Mask of Games with the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you very much. And yeah, also I I should mention as well, we'll be doing <laughs> the Team Silent Speeder Marathon whenever I learn Silent Hill 4, and after we learn Silent Hill 3. <laughs> so once I have those done, in. we'll do it. All right, we got it. We're good. He's dead. How many games are in the series? Well, in the whole series, it's a bit weird. You technically don't have, like, a bunch. But the thing is, I count spin-offs. So there's four games in the main series. And then three more after that that are spin-offs. There we go. And that'll be a fun one. Team Silence only four, though. So that's an easy marathon. That's like a... I think a three or four hour marathon. Yeah, yeah. Hostel's the second level. That is correct. Also, we gotta talk to this dude and tell him no. He asked if you want to go to the laboratory with him. We don't want to go to the lab. We'll take Because we do want to go to the lab, but we want to go a different way. You don't get a good ending if you tell him yes. You, tell you get a bad You get like a, a bad ending. It's not like the best ending, but you get like an okay ending, I suppose. You just leave. And then all the zombies are still running around and shit. So, I bet you're wondering. Hey, Eck, Clock Tower Ghost Set isn't that bad. What are you talking about? Why do people hate this game? Why is this game bad? This game's good. It looks great. Well... Well... No, Siren's not included. Here you go. This game features a mandatory rail shooter. Dying once makes you start from the beginning of the rail shooter. You have to kill about, I think, 20 or 30 zombies. Eight with the room of their seat. Yeah, but we'll be doing eight later on, Magic Man. That's correct, actually. Yep. This actually happens. Also, the way you want to aim at them is aim at the dick every time. It works. Yep, you can pick several points, and you need to pick a point on the body to land it. So the pathfinding is you have to... I, I usually aim at the dick, and I find it. If you don't find it, you can't shoot. Maybe anywhere on the body, but you have to hit them somewhere. Yeah. It's accurate, Dave. Like, I really wish it weren't. Also, wait, is that Dave or DB? I just want to make sure. Oh, you're next. No, you're next. Oh. 
Also, you have to kill them in order, I should mention. If you don't kill them in order, they'll just kind of wander around. Right? Oh, close enough. Holy shit. Go. Keep going. Headshots aren't good. You want dick shots. Alright, we did it. Yeah, here's the infinite shotgun, dude. It's powerful. And now comes the fun part. Ghost head. It is, Wallaby. It is. So he just takes you to the final level? Ah, God, that's perfect. I, was, I had a feeling it was Dave. I'll make sure. And the final level is very long. Most of the game. This is why people drop this game, by the way. Go. Yeah, Nucleus, it's climbed a lot. Hell, you're on the day one, guys, too. You're here when I was doing just, like, Clock Tower back in the... Oh, we're at wrong way. You're here when I was doing, like, Clock Tower, like, small time, man, starting off. I talked about the history of the stream. I talked about where we want to go from here. And I'm excited, honestly. I think I'm very excited. I feel like there's a lot that can happen, and I'm excited to try it out. Yeah, Differo. All right, the key... You know, they grow up so fast, right, Punchy? Now I'm full-time streamer lad. I'm now degenerate gamer job. When I go to the airport, I can tell them, yeah, I'm a gamer. It's perfect. What's your business, gaming, dude? In fairness, though, I did mention that I do have the ability to not have to pay that many bills because I live at home. But still. Also, time for the greatest song of the game. Got it. Enjoy the jam, everyone. It's the perfect plan, Slash Void. Oh yeah, like, this song's fucking amazing. Thank you, Nucleus. That is the ghost head. Uh, oh god, hold on. And out. Exactly! Maxwell's fucking deadly, by the way. And Maxwell is amazing as a character. I got the key, and now I can leave. Okay, this is actually pretty good. Pretty good here. There are several ghost heads. Everything is ghost head. Okay. Oh, hold on. Uh, trimmer. Talk to her. No, it doesn't count as a clock tower game. I'm ghost head? That sounds about right. I am the ghost head. She tells you she's gonna kill you later. That's about it. There we go. Now you wanna become Bates. Detroit, become Bates. There we go. We don't even kill our chaser. Why not just call this game Ghost Head? Good question. Because it's called Clock it's called Clock Tower Ghost Head. The Americans called it Clock Tower 2 the struggle within. Which is why I saw so that on Twitch. Boom. Okay, we killed them. We're good. Now you can going forward. Right. Uh light on, and we need help now. Bates is gonna be killing a lot of monsters, by the way, because there's a lot that are gonna be coming up, I need to kill them. Uh, there's been little bits, like, there's been runs and everything, but yeah, not much has happened lately. Welcome back, Camden. Alright, ignore this guy. Got it. Okay. 
And now we gotta go to the new bathroom. Anything new in one? Not particularly. Like, sk skip wise, the game is pretty, uh, pretty legit because the only thing is the task strat, which no one's gonna be able to get because it's literally impossible. There's some new runners, but not so nothing outside of that. Right? Well, he has to use his infinite shotgun to take down zombies, Breaker. It's required. How did I get this last time? I had to do something wrong, I think. Either that or I split wrong, I think. Yeah, that part gets a bit rough, which is why we want to heal whenever that happens. Cutscene canceling? Possibly. Are you mean this game? No, yeah, I mean, the, yeah, the cutscene canceling for the demon idol. No one's able to humanly do it yet. That's not really possible at the moment. Give me that, and... Out we go. Lose a bit of time here, that's okay, though. Now I run back to the main area. Alright, I think I need the... I don't need the idol, we're, we're doing this all as bits. Ah, yes, the backflip check, that sounds right. Also, people kept mentioning a samurai statue. So, if you never activate the samurai statue, you just fucking die. Like, it's the most inconsequential thing in the world. And it actually sees kind of a revisit in Nightcry later on, but it's so weird. If you want to try it out, you can, Nucleus, but it's not going to be an easy trick, I don't think. I don't know if you my shot. Oh, yeah. Exactly, Breaker. If you didn't pick up the exact item, you'll die. It's very important you pick it up. Get it back. That, that guy came in, but he didn't really do much in terms of uh, m uh, running more after that. Because the game's an RNG hellhole, which I, I agree with. I respect it. Also, look at this fucking... Oh, hold on, hold on. Go back, go back, go back, go back. I said, look at this long-range shotgun blast. Thank you, Black Light Horror. Not only is it the two-year anniversary, but I made a decent announcement to celebrate the two-year anniversary. And I'm definitely happy for it. I, I, I'm excited. I'm definitely excited to see what happens. I feel like it'll be good. You're intrigued? I'm going to be going full-time streaming very soon. In February. I put in my two weeks. No, you can just go in any doors. Just if you try going into other doors, it might not work because of the whole uh, zombies in the way. Like you can just go into them. It is speed based. Yeah. A gamer lawyer, the perfect plan. Also, there's a key here. If you didn't grab the key, you get mm, bonk on the samurai statue. Yeah, it's good. I'm excited for it. Okay, now I go upstairs, I think. I'll have to get the amulet back, that's right. Am I allowed to give legal advice? No. Or anything I give would not be actual legal advice, and I don't recommend using it. I'm allowed to kind of tell you, oh, that's probably not a smart move, but I can't actually tell you, like, oh, do these. If you want to get legal advice, you should definitely consult a lawyer. Like, that is going to definitely be a thing. Oh, hold on. Um, I need to actually double check this. Um, hold on. I might have fucked up. Uh, I'm about to fuck up, I think. Where's the thing? The state sink. Go to the old room. Get the amulet back. Okay, we're good. I was like, I, I'm, I'm messing up here. I think I was messing up. Go. I have, I have notes for this, by the way. Cause I always, I'm always get worried on this game. Well, the thing is, though, is, uh, like, as a lawyer, you want to make sure you get that. Like, you can ask people, but, yeah, like, legal advice is a place you might want to go with that. Like, if you're looking for something that might be able to help you, but you should definitely always take the advice of a lawyer if there's going to be anything specific. Go. Now, especially given you don't want to go in the court saying, Oh, I used something that some strangers online told me. To defend myself in court. 
That will not go well for you. Keep in mind that even lawyers who go to court have other lawyers. There we go. Alright, use the steel chair over the I guess that was actually an office chair. But yeah, it'll be exciting, the black light. It'll be very exciting. Lawyers have lawyers. Yep. Usually other people at the firm they work at. Isn't that infinite? No, you can just be quick back and forth. You're a lawyer for one dude, and the lawyer's for you. It works out. Alright, second one. Alright, we got the card key we need. We're good. I think it's like the regular key. Yeah, storage key. So they pay other lawyers? It all depends. I don't know if they pay them, but they might just have them working with them. Normally, lawyers aren't the ones having to go to court, though, barring significant things. Okay. Shit. I've never heard of that one, but I guess someone says it. Yeah, don't represent yourself. It's not a smart move. Nobody important has it pretty much nail on the head. This is the gray one, Ridley. What do you mean? This is the only game that features baits. Do you not like baits? Oh, not that locker. This locker. You did, Silas. The big announcement is that I'll be going full-time streaming starting in February. And I'm excited for it. I have a good feeling on everything. The real Clock Tower 2. We did that earlier. Uh... Yeah, I'll be good, Silas. I'll be good. We just finished Clock Tower 2. Clock Tower 2 also isn't that good, Gelding's considered, because of the issues it has. Go. Nice, Camden. I love the story and it's silly, but... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Clock Tower 3 is amazing. It's Sailor Moon. I want to say that may have been around the time Wulu came out. I could be wrong. Wallace and Gromit may also be it, too. One of those two. Oh, yeah, it is Wallace and Gromit. That's right. It is Wallace and Gromit. Okay. A lot of killing at once, by the way. So this gets really weird. Uh, hold on. Oh god, I don't remember what the fuck to do here. Uh, kill and go right again. Like here. Yeah. Ah, there we go. There we go on the computer. Uh, it may have been Wallace and Gromit. That may have actually been the case. Okay. And then I, I'm trying to remember where I go here. This is where I get fucking confused as all hell. Alright, more kills. Parasite Eve? Maybe. But I'm not t Actually, this game came out before Parasite Eve. Wait, no. Ever done it again? Do what? Okay, uh, hold on. Use the lighter on the... Go in the right door. Hold on, I use a key... Uh, no. Uh, storage key? Yes! Not yet, though. Shit, I'm not, not supposed to be here. You come here later. Uh... God damn it, what's room? This is why I don't like this level, because none of the places make sense to me. Hold on. And kill, go to the right door, use. Wait, hold on. Come, Bates, exit right side hall, go home right here. Go on the computer and leave back. Oh, I went the wrong way, that's fine. I gotta kill that guy eventually, but still. Yeah, it all looks really similar, so it's not the best. I'm no, I'm not gonna do Walson Gromit again unless he get five thousand dollars. Fuck now. There are many things I'd rather do again than play Wallace and Gromit. Thank you, Zoku. There we go. All right, wrong way. That's fine. Of course it still stands. I know I don't wanna do it. 
How did I do it the first time? I did it on like, uh, someone like said, oh, why don't you do it? And I was like, okay, and then I hated it, so I don't want to do it ever again. Yeah, in theory you can do that, but one person has to donate it. I don't recommend trusting one person on that. Thank you for the follow, it's much appreciated. Okay, now I can go back. There we go. Two baits, there we go. And then I have to get another gun, too. Now I can go back downstairs. No, it would probably be a mod you'd want to send it to. In the past, people were talking about Shiroi, which actually would make sense. Given that he's the one who hard wanted to push it, and probably doesn't care all that much. You're trustworthy? Well, yeah. Again, I mentioned a mod. I mentioned Shiroi specifically because he was the one who was the, uh... Kind of started the whole thing. There we go. Uh, get the amulet back. Oh, hold on. Uh... Oh, God damn it! Go right, go into the last door in hall. It's such a weird thing for routing. Hey, Jonas. Thank you for the good luck. It's much appreciated. Ghost Head is the one that confuses me the most. Like, Clock Tower PS1 is kind of boring. Once you get to the castle, it's fun. This game's end game is really weird. Once you get to, like, a certain point, you're good. But until then, it's a bit rough. Can you start a PayPal thing? I mean, I'm not gonna tell you how to cumulatively do money. I'll say... I will offer say one point. Given the fact that I'm going full-time now, it is entirely feasible sometime this year to satiate the shitpost, I might offer it cumulatively at I one can't. point this year. All right, good. I'll offer it at one point. I don't know when, but at some point it will be offered. The reason why is because I also like offering it because then I get to be able to shut the fuck up about it. Well, yeah, I don't want the meme around. I don't like a meme anyway. Yeah. Uh, up we go. Oh, God. Ah, all right. Usually, also, it doesn't stop. They just, people don't fulfill it, and then I get to talk shit to them, and they go like, oh, why don't you offer anymore? Because no one ever does it. Which is why. Oh, my God. We're finally in the right spot, everyone. Oh, wait. Oh, fuck. No, I didn't go the right way. I'm stupid. Here we go. It's been nice, Jonas. It has been nice. And thank you very much. Uh, we're about to see how it all goes, but... I have a good feeling. Also, hey look, he's just vibing in the corner. This is genuinely the hardest part of the game. Well, the second hardest part, I should say. Wait, can I just go back inside? Yeah, I can, but he's, like, yeah, he is in the room. Go. Alright, we have the good luck, thank god. He can spawn really close to you, which isn't good. Because you want to, like, loop him back into this room. We're gonna need a couple of death abuses for health, but this will be fine. Alright, anyway, here we go. Out we are. Did do a bit of a juke? No, it's not that weird. You get used to it. Again, I've played these for a while. It's not that weird at all. Okay, so I need her to go on either end and then I can break her legs. You have to be careful, too, because she'll go back around. I hear that, Camden. Um... Alright, still chair time. Bop. And that fucking works. If you're I'm losing time, I was pretty slow on the ghost head part. Alright, come on. 
Then out of the room, and we are good. Yay! But yeah, it's uh, gonna be an interesting time. Oh, wait, now we go forward. Now the memory of the building is starting to be a bit more um, intuitive. Okay, uh, light on right there. Hey, look, it's your dad. Who's What's up, there? Camden? Hey, Meatwads, how's it going? We go in here. That does not sound like a good time at all. No, you're right. That, that does not sound like a very good time at all. Okay. We got the key we need. That's good. Two key cards. Oh, they're fun meat wads, and I'm, I'm always happy that I've been showing off a lot of new ones. And I do like the Clock Tower series as a whole, which is why I like running it. If you're wondering my... Oh, wait, no, down. My favorite game to run is probably SNES. Shit! That might be bad. Um, I actually went in the wrong room. Fuck. Uh, that's not good. I wonder if I can do this again. Let's see. I'm curious. That does work twice. Cool. True. Cool. Good to know there's a backup strat. I actually never knew that. Neat. Although, we're going to be hitting the hardest part of the game. Thank you, Sneaky Magic Man. Yeah, take it easy. I ever feel like the games are super long? Hell yeah, there are. Fucking amnesia, dude. Alan Wake is long. F go, come on. Uncle. F he tells us to go inside. I mean, you just like the game, man. That game is long as hell. Alright, desk key. On to the desk. Area. And now there's like three card keys we have, and you need to use the right one each time. Not that. It's a really weird mechanic. Also, I'm likely gonna die, but that's okay. Here we are. And down we go. Turn off the light? Yeah, like, turn off the light lets you hide. Because then you like hide in the room, and then they can't find you, and then you escape. Okay, this is what I'm worried about. Um, fuck, I'm dead. I need health anyway, it's fine. I'm gonna die a few times, that's okay. Got it! Alright. You need to juke the zombie in that area so you can pass him. It is absolutely not easy. That is also just as hard as it looks. And incredibly awkward. Do you know how world record is in this game? Yeah, it's like a 50 something. I don't have it. I don't like this game. I don't like running it. I don't care about world record either in the context of a full series marathon. I thought I want that. Okay, uh, let's get left body. Oh, hold on. Uh, fuck, where'd I go? Go right, fall I hide the amulet, right? Yeah, I put the amulet down. Hmm. Perfect. And this game is not an easy one, by any means. It's also not particularly competitive. Also, I can't compete because I don't have a PS... I don't have, like, a PS... Japanese PS2 in a version of this game with that. If you want to run this game, like, good, you need a Japanese PS2. That's, that's going to be a thing you're going to need. So unless you have one... No, this ending A? Yes. It's like a 50-something. 
Also, we're ta we're going against doing Vita runs too. He's so getting to do that. No Vita. Yeah, fifty-two. Well, that's about right. Also, this guy's still alive, so we actually have to kill him. All right, he's dead. Back inside. And potted great. And also, knowing exactly where to go is fine. Like, I can grind the game well. Also, I've died a few times, I think, during my PB. It really depends. Oh, wait, body chopping, that's right. Wait, no, I've done something wrong. Oh, right, put the amulet down. I remember what to do now. I remember. This is gonna be a really weird puzzle. So you become Bates, but then you immediately put the amulet back so you're, you can become Alyssa again, and then you become Bates again. Why is he all glitchy? But that's just the way the game is. Because they bleed yellow blood. There's no scientific reason behind it. It's a parasitic brain. Yeah. Am I going to die by this? I don't actually know. No, we live. You have to be very careful, by the way. You can actually saw, like, uh, ruin the game or the route if you become Alyssa too early. You want to become Alyssa after you do body chopping, because she won't want to chop up this body, and you need to. Oh, not there. Here. Alright. And now I become Alyssa again. And now routes. Believe it or not, this is actually faster because of the, uh, the glitch. So some time save, in fact. See, I already saved 30 seconds. We're well on our way to a PB. I'm only seven minutes behind. It's called PS1 Graphics. It's a product of its time. Also, we're going to entirely ignore this guy in the corner. I got this, in general. Again, I don't really particularly care about World Record. It's a showcase more than anything. I return to World Record every single one of these games, then sure, but like... I enjoy doing the runs. I enjoy showing off the Clock Tower game. No one in the community knows every Clock Tower game outside of me, so. Also, he's like just vibing in the graveyard. Speed ring is a lot more than world records, and that's always something to consider. Also, yeah, large door key. Oh, we go. World records are neat, but there's a lot more building to be done. And that's the important part. Right? Also, we don't talk to that guy at all. He's gonna be chilling there. Although, Alyssa took, like, the worst possible route she could have taken. I don't know why. There we go. We are nearing the end of the game as well, so that's good. Uh, hold on. Um, green... Perfect. Um, I have to do something here. I have to become Bates, that's right. God damn it. Uh, no. Oh, no. Sounds good, Macro Poisoning. Okay. You missed the announcement? Yes, but I'll tell it anyway. Uh, I will be going full-time streaming starting in February. And it's going to be exciting. And exactly, Dave. A lot of people burn out and just keep grinding for old record. And if you don't get it, you're not going to be happy. Running a game because you like it is going to be way more important. Also, it's a list with a Y. There I am. Yeah, I'm excited. I put in my two weeks yesterday. And it's going to be interesting to see how it all goes. Also, I'm going to eat a death right now. If you're wondering why I'm eating a death, I have to become Bates again. Man, I need health. I need a bot command? I, ju I just announced it today. I don't, I, I don't need a bot command yet. A bot command is usually set up for things that are more than one stream. Yeah. Yep. Oh, you know I got another world record, right, Nucleus? Like, I have a 12-11. Have a I'm waiting for it to be verified by THK. 
My coworkers think? My no my coworkers really care about me all that much. My boss is proud of me. Correct, Zokyo. Well right, but at the same time I feel like it would just be kind of known like I can just say it. Yeah. And people know on all the things. Yeah, my boss like I like my boss a lot. My boss is a sweetheart. Like he's he's really nice. Like, he's more the normal, has a family, uh, hardworking guy, helped me out a lot. Um, but yeah, it is a bit odd. Hey. Yeah, it's been fun, Mako. It's been fun. I'm really happy my boss is actually proud of me. It's not something I'm used to, so. I know I'm happy with it. Also, they have to go down first. Let's see. Yeah, there's a monster coming up. I'm very lucky to have my boss in my life. Yeah, definitely. Definitely props to him, I would say. Okay, also, I do need to heal. Let's heal. Um... Where can I get health? I have to go all the way back, don't I? It's I do. Uh, also, we need the amulets. Let me put this back. Okay. And I'm going to need health, so let's go grab that really quick. I don't want to grab it, I think. What was my job before? I mean, currently, I'm still on my job for two weeks. So I'm like, I'm still gonna be there for my two weeks. I I work an IT job at a like factory, and my boss usually is in the same location. So I did a phone call and emailed him and all that jazz. Uh, wait, this room. I have to do a lot of backtracking right now because I don't have the health to actually do this. There we go. Right there. Uh, not not there. Here. This guy always has a. Oh wait, you don't have the health kit. I thought you did. Fuck. Your other body has it. Right. But yeah. My boss said he's very proud of me, and he's excited to see what happens. He asked me about some of the Twitch chats, how it's all going. Um. He asked me about um, like kind of like, oh, you making enough money with it? How is viewership going? He knows a bit about it, so. I am excited though, and it'll be fun to try it out. And I've talked to a lot of friends as well, and everyone seems to be rather supportive, and they feel like I could pr likely go for it. No, uh, there's no strippers. I'm aware of. If you're a stripper, more power to you. I'm not a stripper. It is sort of weird having the positive affirmation. Like I, oh, I mentioned on Twitter the other day. I don't really get complimented on my job. Like, someone complimented me, like, an email I sent, but that was, like, the first time I got one in quite, like, quite a while. So, kind of hear my boss compliment me on that. Like, I'm, I'm used to working with him, and I try my best, but it was really kind of heartbreaking to... Or not heartbreaking, but, like, heart-touching, heartfelt, to actually kind of have that as a... He wasn't upset. He wasn't... Uh, he mentioned, like, hey, hey, what's the word? He mentioned that he's proud of me. He mentions that he, th he thinks I can do it. Uh, he totally understands as well because he said he was young once and knows the opportunity I'm trying to go for. So it's a lot of that in the in the notes. Obviously, I'm not going to mention his name or anything because that, that's probably some weird form of doxing. But it's always weird because people usually have rough times with their bosses or they'll leave their job because of a boss. No, I like my boss very much. I think he's absolutely a great guy. And I think uh, he's probably one of the better parts of working there. I think uh, if it wasn't for him, I probably would have left earlier. My boss is like 10 years older than me. Oh, yeah. And it's more the idea of uh, if you're younger, you kind of have the ability to not have to worry. Well, no, when you're older, you have the family, you have the kids, there's more stability that you want, and opinions just change. Apparently, he did plenty when he was younger, and he doesn't regret anything that happens, so, more power to him. And I think that's a good thing. And yes, Alice, you don't normally hear about good bosses. Oh, I remember, um, someone came in a while back, like, oh, all bosses are bad. No, there's plenty of great bosses out there. 
The bosses, like, people, bosses at work aren't trying to ruin your day a lot of the time. Sometimes it's just people trying to make a dollar. Some people abuse their power, and that's sad. And there's a lot of bad ones, but a lot of people are just trying to do their thing. They're not trying to, over, like, overthrow you. They're not trying to exert their pressure. But, yeah. That's that being said, I, I'm very happy that he was okay with everything. Also, I'm actually going to save some time at the end of this now. Well, my boss's boss doesn't even, like, I don't really talk to him at all. I don't talk to most of the people in the IT department barring my actual boss, which is weird. Like, every now and again, they'll, like, shoot me a message, but outside that, not really. Also, we're almost done. I need to become Bates again. There we go. Here's the Bates action. Sorry to hear, Camden. But that kind of explains a lot of my logistics about it. And for the most part, I'm happy everything's gonna work out for that. Thank you for the follow. I think he should be fine, and I mentioned as well, I'm willing to help as much as I can through these next two weeks to make sure that he's not gonna be shafted. Exactly. The, the reason I also found, like, talking about my mom and all that is... She kind of told me, oh, it's this thing where even if you fail, you at least, at the very least, you can say you went for it, and if it doesn't work, well, you have that knowledge that you you actually, you went for it, as opposed to just having the dream and not going for it. So, I'm, in, I'm excited, and also, the streams are going well lately, and there's been a lot of support from you guys, which means a lot to me, and really, that's where it all comes from, and you can also... In a sense, I guess you can kind of also see why I've been very grateful the past few days, or the past few months, and like, kind of like, the like, my behavior the past few, even like, hell, even the last week, like, kind of seeing the positive response has been really affirming on my decision, in a sense. Like, I already had it before GEQ, but, yeah. Well, thank you, Dan. Yeah, hold on, let me go here. Exactly. Uh -huh, I went to college, I ended up getting my degree in uh, law, but I'm not going to become a lawyer because it costs so much money and not something I can really do there. And, I mean, the path ever opens up again, maybe. Maybe I'll move to another state, do law somewhere else. Go to law school. Who knows? The future is going to be an interesting time. But only time can really tell. Also, oh, we don't need a key, what am I doing? We are almost at the end of Ghost Head. Here it is. <laughs> I envied you. Your brilliant. Your wealthy family. Everyone must die. It's a weird ending, by the way. Talking to you won't do any good. Sorry, how rude of me to forget. Since I was the one who made you crazy. Father? Alyssa? You're... You're not my daughter. You're the daughter of George Maxwell. There he is. jealous of this man. So I hear that, Dave. Make him fall. Hey, uh, I by the way, from the Maxwell's grave. Uh, while this is happening, I'm gonna start messing with my plugs. So I'm just gonna mash the button. Father, I have time. I, uh, I don't understand. I'll be a minor occupation of getting child of the Maxwell family. The daughter with the cruel alter ego. The cursed daughter born into the Maxwell family every few generations. There's a couple things we're about to do here. Um, I can do the plugs already, guy. Everyone. <laughs> Must die. Good. It's like changing car tires. You gotta be quick. I loved you as. But for video games. I never thought of you as a tool to harm anyone. So I. Oh, good. So I infected the statue with bacteria. What do you miss? We're just finishing up to with our, uh, clock tower ghost head. Father! 
We're almost done, by the way. Hurry and leave. Who done it? In the last game, it was Harris and Edward. Who else is a Maxwell in the Clock Tower universe? Helen Maxwell. However, not really, because they're not related, and that's confirmed that they're related. You're not my father. Lie down. There you go. And that's Clock Tower Ghost Head. Right, Talik? Practically the same game. And that's the run. Although we're watching the ending of Ghost Head before we go into the next one. Well, the final boss is the puzzle. And yeah, there's two panic events you have to do. If you don't have the health, you can't pass, by the way. You need the health. I had a gold swap split? I did! Shh. This is more of a showcase. Look at this. I'll get him with this. Do um. you know what you're doing? Digging up the Maxwell grave? You think the curse is real? Yeah, yeah. It's it's pure absurdity. The also, while I have everyone, follow my Twitter chats. I'm almost at 800. It's great. First year is really short. It's like 20 minutes. Hell, that's actually bad, by the way. Like, yeah, I just lost RNG. There's nothing you can do about that. Also, remember how I mentioned how in Ghost Head, there's a, like, like, they tried to do a romance thing, but it didn't actually happen? I... Like... It's hard, isn't it? They, did it to this. they kind Everyone's of try dead, it, but the character's not fault. complete dog shit, so he doesn't actually, you know, try to take Maybe advantage so. of Alyssa. It's good. It would have been better if I had died. I'm not going to die. It's not that you've died there once already, you know. Well, I guess I've got to get rid of those zombies. It's not going to be easy. See you. He just... No love interest. He's taking shit done. He's taking care of it. Now the fun part, guess what? I can't skip this. Now I remember what I did. Oh my god. Well, I'm gonna stand up, stretch my legs, um, maybe grab a snack. Uh, I recommend you do the same. These are long ass credits. So be right back. Uh, I'll be watching my phone and a mod is in charge. Which one? All of them. Be right back, chat. I recommend you stand up.
Hey, perfect timing. Oh god, that's emote spam. Oh, someone cash it in. Oh, they're shit posting. So I go use her powers? That's fair. I mean, it's just the end, like the credits. We're waiting, so there's nothing, nothing wrong with that. I think we're approaching the end. I got some chips, I got brisk iced tea, now I'm ready to go. San Mateo, California? Huh, oh, what are they doing these days? Can you use your powers and credits? If not here, then sure. Ending rank is A, we did it. Okay, we don't want to have to play this. <laughs> We're done now. <laughs> We're done with that. For Arizona, Arizona's pretty good, but I have brisk laying around the house. So that's how it works out. Oh wait, they have an ending cutscene though, I forgot all about it. I think we do. Are we already watched the ending cutscene? Ah yes. I think this is the opening. Yeah, you're right, it's the opening. I never remember. Uh, close that. Window swaps. Uh, also, audio. I'm gonna need audio testing. Have a good night, Nucleus. Am I sure you tomorrow? Yes, we'll be doing a sub marathon. So if you're not voting that yet, feel free to do so. Right now, I'll tell you what's winning while we wait for the game to boot up. Don't need this for a bit. Case you start seeing, correct. This cannot be read, that's fine. I always have to do this anyway. Okay. Oh, come on. Was there a cutscene Clock Tower 3? The Acid Bath easily. That cutscene's fucking gold. Runner up goes to the, um. The cutscene where quite literally there's a stock photo of your fucking grandfather. You got it. Cool. Also, let's see what's winning the polls. Okay. So, for the poll, we got hmm. Hey, people join Discord! Yay! Uh, voting channel, where are we at? There we are. Right now, Alice is in second. Spookies is there. Luigi's Mansion. Why is Luigi's Mansion winning? That's gross. That's a that's a weird fucking list. Luigi's Mansion, Alice, and Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion. What a weird list, chat. Anyway, you guys can hear the game, right? You want the ring? You can still vote for it. It's still till ten. You can hear it? Hell yeah! All right, let's go. What time is it for me? About almost at 4 p.m. 3.52. No, I could do... Yeah, mod is for me, making me on mods. Like, right now, I have a mod I can actually add, but I'm gonna wait. So, I'm know if Astolfo comes back. I wanted a mod Astolfo. I mentioned it they up for the other day. I'm pretty, I'm pretty fine just to do it during the this if they want to. Usually, I message in private, but we kind of already talked about it on the last stream. So, kind of out the window on that one. 
Oh, it's a good one, Athlean. This one's fucking hilarious. Man. Oh, that's all good. Again, like, they're around, we'll get to it, but it's not like a major rush. It is like a thing. A pretty purple gem next to your name. What did you have to do? How do you even earn VIPs? I don't, I don't have, I have a weird criteria of actually earning shit. It's not much of a criteria. It's more... Let's see. Friends I know. Streamer friends I end up making. Viewers who... Hmm. You wouldn't be a bad pick, zombie. You know what, zombie, since you asked, I will, I will allow one way here. Oh, Stoffel, you want to be a mod? If you want to be a mod, you're more than welcome to. You're pretty much probably the perfect fit for a mod since, like, Zoku. There you go. There you go. I pick a lot of mods. Some of them is some of them is nepotism for my own friends. You was a mod fit? You're a mod fit, but like Zoku is quite literally like the perfect mod. Alright, yeah, I got you, Astapa. Mod uh how does spider Oh, five to six cutscene. Zoku's a exactly. Zombie, here's how we'll do it for you. You'll be the only one to get it. Oh, it's because you've been here a good amount of time. You have a fun name. However, you don't get to decide, neither do I. Alright, hold on. We need long loads. Uh, Stop, I'm going to be typing your name for a long time. Because I can't spell the word Charlemagne. Maybe I can. I maybe, I don't know actually. No, that'd be smarter, but still. Alright, I have a type, I just need to hit enter, but give me a moment. So it's not a good speedrunner. You type can't can't type fast? Sometimes it'd be like that. Also, here you go, Stoffo. Okay, chats. Now, for making zombie VIP, I have one question to you. Actually, I have to do a straw poll for this. Is there any way for me to do a straw poll? Hold on. I'll, I'll get one made. I'll, trust me, I'll get one made. I'll be good. Nice, you got the water refill pretty fucking quick, too. Go. Look at this fucking speed and multitasking. Good throws all around. Alright. Here you go, chats. Kai pays that. Does this man spark joy? Does this man spark joy? That is the question, chats. How does this game tie into the others? The name Burroughs. Oh, I never changed the title for Clock Tower 3. Shit, I need to do that. A lot of typing at once. I can't forget. Got it. We're good. Sweet. There we go. There we go, Stafo. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> My movement. All right, we're good. Well, there we go. I'll go. And I'll check the vote in a moment while I get back in my, my movement, because I'm doing a lot of wacky fucking movement right now. Proud of you, Stoffo. Proud of you. Who dare voted no? I voted yes. I'll say right there, there. There we go. Mod abuse is fun. There's a few no's in the voting. Does this man spark joy? It's overwhelmingly yes currently. What vote is this? Does zombie spark joy? Zombie currently has a bid to become a VIP. Does this man spark joy? Yes, but it's funny. 
There we go. All right, slow chamber time. Alyssa. Oh, hold on. Although, if someone doesn't have to type zombie's name for me, I just like copy and paste it, because I can't put just Z's, because it's my splits. We'll leave that up until after the game is done. The ugly truth that you have to hit exclamation mark SO. The horrible truth, in fact. Yeah. It really is horrifying to think about it. Also, this game gets a lot easier in comparison to the others. Like, now we're in the good speedrunning clock tower games. Like, there's a, in the marathon, there's, like, a weird slog of games with Ghost Head and Clock Tower 2. But once you get to Clock Tower 3, ooh, it gets fucking good, man. Like, the rest of it gets really good. Thank you, Hodor. Not only that, we got a big announcement. Also, Subtitles, good to see you. If anyone missed the announcement, I'm more than willing to tell you. But I think everyone here started, right? Oh, yeah. So I that I might actually have to do raw danger. Are you able to VIP people? No, only me. Athlete, this game's weird to me. When I first played this game, I hated it. I thought this game was painful to play. And then I sped ran it. And I thought this game was painful to play. And then I had to learn it for a clock tower full series marathon. And then I was like, I'm, I'm actually having a bit of fun. And then I got world record, and then I'm top two, because the guy who used to have world record beat my world record. I love this game a lot now. Oh, Dead Rising is amazing, Legend. That being said, uh, one of the full series marathons I would like to do is actually a Dead Rising full series marathon, if we can get the hang of that one. Um, I will make goals for the full... I think I'll, I'll, I'll do sub-point goals for that. MC, the fucking one of the OG mods. Dropping in to fucking say MC, to my dude. Sub. How you been, man? It's great to see you. I hope you've been well. MC, did you hear the announcement? Have you guys don't know MC, by the way? I don't know if he's been streaming much lately because I, there's always more on the chill side, but that dude is a fucking day oneer. I have many mods. I don't have that many mods. Like, I've seen other channels with many mods. I actually don't have all that many, all things considered. We have a pretty small scene. But MC, it's great to see you, my dude. He's an absolute classic man. And the name is based off Doki Doki Literature Club. But MC, I'll, uh, thank you so much for the two years. And if you didn't know... Hold on. And if you did not know, I'll be going full time soon. Oh shit, bad RNG. Ah, this is fine. I have to grab extra items. It's okay. He's a founder. He's not gonna have the two uh the two years. How's it going, Marty? Alright, this is awkward, this will be fun. Uh... There we go. Really? Wait, you told me this based on Doki Doki Literature Club. Wait a minute. God damn it. Now I feel like a fool. <laughs> but it is good to see you, my man. That is a stranger, Nodor. I'm glad you've been well. I'm very glad you, uh, you've you been well. I think I'll have low enough stamina coming up. We'll see. Oh yeah, the, the the escaping interactions are really fun to deal with. Also, let's hope I've been well. I'm going to be uh pursuing full-time Twitch streaming as a thing soon. Uh, starting in February, I'm I am going to be trying that out. I put in my two weeks, and we'll see how that goes ultimately. That being said, I'm quite nervous, but uh. I think we have a good shot, and I'm willing to work pretty hard for it. Oh yeah, it's hilarious. And good ways of just escaping and going with that. No, no, don't push no. It is a question though, Yalador. Does he spark joy? If he does not spark joy, he does not get the VIP. I see how that's going, by the way. It's a pretty, pretty stacked bow right now. We're gonna keep it up until the end of Clock Tower 3. 
Alright, there we go. Oh, come on. And... Oh, no, not the dresses. No, not the dress. There we go. Perfect. Also, I think this run might be dead at some point. So what I'll likely do... Is I will probably show off the acid bath. The acid bath's amazing. I didn't even know there was an unmob all option. Why would you use that? Hey, Quatchbris, thank you. It's much appreciated. How you been? It's good to see you. Thank you for the follow right there. Correct, out of game. Also, because I haven't VIP'd anyone in a while, so uh, it's a good fit. As long as you're a good chunk. You been fine? Glad to hear. Did you catch uh, Code Pieces Mummy Demastered? It was a fun run. It was fun to watch. I was nervous as all hell, though. Could this be a BTTV thing? Maybe. Thanks, man. You did great. Like, I'm. I was so fucking nervous for Code Piece when he started that shit. Like, I was like, dude, you missed the health. You missed the health. Oh no. Oh no. And then he nailed every single first try skip, and it was insane. Right? Wait, Tiny Burb, do you not know about the Acid Bath? If you don't know about the Acid Bath, no one spoil it, chat. We'll show it off when we get to it. Because that is an amazing section of this game. Hey, good RNG, hell yeah. What's bad RNG? I already had bad RNG earlier. Correct, Greatsword. Yeah. Alright. Now you need to do stress? In which sense? Oh, you mean the panic. Oh no. <laughs> what? I have never fallen off that before. Where do I spawn? Cool. 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 I have to do that all over again. Cool. Yep. Well, hope you like, uh... Wow, that is... Huh. Well, it's good to know you can fall off that. Yeah, Tal, like, it's gonna be a big rip. You can get a snack? Yeah, absolutely. If anyone needs to pee or get a snack, we have to do this all over again, so just go for it. And if we saw anything? Correct. <laughs> Correct. Also, that being said, um... I might put a poll in the Discord based on what you guys would rather see. Because at 400 and 500, I have long game speedruns, and if we approach 400, I'm wondering what people would want first. Uh, might be good. I'll be good. I'm wondering if people would prefer the Evil Within or The Last of Us, because I'm confused. Like, I can always swap The Last of Us and The Evil Within. Yeah. I have never died for that, by the way, so now I'm embarrassed. Hey, Skyron, how's it going? Uh, you miss, uh, technically missed the big announcement at the beginning, but I'm, like, the surprise is a consistent thing, I can just say it. Uh, I'll be going full-time streaming starting in February. And then the Cloud Time Marathon's been really, uh, really iffy, actually. I've kind of got shafted in almost all the games, barring, I think, Ghost Tat? No, all Cloud Star 2 is the only game that wasn't, like, hard shafted, I don't think. Thank you, Ellis Last. It's gonna be tough. Oh shit, this might be bad. Don't swing. Alright, we're good. He's gonna keep the the item now. It is a bit nerve-wracking. 
What? He is. My god, dude. I'm just getting bodied left and right right now. It's also always Sledgehammer that's the main thing. I don't know, man. Sledgehammer's being a dick. I get Geoed? I did. I get sent to the glue factory. It's quite sad. Well, these things happen. Thank you, Skyrodden. I'm excited. How's your day going today, by the way? Hope you're doing well. I think Haunting... You know, it's going bad now because Haunting Ground's going to go amazing. Let's just go with that, okay? Haunting Ground will be amazing because it's all going bad right now, and that's fine. As long as Haunting Ground's okay. Because Haunting Ground's the hardest one. Also, Nightcry will be perfect. As will be Mother. Also, walk forward, please. Thank you. Yeah, I'm worried about Haunting Ground right now. A remote BB would be fucking interesting. Haunting Heart doesn't have RNG manip is the problem. It, Haunting Heart just has RNG and you can't manip it. Really, I mean, I mean you kind of can. The third boss is actually pretty fun. He's hard, but it's fun. I'm glad to hear Tiny Bird. You've been very welcome so far. You're very nice. Oh, let me go check something. Tiny Bird, have you only been here for like... Well, you've been here since the second? Jesus. I feel like you've been here longer. You fit in pretty well so far. Also, Bloody Mina, thank you very much for the host. Yeah, everyone else, like, everyone who's joined already feels like a very good fit, and I like that. This time, hey chat, say it with me. Hey dumbass, don't fall off the thing. After stream? Okay. You sure, I can do it on stream if you want, but you're called, you know. I'll take Venom for you. I'll do it that way. I'll keep it. Yeah, we'll keep it private. Sounds good. Sounds good. I will, though. Yeah. Okay, it's lit. Thank you, chats. Glad to hear Tiny Bird. Okay. Okay, we're doing it. Dildog? Nice. Nice Dildog. Nice. And make our way back. Or the same one, bring G all the way back. Wait, what do you want to bring in? Also, hold on, there's something I saw. Skyrouting, that's actually a big point of what I like doing on stream. So... Consider the following. I only ever run horror games. However, I'm not what you might expect as a horror streamer. I feel like a lot of horror streamers really embrace the fear of things. They enjoy the spooks. They are very into it in dark. I'm a bit more bubbly than that. I'm a bit of a loud guy. I'm boisterous and bubbly. I choke around a lot. I'm not saying other horror streamers aren't funny because all the ones I know are pretty good. They do very well. Very lighthearted. But what you normally expect out of a horror game is more bubbly. What's bubbly? Bubbly is usually something like positive. It's something like it's it's happy. It's it's joyous. In a sense. The thing is, while horror games aren't joyous, I like to bring joyous light to them. I like showing them off in a sense that anyone can enjoy them. Also, yes, yeah, so. I tend to mock things that think are hilarious, and some things, if I think it's cool, I'll say it's cool. I'll be like, dude, that's badass. I'm very, um, usually not afraid of games. Every now and again it might be, but, like, usually I'm pretty good. And I agree, Athelene. I entirely agree on that one. Horror is a nice genre, and a big thing is a lot of people who... A lot of people who play horror are afraid of it. A lot of people who end up running it are also afraid of it. But... When you kind of embrace these games, you can see things that you would never know about. Like, a lot of people are afraid of Clock Tower 3, and it's a scary game, it has its moments. People don't like the pressure of being chased by a guy like Sledgehammer. But then you get into the game, and then you can watch an old woman get the shit beat out of her by an absolutely insane man. A lot of people won't play the game and find that. A lot of people won't play a game like Nightcrack, they'll be scared of that. Um, you won't get to see... a lot of things in there. People have different tolerances, and that's okay. 
go. Alisa. Also, Toasted Buck, how you doing? Exactly, Remothered's a scary game. It absolutely is. Keep in mind, Ellis Last Life, this game came out in 2003. It actually hit pretty hard in 2003. And a lot of people when they're younger don't have the same point of view of the current gaming uh, era that we have now. I think the game actually looks pretty charming, all things considered. I, one thing I don't ever complain about this game is I don't think this game looks bad. I think this game looks pretty good for a game that came out in 2003, all things considered. Especially looking at how, like, Clock Tower PS1 looks, which is the definitive, this game is the shittiest looking game on the entire series. Like, even Nightcry has charm and looks kind of like what a or like late 2000s, early 2010, 2010 game would be. But it depends. Also, it's time for that Sailor Moon fight, so let's get it. There we go. There we go. Oh, bugger. No problem, Skyrodden. I'm happy you enjoyed, and that's the most important part. Sailor Moon fight? Yup, it is that time. Parody for this game at some point. Makes sense. Here we go. Although, since we're already behind on time... Our boss fight music. If you guys have never seen it, by the way, enjoy. We're doing it for the boss fights. So every now and again for this game, I'll throw on the Sailor Moon music because it's the Sailor Moon game. Let's go. Let's do the fight. Nope, oh, not that. Alright, let's go. So, when you get enough power as a rooter, you get magical girl powers. These guys are called subordinates, they get taken out by the rooters. By getting the pocket watch, we're now strong enough to take this man out and send him to the Shadow Realm gym. There we go. I had a really bad sledgehammer fight, holy shit. Alright, he's dead. Music is done for now. Back to normal. The music will be back. Also, Lasagna, how's it going? I saw people join in while that was all happening, but it's the moments. I don't whip it out that often, because it's more fun in moderation. That's the fun part about Clock Tower 3, because it is magical girls fight enemies. And I bet you're wondering... I, this is... The Clock Tower Full Series Marathon, right? You're, you're not fucking with me? No, this is... Clock Tower 3 is a Sailor Moon horror game. Exactly, Dark Viewer. And there you good. good. 
It does. I know what Clock Tower 3 have in category art. I didn't know that um, the first three games didn't, though. I knew Clock Tower PS1 did. Uh, go Apparently, Clock Tower SNES is the only one that didn't have it, weirdly enough. Although, this game has nice music, which is why I don't want to, like, over entirely overwrite it. It's just not a good boss music. Barring, like, one boss, I think. Yeah, which is cheeky. And right, Eerie Lime? Like, I enjoy this game very much, and I'm going to try doing this game for SGDQ. I want to mention right now, I'm going to hard push this game for SGDQ, and I do want to get back world record in it. I had world record, about to get it back. Wait, is t which one's Time of Confrontation? I'm okay with the major boss song. It's just okay to me, though. I like the, the silly. I don't do it every time. I'm going to world record, I won't play the Sailor Moon music. If the run's already dead, I'm like, alright, we'll fuck around a bit. And I guess I want my VOD to be clean if I submit it, but this is a full series marathon. Full series marathons are very different. Also, I likely will have a lot of time save on Haunting Ground, and even in this game, apparently. I even know. Nah, I'm out of water. I have an iced tea. I need to drink that. Thanks, lasagna. Well, I'm glad I enjoy it. There we go. There's been a lot of friendly people so far, and I'm very appreciative of that. Alright, let's see. One. Two. I don't know if I'd be able to, Ellis Lass, but I will see if I can talk to people to try to get it done. I don't know if they'll let me. What was the big news? Random shout-out. And anyone else who may have joined in the time since then? The big news is that starting in February... I'll be going full-time streaming. This means pretty much what a full-time job would be like. It's gonna be a lot more. Uh, days will be longer. Such and such. Hey, there you are. That's very sweet, Lasagna. How have you been enjoying it so far? Thank you, Legend. Um, I, I put in my two weeks of my job yesterday. And, yeah. Although, I do want to mention, because I want to reiterate, what am I drinking? It's just an iced tea. I'm not drinking alcohol for that. Yeah. I'm glad, you, I'm glad everyone's been so supportive since GEQ. Like, I'm very happy I had the opportunity to show it off, and uh, there's been a lot of positive feedback on it. It's kind of crazy. I won't play it. I, I will not. I'll make sure it's going to be all good. Um, I've put a lot of thought into it. I'm definitely keeping at least one day a week off. I know that much. I'm still kind of setting how I do on weekends, but we'll figure that out. Can I play RE3 Remake when that comes out? That is the question. That is the question, unfortunately. Yes, sadly. I say sadly because I love RE3. I think it's an amazing game. It's my favorite Resident Evil of the entire series. Like, I love... Maybe 7 is tied with it now, but... I love RE3 very much. It's great. RE3 is amazing to me. But... RE3 also is going to have similar grinds that RE2 make had. And I'm not a big fan of that one. What's the RE game I don't like? Honestly, there's more of kind of... Eh, about... RE2 makes kind of boring, in my opinion. I think it's okay. I, I don't think it's amazing. I think it's amazing on the first playthrough. Anything after that is really just kind of rough to do. I actually... PBJ, believe it or not... I ended up buying Operation Raccoon City, and I'll find a, an excuse to do that. I'm not a fan of Waltz and Gromit. I'm not a fan of Scooby-Doo and a few other games. There's a lot of games I think are just boring. I still play RE2 make. It just... I don't think it's the game for me. I, I've done it. I've tried streaming a few times. It doesn't really work for me. First game to run. Skyrodden. A good game choice if you like it. Is going to... Actually... This is going to be the... If you're looking for Clock Tower games, SNES is going to be the easiest place to start. I have a video guide. Also, we have Westy with a raid. What were you up to today, Westy? Can I get a shout-outs? And let's see what the raid says. Well, I'm talking about that one, though. The best game for you to learn is going to be your favorite game. Star Wars Battlefront. Very nice. Hope you had a good stream, Westy. How's it going, Albion Hearts? Welcome, everyone, from Westy's stream. If you're new here, if you're wondering who I am, what we do, I'm Nick Dysis. I do a lot of horror games and horror game speedruns. Right now, we're doing a Clock Tower Full Series Marathon, and I run 62 horror games and probably more down the line. Oh, yeah. Did already four speedruns? Very nice. Wait, we you spell your name wrong? No, we didn't. 
did we? Oh, then so I was like, all right. I was like, did, we, we didn't miss that, did we? I don't think we did. I'm glad you enjoyed it, lasagna. I'm very glad you did. There we go. Also, who is asking about game? I keep forgetting. I saw the chat message. I just need to look back. How did I save 12 seconds? The hell I do? Skyrodden, you're asking. Skyrodden. The best thing, though, is find, like, five of your favorite games of all time. And then look up the speedruns and the communities for those and see what they have. Like, if you're a big fan of a lot of games, I would say five. I, it took me about four games to find the one I wanted to speedrun. I did Mario Sunshine, I didn't like it. I tried Bioshock, I didn't like it. And I tried Yu-Gi-Oh! From the Memories, I didn't like it. I liked Bioshock later on, but the other two I never got into. And then I tried Clock Tower, and I loved it. A lot of speedrunning is going to be based on what you can play. Keep in mind, you're going to be playing these games a lot. Like, I don't do Clock Tower PS1 a lot because I don't like playing it. Bioshock is tricky to speedrun. I learned it later on, but initially it was kind of hard for me. Which is why I wasn't the biggest hard one. There yeah. There we go. Nice. I have tried Fatal Frame. I ran that before. I need to get better at that. So going back into the other topic. Oh, Alone in the Dark? Alone in the Dark sounds hard. I've seen it. I never played it, though. is the problem. I only do games I've played now. The Cardinal Rule. But, as well with RE3 Make, it's one of those games that I'm likely going to have to do just to kind of keep up to date. I like the game. I like RE3, but I know for a fact I'm probably going to drop it if I don't like the run. Like, I didn't- I did not do RE2 Make. I did RE2 Make, and then I immediately just like, I don't like this game. It's not very interesting to me. I'm not doing well with it. I'm not having fun with it. And it was alright. A lot of people enjoy RE2 Make, and you're allowed to enjoy RE2 Make. If you're wondering, I play RE3 Classic a decent chunk. I like RE3 Classic. It's a fun game. I like the game a lot. I be playing that more, in fact. But if RE3 Make to be more like RE2 Make, I'm not gonna like it. I already know I won't. If it changes enough to be good, then sure, but it will depend. RE2 Classic be worth looking into. I know that run's an uh, intriguing one. Yeah. Hey, Demon Lord Ralts, how's it going? Hope you're having a good day. How am I losing time? Oh, I'm not losing time, dummy. I'm gaining time. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It does a stop though. Why do people dislike RE5 as a speedrun or as like a game in general? Because that game, people don't dislike it, they dislike the single player of it and how campy it is. RE5 is a game that's extremely fucking campy. However, it's probably one of the greatest co op experiences to ever play in your life. However, people also. How am I getting time to falling? I had a really bad Clock Tower 3 run during this, I think. No problem, Skyrodden. No problem. It'll gain it all back, I think. There we go. That'd be a good idea. Hold on. In general, it's because also it was just really action-y and not the horror people wanted. However, keep in mind that RE5 is, I think, the second best-selling RE game of all time. No, there's no official leaderboard because I'm the only person who runs this. And also, I technically die during Haunting Ground. No, I think last time I did this, I didn't die. I think the last time I did this was fine. But still. Also, this is more of a category of things I do. Like, I, if I want to make it official, I'll have to put official rules on. I have to make it, like, a many of things. And then it doesn't get fun because I can't show off cutscenes and such. Like, if you want to, like, get the best thing, you would have to, like, skip all the cutscenes that are fun. You would have to just, like, optimize things so you go for the fastest one. Like, if you're doing Clock Tower B ending in the beginning, by the way, you'd be doing... Yeah, you'd do B ending. You wouldn't do C ending. C ending's too long, I think. Hey, Ami, how's it going? Anyway, someone was asking, what's the acid bath? Well, enjoy. No spoilers yet. I came to tell you the dinner's ready. And I told you that you don't need to be worried about me. Your old mother may have dicky eyes, but she's not a She has dicky eyes. You just concentrate on your work. Nice, Yami. Anyway, what is it you're making this time? 
Some new toy that'll have the local kids a gog, I bet. Actually, I've been busy making this. No, you can skip this. It just... I'm not going to. Oh, but... Because it's worth seeing. Winter's coming, and I don't want you catching cold, wandering around outside. I've been making this in my spare time. How is it? Go. It's lovely. So warm and soft. Thank you. Thank you so much. How sweet. That's <laughs> enough play, happy family. You make me sick. <laughs> there you go. Okay, how's it going? Hope you are having a good day. Oh, this would be horrifying, dude. Yep. To be fair, this game is rated M for mature. Correct, then. Correct. What's the backstory on this? There's a serial killer in the UK who killed people with acid or something. And you go back in time to kind of witness these people. So he just beat the shit out of that old woman and that's how she died. And now we need to stop uh, Kuroda from killing us. And we need to save the old woman. So let's do it. By the way, that is always my favorite part of this game. Dicky eyes. Do I remember Siren Blood Curse? I'm not familiar with it, but I never played it personally. There we go. Like, games I should play, like, uh, games I consider the Clock Tower, I don't consider Siren at all related to Clock Tower. However, there's one that I consider doing, but I don't consider it in the Clock Tower sphere. Although, a lot of people do. I, I don't see it behind the Clock Tower sphere. It's too different. Like, here's, here's the thing. A good one is that people say Rule of Rose is in the Clock Tower sphere. It's not. It's similar. It's a beautiful game with you play as a teenage girl, but that doesn't make a Clock Tower game. It doesn't have any of the stalker mechanics. It doesn't have any of that. It's more like I don't even know. I don't know that that game is kind of own thing. However, I would run the game, but I don't think I'd put in like a Clock Tower marathon. Oh yeah. Oh, he's amazing. Oh god, we need the butt slam! Fuck, bad luck. We have butt slam. That's bad luck. Oh, shit. By the way, yes, his attack is genuinely a fucking butt slam of all things. You know, with his ass. Yeah. Also, we're furthy, or furthy, further adding on to Clock Tower characters who are dummy thick. You see, we all, we'll have ass rankings. Let's see. Uh, you don't really have... I guess you have... You no, know, you don't really have anything in the, uh, the original Clock Tower. There's no ass in there. It's a pretty low tier. Clock Tower PS1, I mean, you don't have much either. Uh, Clock Tower Ghost Head, I mean... Yeah, not much. This game really starts opening up with the ass with the rotor. And then in Haunting Round, I mean... I guess, take your pick. That game is fucking sexuality at the ass. Um, and then Nightcry, you have fucking Rooney. I mean, look at her. She's thick. And then Remothered, you have Felton. Now, Felton's naked, but he's not thick. Rosemary doesn't have an ass. But it's not about Rosemary. It's about <laughs> uh, Felton. Oh, right. How can I forget Breaker? You're right. Nolan's ass in Clock Tire PS1. See, we have ass rankings. We'll, we'll talk about these ass rankings, Chad. I'm going to do Douglas from Sound 3, but he's not a Clock Tower series. He can't be on the Clock Tower series ass tier. If you have a tier ranking on Clock Tower asses, why would Douglas be on there? I don't think that guy's going to be dummy thick. He looks like more akin to a normal Clock Tower en enemy. I'm pretty sure Rooney still wins, though. Like, Rooney is just absolutely thick. Stay for the booty? Correct, Lust. Correct. 
Oh god. Oh, might be getting hit. That was bad. It's not the end of the world. I'm not gonna die, but definitely a bit rough. Oh no, I didn't take it. Good. Yeah, well, we'll at least soon. At least soon. Yeah, Rooney's gonna have ocean candy, so it all works out. She is, um, she is. Anyways, now time. That emote is Catherine. Catherine's a horror game, believe it or not. Sounds good, Estaba. Have a good time at the store. What song is this? Moon Prism Power Makeup. Oh shit. How is Captain a horror game? Horror games are pretty broad. Oh shit, hold on. I'll get that in a moment. Let me just do this first. I need a binding. Two, three. There she is. One, three, four. There she is. Come on. Almost got him. He's not sidestepping you. It's very nice. And I'm just playing on YouTube. They do work. But Legend, you're worrying about Catherine. Catherine was designed. Catherine, no one, no one can get it. No, you do need to kill them. You do need their full health. They just they get bigger damage that way. Shit, get in the way. There she is. Alright, come on. There she is! No. Prepare to die! Alright, come on. Good. Let's gain damage. There she is! There she is! Prepare to die! Dead. There we go. It's a part of the run now. Ah, yes, Ellis Lass. Okay, so why is Catherine a horror game? Well, who here is familiar with the movie Us? Are you not surprised? Yes, I have distorted one. The surprise is, in February, I'll be going full-time streaming. Uh, I put in the two weeks for my job. I've been planning it for quite a while. And I'm uh, pretty excited and nervous about the whole thing. But it'll be fun, I think. So we'll be getting a lot more streaming hours come February, where I'll be pretty much keeping the same schedule, but longer. So I'll be the same start times, and I'll probably have graveyard shifts, but it'll be fun. And then weekends, I'll probably do a normal human hours, kind of like this, because I like my, my noon. If you're afraid of commitment, absolutely. There I am. So for one, what is the intent behind Catherine? What is the game about? The game is meant to scare you. The original design is scaring. A big thing that people were saying when Us came out was, Oh, Us isn't horror. Us is thriller. You know, we know how people responded? Jordan Peele came out and said, No, it's not a thriller. Us is a horror movie. Us is horror. Creator intent is a powerful thing, and they're trying to convey a certain emotion. People might not be as scared of something, but it doesn't mean it's not innately horror. People are trying, and they're hitting marks that are obviously there trying to be a horror game. It is a thing that comes up. The thing with Catherine is the game is marketed as a horror puzzle dating sim. They are absolutely designing that as a horror game, and it mentions even in the story it's a tale of romantic horror. It's about the fear of commitment. It's about the fear of having children. There's many fears that Vincent experiences throughout that. And a lot of what Catherine goes into is horror. Did you know there's a killer baby in the game? Did you know there's a literal ass? Yes, it's more psychological than anything. There's a literal oh, ass. Nice trick. <laughs> you get chased by a shadow of yourself and it actually eats another dude. There's actual death consequences in a death scene if you end up not winning the game. The beginning of the game opens up with a guy being petrified in his bed. Catherine's absolutely a horror game. It has more of an anime art style, and uh, well, the main idea is it's a love story. But it's a love story designed in horror, and it does have that. 
Which is also why I count Catherine in the, hor the horror sphere of things. Also, the main thing I found is people who tend not to think that way are just very anal about their definitions. I heard people argue that Resident Evil is horror. Resident Evil is horror. It, it's is it? It's action, but it's action horror. You know what else is a horror movie? Believe it or not, Predator. Predator is designed as a horror movie, and it absolutely is. The thing with Predator, though, is a lot of it's masked behind action. It's like it's rocky in space, but the thing is, there it does have its moments, and it's designed to be a horror movie. Ron Danger's horror in this same vein that Final Destination is horror. People won't call Predator horror. You know what else is horror? Or is designed as horror? The original King Kong. The original King Kong is actually a horror movie. Peter Jackson's King Kong also has signs of a horror movie. Now, I know you're thinking, how the fuck is King Kong a horror movie? We live in 2020. When that movie came out, there was nothing like it. Because Just because we've been desensitized to horror to the extent that we're not going to be able to appreciate the same things that people did back when it wasn't a thing, doesn't mean it doesn't suddenly become not a thing. It's a horror movie in its art, and its intent was to scare. This is also why I use the idea that intent's a powerful phrase. If their design was to do that, it counts. Yeah. There's a lot of things that were, and it's a trip. If you watch Frankenstein these days, is Frankenstein not horror if it doesn't scare you? Reading the book about Frankenstein scared a lot of people when it came out. Tucker and Dale vs. Evil is horror parody, which is pretty much a genre of horror in of itself. And parody can be done well. Exactly, Riff. And that's also why it kind of goes into Catherine. Just because something's not scary doesn't mean it's not horror, it means you have a better tolerance. Shit. Uh, I'll take it. Yeah, Arachnophobia is a horror movie. Eight Legged Freaks is silly. Snakes on a Plane is a horror movie. A lot of those. Mo Anaconda is. A lot of those movies are horror movies. Are they good? Not particularly. But they are horror. Shaun the Dead's parody, and that's a good one. Look at that. Which is also weird to debate to people. Realistically, the people I find who will disagree with me on these things are people. I'm not sure about Gremlins because, in all honesty, I've never actually, I know Gremlins and actually seen it. But I think, yeah, it's like a children's horror movie, if I remember correctly. At least the intent kind of gets around that. Wow. <laughs> wow, that's a big snake. Cor correct, Alice Lads. I'm pretty sure it is. I said snakes on the plane. As in Gremlins, I'm baby, Diffro. I'm baby. Jaws is horror. You know why? You want to see acid bath? You did, Kinocore. Unfortunately, you did. You know what happened when Jaws came out? Uh, I, remember, I know for a fact about Jaws because every 4th of July, that I'm in town, every time I'm with my mom around that time of year, I watch Jaws. I watch Jaws all throughout my life. Yeah, people avoided beaches like the fucking plague. Still to this day, people think they're like great white sharks are me out in any waters ready to kill them. It scared the shit out of people. Like, the amount of fear Jaws struck into people is insane. There we go. Omar Sheriff, with the host. Thank you very much. Welcome everyone from Omar's stream. Hope you're having a great day. How was the stream? Can I get a shout out? Thank you. Hitman 2. Ooh. I do the water. Here we go. But either way, hopefully a good day, Omar. How was the stream? Welcome everyone. I'm McDysis. I do a lot of horror games and horror game speedruns. If that's your jam, you're in the right spot. I hate rubber. Rubber sucks. Fucking awful movie. I believe it, Athleen. I believe it. Well, no, but different. Here's the thing, though. Thinking about a movie and its horrific implications is one thing. However, the most important part will be intent, and also what's the movie trying to accomplish with its intent. Omar, how's it, man? Hope you had a good stream. If you guys don't know Omar, you should. Very nice people. Check him out. Hope he had a good stream. 
Zom Beavers. I've never seen it. There's also horror themes as well. Like, a good example of horror adjacent would be a movie that has a horror setting, but honestly isn't that scary. Like, a good example would be Scooby-Doo in the zombie one. It's not strictly a horror movie, given it's Scooby-Doo, but at the same time, it's all very horror settings. It's movies that are going to be in that setting, but ultimately they're not going to be that terrifying. Yes! Yes, Ateline! Absolutely! Those bugs scared the shit out of me! Yes, zombie! That one. Even the series Scooby-Doo. Uh -huh, honey, I shrunk the kids? Well, PBJ, I wouldn't count that. Because the idea is... Actually, it has its moments. Come on, one, two, three, four... Let me get the first binding. Alright, we got it. Here's the thing. So, have you guys ever watched a movie called Phoebe's Big Adventure? It's a movie where Petey Herman is trying to find his bike, um, and he goes all around the United States on a road trip to try to find his bike that's in the Alamo, apparently, according to him. In this movie, there is a scene where Petey is uh, on a provincial road trip, and he has to kind of... That's a great movie. I love that movie. Who's Me Adventure was the good one. Everything after that's... Uh... Correct, Phantasm. But the reason I bring it up, yes, some people already mentioned in chat, Large Marge. There's a scene in that movie where Pee Wee goes on a hitchhike and he meets a ghost trucker and it has a full-blown jump scare with a horrifying image of a woman named Large Marge. Now, the thing is, Pee Wee's Big Adventure isn't a horror movie, but it does have its moments. And that intent of the moment was to scare you, but it was meant to scare you in the way that was uh, meant to scare a child, for example. It was meant to scare a certain demographic, and it was meant to just build tension in that moment, which is more severe. But ultimately, the general theme of Pee-Wee's Big Adventure is lighthearted. It's not a horror movie. It's fun. It's a fun type of horror. Going back into it, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. The bugs are fucking horrifying. But ultimately, it's more about the science and how they get around. It's, it's tension, but it's not outright horror. Goosebumps would be horror because the intent is to scare you in a child way. I kind of those are the implications of Fifty First Dates. The intent of it isn't to scare you, but there are some weird intentions with that. Have I seen Freak Show? It sounds familiar, but I could be wrong. And that kind of explains it. Would a porn parody of a horror movie classified as horror? It'd be horror porn. Ever writing story? That yeah, could be horror. Oh god damn! I got grabbed. Are you kidding me? That's fine. Right at the end too. Demographic is a powerful thing. Just keep that in mind. I do. Huh. There we go. Also, some horror movies can be absolutely silly at moments, but ultimately the, uh... Like, the repercussions of what happens in the movie can really shine as, oh god, this is actually kind of fucked up. A good example is Little Shop of Horrors. You wouldn't think it, but that movie's fucked up and it's horrifying. Like, it's a horror movie all in all, but it's a musical. The Frighteners? I know The Frighteners. I, I liked it as a kid. It, it's one of those movies that I saw while I was a kid, and I enjoyed the ghosts running around and everything, and I enjoyed Michael J. Fox in general, but I can't remember everything about it. Exactly. I'm like, Little Shop of Horrors, oh, a plant is singing, but the plant wants to eat everybody. Warm bodies, yeah, it can have its moments. I think that was like the vampire or the zombie vampire love story one. <laughs> Hell, even Shaun of the Dead, which is usually known as a pretty funny comedy. You guys remember Shaun of the Dead? Because that movie had a pretty fucking serious moment near the end that kind of scared the shit out of me as a kid. Now you're wondering, how did I get scared of Shaun of the Dead as a kid? Good question. There was a part of that movie where they rip open one of the guy's stomachs and eat it while everyone else is running or crying around it. And it's a pretty graphic scene. I remember it vividly. And it looks good. It's not, like, it, it, that scene's not pay, played for laughs. Like, that's an actual character loss. Meanwhile, you remember the scene where they're throwing, like, records at the zombies, and it's funny. There I am. Good throw. Like, I remember that, too, when I was a kid. I was like, oh, this is a fun movie. And I was like, oh... Oh, the entire end, like, beat of Shaun of the Dead is pretty fucking horrifying. Especially at one point, I think they're, like, worried they're not going to make it. There we go. Yeah, there's a scene from Shaun of the Dead where a guy's getting his stomach torn open. Yeah, like, that happens. 
and they were yeah exactly silas i ca personally i count mars attacks as horror but i talk with a lot of people who also like the horror area and the genre and they say that mars invasion movies aren't horror they're more sci-fi however also keep in mind that sci-fi has its roots in horror so like come on Did you know that sci-fi was born at the exact same time that the genre of horror was born? So you like Star Wars, well actually I guess you're not sci-fi. <laughs> because Star Wars is a fantasy story, it's not a sci-fi story, it has sci-fi elements. Also the idea of dying, like War of the Worlds... Well, sci-fi is a genre, yep, Frankenstein, the world's first sci-fi book. Believe it or not, Frankenstein invented both genres, sci-fi and... Horror. The Alien doing a sci-fi horror? Alien is absolutely a horror movie. Aliens is action, but it's still horror through and through, because that, that movie has its moments, and it's ultimately based in horror, it's just they're a bit stronger. Horror gets a bit lost when you gain power. That's a big thing. There we go. Which is also why you don't see very many horror RPGs, or the genre isn't as popular. You see Parasite Eve, and there's a few of them, but it's not a popular genre for a reason. Consider what makes a good horror game. Consider what makes a good RPG. In an RPG, generally, your state of power is early on, you're very weak. However, the more you play the game, you're going to be on par with the gods of your strength. And you can take out most things. Consider the nature of a horror movie. A horror game, I should say. All throughout, you're supposed to be weak. Sweet Home is godly, but it's one of the rare ones to do it. Right, right. There we go. As a horror game, you're not supposed to gain power. Yeah? One, two. If you gain too much power in a horror game, you're not gonna be worried. In fact, a big part of your health in Resident Evil is actually your ammo system. A lot of people don't really realize it, but resources in horror games are way more powerful than you think. In Resident Evil, there might be a certain hallway that has too many zombies. If you need to get in that hallway, you're going to have to expend some bullets, but you have limited resources. This is also where Sweet Home comes in, and that's where it comes a lot of. Now, obviously, the more and more you go, it gets stronger, but it depends on the game, too. In Silent Hill, you really don't have a lot to work with. What else would have made it, Yami? The Strange Sign's absolutely horror. Oh, God. Shit. Hold on. As a, as a storybook genre, though... Can you name any Yami? Because generally, Frankenstein is the mother of horror most consider. Nah, this is fine, I think. Yeah. Is he throwing at me? He is. He is. Yeah. Nice. Oh, nice trick. Oh, God, he's doing the nice tricks. Oh, Shit. nice trick. <laughs> Oh, nice trick. Uh. Thanks, so. Alice. The last one is definitely horror. Like, again. People have a really weird area of going, oh, it's not horror, it's action. No, it's not it's horror. You know any people have seen you get the shit scared out of them while playing The Last of Us? A lot. Again, a lot of people who are saying something's not horror are generally elitist gatekeeping, and they have the equivalence of, like, I always make it kind of like this, because if you if you watch, like, a lot of porn, eventually your dick can only get off to certain things. Like, this is something that happens with people, and it's fucking cursed. It's going to be similar with horror games, and the more you get used to, you're not going to be scared of, like, a fucking jack-in-the-box, for example. Meanwhile, some people are really just not sensitive to it, and that's okay. Like, I play a lot of horror games, and every now and again I can get God, but it's not often. A few games can get me, but it, it's not a frequent thing. Devotion got me. There we go. Either way, we're doing pretty good. Anyway, that's the big rant on that one, and that's also why I like talking about Catherine, and I'll always defend Catherine as a horror game. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, Teddy. Absolutely. I'm not saying mine does, Yami. I haven't jerked off to the point where I'm fucking desensitized to everything. I had a buddy who was for a while, and then he stopped and he got better, but like, oh my god. According to him, by the way. It's not like I just, you know, witnessed or anything. There we go. Hey, Ruda. How's it going? Good to see you. Doki Doki Lurch Club's a meme, though. That's not gonna have much going on with it in terms of the speedrun. It's too short. I don't put meme speedruns in voting. Like, I have a lot of memes, barring... Yeah, I don't put any of them up, actually. Did I make the announcement yet? I did. There you go, BS Ben. Well, you know, a lot of people call me a dickus. Yeah. Nice rescue. But yeah, Ruidath, it'll be interesting to see how it all goes. Here we go. I... San Fran... Uh, San Fran... Oh, wait. San Francisco. I was, like, blanking on... Oh, there's, like, San San Francisco. Like, oh, no. San... 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 Nah, it took me a while. San Francisco. How's it going? I put the Dark Souls series under Gothic words. The aesthetic is there, and it's trying to be a Lovecraftian sort of thing. However, it's not going to innately be terrifying you. The designs are meant to, and it's all there. However... The actual, like, are you even scared? Probably not. But the design choice is definitely there. Also, there's a difference between gothic and, like, just... Like, gothic horror and, like, Lovecraftian, for example. You can be gothic and Lovecraftian, but gothic isn't necessarily horror. Because a good example of gothic, but not horror, is Dishonored. Dishonored isn't a very scary game. Exactly, Skyrodden. Thank you for the follow. I love Dishonored. But I know for a fact that's not horror. You know what else is kind of a game that has beats that are horror, but it's not quite a horror? Psychonauts. Psychonauts is a neat game, but it's not a horror game. Yeah, the things can be unnerving, but they're not inherently horror because of the ultimate thing you're trying to accomplish. Oh, I forgot to do the music. Uh, it's fine. Chopper won't get music, I suppose. Good hit, holy shit. Thank you for the... Uh, Got him. Shit, it didn't hit him? Alright. That's good, we got him. Galarians? I've heard about Galarians. There you go. Subnautica is a horror game, honestly. I've heard arguments for it. I'm willing to agree with it. It's that one fear. I forgot to play it, zombie. Take this. Holy shit, how many of these might get on him? I'm beating the shit out of this man. Finally. Yeah, I would. The forest is definitely horror. Subnautica is. RMC, did you see the um, the GDQ run of it? It was great. Thank you, Ben. That's what I'm thinking about. The new weird genre being horror adjacent. Well, horror adjacent is something I use as well. And I got the I got the term from a channel called Dead Meat. If you've ever heard about Dead Meats, they do uh, something called the kill counts, and they'll count the amount of kills in game or movies. And they do both movies and horror adjacent movies, which that's where I get the title from. How's it going, Yuki? Yes, the announcement is I'll be going full time streaming starting in February. And it'll be interesting. There we go, zombie. It's perfect. James A. Janice. Correct, Seneca. I love Dead Meat. It's a fun channel. It's very wholesome. And also, it's a similar beat. Kind of what I like going for. It's something that's... You don't have to be afraid of these things. They're Sometimes they're campy. Sometimes they're fun. Like, how I love the Saw series. No more IT. I might do IT in, like, if I, it doesn't work out, but for right now, I would like to try full-time streaming out. Um, my boss is understanding. I put in my two weeks yesterday, and we'll see how it goes. Ultimately, you can't be trying to do a bit more, though. I've been working IT three and a half years, and there's obviously things in my job that, like, I'm happy with and things I'm not happy with, but ultimately, I think streaming is going to be an interesting choice to make. 
Oh, yeah, I, yeah, Dave, you're right. You're definitely right. Although, fun fact, I don't mean to call anyone out, but a weird thing about the, like, the donations, the announcer, like, I remember sitting with uh, RPS during that, and we noticed the announcer for that game was the hat girl. Like, it was the girl who does the the floppy hat on the stream the entire time. It was really, like, I was like, oh, hey, she's walking in the back. Oh, oh, she's an announcer. She seemed nice and was doing well, but yeah, they there's just a couple that were like missed. I was like, oh, uh, sorry, man. Yeah, that. They seem nice. What was my job? I did IT at a factory. I'm not gonna say what kind of factory. Just kind of keep uh, some kind of a non anonymity, anonymity, anonymity. I uh, some kind of anonymous behavior. Correct the same as banned. Correct. Yeah, Alice Lass, I, I agree. And nothing wrong with that, she did fine when it came in. Eno... Eno... Ni... Midi. Yeah, Idi. I... Anom, 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 midi. There we go, we got it. Oh, keep me anonymous, essentially. But yeah, I've, I've been doing three and a half years at the current job, and then I did four years... Another three and a half years, Mike. Oh, wow, three and a half! Only once. If it doesn't go well, I'll just do IT again. Like, that's the thing. One. Ooh, here we go. Thank you for the follow. Why does someone like, not like GQ? That's gonna be a good conversation, but let me get my current train of thought kind of fully done. I have to hit a few points I want to. But yeah, I worked uh, a total of seven years of IT stuff, and I'm kind of willing to try out the, uh, the streaming sphere. I've been liking it a lot. Um, a lot of cool people, a lot of nice people. And I think this can go well. But yeah, as well, Yuki, I'll pretty much be keeping the same hours, and they'll just be going longer. I might go a little bit earlier as well, like one hour earlier, maybe. We'll see. In time. Slice and dice. Godzilla is horror, but you wouldn't think it. Yeah. Snippy. Ooh, hold on. Thank you, Dan. It's much appreciated. Yes, Slice although... Aging Snake, one upside though is my brother has some familiarity with that, and my dad helped him, so I can probably get some of the similar stuff in regards to assistance. Yeah, OG Godzilla is horror. Um, that being said though, going into another talk before I talk about why people not like GDQ, our buddy Sam Hill not like it, um, I had a weird interaction at GDQ. So you know how like the front row is entirely dancing people and all that, and everyone was dancing? Uh, I, I remember, like, Dan's dad told me, like, yeah, get, get out of the way, you. I was like, uh, oh, alright. Apparently I was blocking the camera from shining on him while he was doing his air drums. And I was like, wait, is that, is that Dan's dad? I was like, oh yeah, I guess it is. Yeah, he pretty much told me to beat it. <laughs> not, not exactly like that, but he told me, like, hey, you're in the way. And then, like, shoot me off. Yeah. I don't know if it was exactly Dan's dad, it was a heavy set bald dude doing air drums while sitting. And I remember he waved me off and told me I was in the way. And normally I would not, like, I wouldn't be worried, I would, like, I would get it if it was during the game, but it was during the, like, period of time where there's no game. I'm not blocking any vision. It, it's like a time where I'm talking to some friends and, like, I'm like, I'm there. Like, it, it was a quick thing. Oh, hold on. Uh, that counts as a split. Apparently, Dan. By the way, he seems like a nice guy, and pretty sure it was a one-off experience, but, uh... Yeah. I have no ill will against him or anything, I just... I, I do remember that experience. The hot girl seems nice, I don't want to talk to her. There we go. Exactly, he would, he would beat my ass. I get bodied. I didn't use my runner privilege. Like, well, it wasn't during my run. It was during late in the events. I got the thing. Hell yeah. That's actually a perfect throw. Holy shit, that went good. You missed something? What did you miss, Charlie? The games? Go for it, Zoku. Go for it. I heard about that, Dan Francisco. It was sad. Moving. Oh, um, 
pretty much draw like what ended up happening was there was nothing major. I was just standing like at one point I was trying to talk to my friends. Like I saw a couple of them kind of run ish during a run. I was like, oh, I'll talk with them. It was during the break period in between games, so it wasn't during a run or anything. Uh, I pr I guess was standing in uh, Dan's dad's way or something, so he pretty much like waved me out of the way and told me to like hey, go, get out, get out of the way. It was kind of like stern and bit, bit like I'm being a nuisance, essentially. I do want to note that this is during the section where it's like... Yeah. It was during a section where there was no run, so I'm like, I'm, I'm fine. Is it Dick? I don't think it's a total Dick. I think it was just kind of uh, dismissive towards me. I mean, that doesn't inherently make someone a Dick if they're dismissive. I just started dancing still in the spotlight. I, like, I had a runner spotlight. I'm fine. <laughs> Seems like a nice enough guy. He likes my tweets. Every now and again. I don't mind being kind of dickish. I don't consider like a total dick though. Yeah. There we go. Come on, love the camera where they do it. I don't know. You're the dancing. Half dig, maybe. But yeah, stop digging for drama. I agree. It's not drama, it's just a weird quirk. But anyway, going on to the other thing, how am I feeling? So I'm strong? Yeah, I'm doing good. Like, Clock Tower 3 is pretty chill near the end, we're getting to the later half of this run. Oh, oh, right, oh my, I forgot, fuck. How have you received anything much about it? Well, even then, like, I, I totally get it. I was like, oh, that's fun. Yeah, sorry about that. I just apologize, moved, but I do, I do know it was like, oh, all right. Like, if I was more petty, I probably would have made a bigger deal about it, but ultimately I could just rant about it online, and then I'm all good. Don't call anyone out, though. Like, that's, that's just a story I have. Oh, shit. Oh, no, no, no. no. Yeah, there we go. Which is an odd thing. No, don't blame Air Canada. Ghost? Correct, Hodor. Anyway, going to Seneco's, like, entirely delayed question, why do some people not like GEQ? Some people, the, yeah, she had good vibes, Yami. I agree. Most of the front row are good vibes for the entire event. And also, like, other points, Dan said it wasn't a dick to me. It was just during the, I think, just me being kind of in the way. Which inherently isn't a bad thing. Like, if you're, I was standing in front of him, like, remotely, like, blocking it. So it's not the end of the world. Like, I, I'm not, oh, fuck. <laughs> Bro. I, I, I get it. That's me. I, I get it. I don't, I don't have any problems with that. But I, I, I get it. No, I just wanted to have my friends that time. Anyway, with GDQ, though, people don't like it because they feel like it's gotten very corporate. Uh, GDQ's been putting a lot of fun of this lately, and with things like, hell, even though, was his name Luz Belhem? Bel Luz Belhem? Helm? Was it Helm? Heem? I'll call him Luz because that's how I remember his name. The thing with, like, Luz lately, he's been mentioning that more and more, that is more corporate, and that, oh, it's this totally safe event and things aren't allowed anymore. Certain things are allowed, and certain things aren't. Well, is it him? Luz Belhim, thank you, thank you. I wasn't sure if it was like Luz Be like Beelheim, Belhim. Uh, I couldn't remember the exact name. Slice and dice. ESA isn't, uh, they've been doing their own thing lately. I like ESA, but they've definitely been having some, they have some strange beats. Was it short? Correct. Like, ESA is definitely been going a lot more corporate if corporate's not your thing. Although corporate isn't necessarily bad. I didn't get banned or talk the ass camera, but also it depends on how I talked about it. I asked Mike Yuyama, hey, could I mention Rooney's assets? And she's like, D you, you could, but please don't. Oh. At the same time, though, banning Luz, I mean, really quick, this name is banned. Uh, let's assume you're going in for a job interview for a normal job. Like, my, my IT job currently. Um, they would check my Facebook. I would not be posting the word feminazi on my Facebook, for example. Not to mention just a few things in general. Like, I, I get the points he's making, because I read his thing afterward, but like, you are a representation of your profile. The things you post do have that kind of thing when they look out on you. 
Hell, I remember actually hearing from a few people who did hosting, one of the reasons they might not want to do hosting in the future is because they do check your Twitter, and they will check your feeds. If you're, if you're, if you're horny posting, that's not good. Yeah. We're gonna change the topic from that one, though. I'm just mentioning that as an example. Anyway, going back into it, it's the general idea that GDQ is getting more corporate and less family-friendly. However, in the same vein, what exactly is family-friendly? Is it Owen Wilson memes? Is that what's family-friendly? Is it Crash 2 Game Over Abuse, where a guy talked about killing himself the entire time? Is it telling someone to step in front of a shuttle bus? It, are those what's non-corporate? Yeah. Well, yeah, but again, Skyrodden. The thing is, though, games don't exist in a vacuum. Games exist in genres. So I submit against other horror nerds. Where are the cat ears? You could move them out, pants. We think a lot of subs. Me too, Ethelene. Me too, ears? absolutely. Your only Owen Wilson joke. Funny enough, you guys know why he got banned, right? Like, you guys know why Bonesaw got... Also, submission banned. Not fully banned, but submission banned. He got submission banned because he talked shit about Air Canada. And when you're representing a company, or, like, they're representing GEQ, you can't make fun of another company like that. You're in a position of representation, which isn't allowed. Now, I know what you're thinking, because a lot of people mention this. Oh, Air Canada didn't even know. Yeah, they did. The social media intern at Air Canada did not know. The social media manager, I should say, did not know. However, Air Canada absolutely knew. And they mentioned, messaged GDQ about this. There we go. Right, but it's in the same vein, though. You can't talk about politics to GDQ, because it's representing a charity. And that's literally illegal. Oh, shit. That was way too close. I'm going to play it safe, I think. Uh... That was fucking. I, I ruined it in the beginning, so that was way too fucking close. In which way, Fire Nina? Oh, the Air Canada thing? Like, you literally can't do that. Like, that's actually a thing that can lead to major repercussions. The political thing is like a US law. Charities can't get involved with that. Big John didn't get banned. He got submission banned for, I think, one GDQ because he whipped out a golf game uh, during his run saying, This is what's going to be a GDQ next. Which, you can't do that either, because that's circumventing the process, and I get it. Do I think it's fair? No, Big John's a sweetheart, he's great, and ultimately it didn't harm him all that much, but, like, I I get it, but it's one of those things I really wish they didn't do. No, uh, during my run, I can't talk shit about Five Guys Burger and Fries on my stream? Hell yeah, I can. At GDQ? No, I couldn't do that. And then the punishment, he's no longer punished, he's back to normal. He was on backup, by the way. Trihex got banned for... So this is a weird one, and my major issue with GDQ as well. My major issue with GDQ as of lately is transparency. They really need to be way more clear, but they did good with Luz. Like, with that situation... I mean, the situation has its own bag of worms. However, the Luz situation, they did good on letting people know, hey, you're banned for this long when it happened. As opposed to letting something happen, like, months and it, like, over almost a year ago. I was like, oh, you have an 18-month submission ban. It's like, why am I learning about that just now and not when it happened? Yeah. Oh, Athlete, nothing wrong with that. So during Bonesaw's run, um, it was infamous for making a lot of Owen Wilson jokes, and also infamous for just kind of being one of the funniest runs that GDQ's had in quite some time. The thing with it, though, is that during the run... Oh, I didn't get hit, thank God. During the run, he mentioned his flights was bad, or delayed during it from Air Canada, and he told people to tweet at Air Canada that they suck, essentially. Not the exact wording, mind you, but he did tell people to tweet at Air Canada using a platform like GDQ. You can't use that platform in another area. Exactly. Tomato Anus actually told GDQ, yeah, go for it. An Anus is fine, because he just did the G is silent. Yeah. And that's a weird one as well, but I totally get it. Like, mainly, you probably shouldn't have the word feminazi in your bio. That's the main thing. I don't really... I don't have a, any dog in that situation. Neither do I really want to. I'm going to avoid most of that. But you probably shouldn't have that, and I kind of get it. Dave, you know that Air Canada did, and it was the social media person who didn't have an idea, right? They absolutely knew. We found this out afterward, when um, Matt Merkel confirmed it. Oh shit, hold on. Shit. I was almost... Oh wait, Jemima died. I was like, ooh, that's almost bad. 
Got it. Oh, yeah. What did Deadpan say? Exactly. That's good. That's a good answer. Now dig on this. Can I dig on the Smash Me? You're getting upset, spaghetti about. It. Yeah, I will. But you have to give me some time because I need to get a timer for it, most likely. After the after this game, I think. Yeah, you. Hold on, hold on. Shit. Maxi, how's it going, by the way? One, two, three. Four. Oh shit, that was close. One, two, three. I brought you back up. Nope, we're good. Hell yeah. Wow, he's really letting me get this guy, isn't he? Thanks, Scissor Man. Holy shit, good fight. I forgot to do the song again. Fuck. Correct, Melampy. We're still in good dialogue right now, but I will say if this gets to a certain point, we may want this. Saxy. <laughs> Correct. You're deceased? I hear that. I hear that, Yuki. One, two, three, four, five, six. Do you wondering why I'm being a bit more quiet? I have to count during these to make sure I have the right arrow counts. I have to do the grand final boss too. Arrow counts are very important to this run. Nice, Max. I hope you're feeling better, man. A lot of people got sick off that, and uh, I'm very happy I put on my mask and took my vitamin C. I fucking mock ass is all hell. Also, some more things with that. There we go. It's bright. Holy really shit. Anyway, anyway, what was I saying? I lost my train of thought. Most of GGs bands are in the in basic summary. Most of GGs bands are kind of you know oh fine. They're not the end of the world. The main thing though is that I really do wish they were just slightly more transparent, which they are getting better at. Anyway, that's kind of the reason why. As well, there's been other things. It's like little like jokes that people made like oh they're gonna get in trouble and it just kind of happened mainly from the owen wilson one i won't get banned like wait dan you guys i, I want to let you know something really quick so you know how i talked about rooney's butt during uh, night cry well that was my second gdq run i had a run at gdqx right i had a gdqx run of silent hill 2 and this run was a pretty fun run to do. I had a lot of fun with it. However, why am I bringing this up? Because during this run, if you go near the end to the Eddie boss fight, you'll hear me say the exact phrase verbatim. And here's Eddie, and he's going to beat his meat until he dies. I did not get in any trouble for that. I was absolutely fine. I had plenty of GDQ staff come up to my to come up to me and compliment me on the run. Correct. That is a thing I did. I also ripped open uh, I ripped open my shirt and shouted, "I want to believe." I had a, like a jacket and like a flannel, and then ripped it open to reveal my "I want to believe" shirt. However, I did all these things and I was fine. I was told nothing wrong. And I told everyone to enjoy the run. Also, you wondering what it sounded like? Well. Here. I want to believe. I shout like that. Yeah, going over estimates also a huge fucking problem too. I forgot all that part too. By the way, you know I have a sound clip of me doing it. You know I do. Anyway, I hope that kind of explains some of that. That being said, a lot of GDQ is still fine. People just kind of want to say more fucks and shit. Keep in mind what the past GDQ was like. Most of the, most of the people gave bad estimate stance. So they went over their estimates, which was bad. There we go. But the thing is, I want you to consider the following. What were the good GDQ runs a while back? Without naming Bonesaw. Or Big John. What are our and are something like Chibi? What were the good GDQ runs? I'll I'll go to my point after the fight. Get ready for Blahes. Yeah. Three, four. Archie's already seven's a modern run. Archie's already seven is apparently when GDQ has started going uh downhill. Yeah. One, two, three. 
screen. This is also a really technical fight, so I have to make sure I'm good. His runs are great, made wads. Thank you. One more. One more, do it. Yeah, good count. Let's go. Can't join us how you start the rules? Thank you, Fire Nina. It's much appreciated. But the thing is, the old GDQ runs weren't as good as you remember. A lot a lot of them weren't that amazing. Hold on. There were a lot of good ones. There was some way more shit than good. I'll tell you that much right now. I watched some of the old GDQ runs. They're pretty rough around the edges. Things have certainly gotten better since then. It just, with the history of time, you're not going to remember the bad ones. You know how people remember shit like the Beatles? And say the Beatles are the greatest song ever made and the old music's so good, dude. And good old, good old classic rock, dad rock's the good shit. I mean, do you remember the bad stuff? One, two, three. Also, fight's almost done. I'll show you guys the funniest cutscene in the world, by the way. Just to get back on a positive key. One, two, three, four. Oh, God. Who decides the estimates? Runners do. You submit estimates. Um, maybe, Sora. Honestly, me and, um, Dora had a great hand in doing that. I'm happy with that. Also, the run's almost done. This is a pretty good Dick Burroughs fight. However, I want to show you guys a great cutscene to cut away really quick and back to the clock tower aspect of things. I want to show you the greatest cutscene of all time. For those of you unaware of Clock Tower 3. Yeah, it was a good fight. Could have been a little bit better, but not bad. Hey, what should we include in the emotional climax of this game in the final boss fight? I know, I know. A stock photo of the grandfather. That's enough. Now be a good girl and grab my hand. Guys, that was really good. It was really good, in fact. Right? That was a good stock photo of the grandfather. We should show the whole family, too. Because, uh, Iago, he changed her clothes to be ceremonial. Yeah. There we go. Island Run's about to be done. Uh, Run is done when we step on the pad. Yep. Keep on, this is actually still an official Clock Tower game. Today is This isn't like, cl like, like, Haunted Ground or Remothered or, like, any, this isn't Clock Tower 3. This still has the name. Keep that in mind. Like, this is the same as the last three we just did. Give up, Grandfather. Ooh. I won't allow the ritual to happen. Uh, never. Never. Uh, uh. But yeah, the general idea I'm getting at, though, is the lot of people aren't going to remember the bad stuff. You really only remember the good. A lot of the newer runs, I can name plenty of great ones. The past is... there's some good stuff, but... A lot of it just doesn't stand the time for a reason. Hold on, let me check something out. Alyssa. Thank you. Are you guys aware of a band called the Herman's Hermits? The Righteous Brothers? I remember Herman's Hermits. Apparently they have a top song in 1965. That's the only stuff? I don't remember. 69. Nice. Is I a mod yet? He gets VIP, not mod. Fifth Dimension. Had apparently a few hits. Huh? 
Tommy Rowe. Oh, do you know that the number one song around 1969 was the song Sugar Sugar? And that same year, the song Come Together came out by the Beatles. I don't remember Sugar Sugar all that well, unless you played it for me. I can tell you come together pretty fucking easily. Exactly, though, Clubhouse. But in the same vein, you're not really going to... That works with GDQ as well. You remember the good ones in the past, but the overall quality content has gone up since then. And the corporate thing isn't actually a problem, as much as you would think. It's A, a lot of it is kind of boogeymanning. But that's okay, because in some ways, they are making changes. Alyssa. Dennis. And that's my opinion. <laughs> Hell, in the same vein with me, I got told during, uh, what's the word? Mom. During ES, I did an ESA did run. They told me I'm exactly like we the old GEQ. I think I'm newer now. I embrace the new. I think it's a neat thing. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the ending of Clock Tower 3. And my ranting of all there. Let's go to Haunting Run. Also, we, the vote is now no longer... It's an overwhelming yes. Alright, zombie, you can have VIP. Let's see. You can have VIP, zombie. There we go. How's our, our VIP? Uh, I can just... It depends. I give it to people who seem significant. Give, give it even us subs. If it's a funny meme... They ask politely. But then usually I'll do some weird challenge. Zombie got it because they asked. I was in a good mood. They've been here for a good chunk of time. Even your Archangel. I can see it. Next game. The lower highs? You sure, Ben? Definitely not lower lows, given that Worcester quite literally said, uh... A heated gaming moment word on the GDQ stream to a PS4 channel one point. And that happened, but no one talks about that one. Remember the time the guy said he was going to kill all the audience and, and himself? Yep. Subs, I say? Correct. Lots of ground time. Remember the time that the guy said to jump in front of a shuttle bus? Then they got banned? I don't know about the first game show got banned. I don't know about the other ones. Now! All right, you can have VIP. Tell me right now. All you. And time to read out a hundred names. Archangel, you abs. Oh my god, stop typing chat. Uh, we have Nick Rawls, Sean the Saw, Viceroy. Do the God damn it, Raja. Uh, the Night Rave, Beautiful Be Arthur, Five Nights at Freddy, Ads Freddy's, uh, Die, uh, Yoshi's Cool, Yesings, Mystic Neko, um, Pink Dam, Reese's Pieces, Dr. H, San Francisco, Solid Snake US, Stranger 262, Hollow 483, uh, Mine, uh, Caramel Apple, Adrian, Talran Drake. <laughs> the names are going up and I couldn't read that. <laughs> Tony, Tony Stum, C Puff, uh, James, Bunch of Numbers, Erige, Erige, also I'm going to start Haunting Ground, uh, Haberex, Ghost Puzzle, uh, seat. Oh god, wait, no, open up you. Uh, not so good fox. Emmerich. Midas Gold. Just Rizu. Jonas. Redan. Meatwads. Strelic. Terminally Healthy. Nix Mortis. NW Cab. Doc Ramen. Tinian, of course. Cynicism. Toy Capsule. Johnson Brains. Mason Baca. Jen Cool. Brown. Is that Brownches? I like your name. Game of Thoughts. Wait, 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 hold on, my disc is... Oh, no, 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 hold on, this is important. Tello, Nevenology, Zero Blade Edge, Pyramid Robots, 
Stoic Spirit. Jats, get in their haunting ground. Thank you. Bryce, Bryce. Phoenix, YT. NBTL. Venera. Crazy Dogma. Ramez. SBD. Lycan. Kua. Meat Sandwich. Mavinaratsu. Just call m just call me Gray. Frizz shit, my my game might be broken, hold on. Jaxler. Now Lice. Mace Mace Kiss. Eugene. Dino. Nosy Blanket. Kagira. Flavorful. Arota. Kern Dude. So sorry, UD. Kaka. Spring Ghost. Chad IRL. Josta Freak, Mon, Miss Term, my game is not working, Mr. Meat Claws, Fire Assassin, Demo, Kurdan, Black Caddy, Winky, uh, 316, uh, Galk, Thorn, Hermicide, Lazen Caravan, Big City TV, hey, my cock is humongous. Dankif, Ellie's, Starwort. Holy shit. Archangel. Thank you for the 100 gift subs to the channel. And my god, that was a lot of names to read. Why isn't my... Oh my god, is my haunting ground not working? Final Fantasy GQ. Thank you, 21st Dead Cats. Much appreciated. My Kaya Hanshan is broken. We oh, nice. Let me spend it on. Settle in chat. Asiago cheese bag. Yes. Slow mode. Thank you, Zoku, for slow. Oh my god. Thank you for slow mode. Holy shit. Oh my god. There's so much. Make sure if you got a gift sub, you thank Archangel. All of his accounts. Wait, why isn't my game working? God damn it. I like Haunting Ground. It works. We got it. 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 Holy shit. I, 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 shush, sure. Shush, shush. I don't know, Maxi. Uh, we announced full-time streaming. Holy shit. There's a lot of chat. Okay. I did it after reading every single one of those messages. That's fair, Archangel. I'm catching up to chat, by the way, right now, because there's a lot of chat. Oh my god. Okay, we're back. We're back. There we go, Talik. Holy shit, dude. I read all of those. I got all of them read. Oh yeah, Dead Cats. I hear that. And then let me change the title. And you know what? I'll do a, I'll do a neat one. Because two things. One. Uh, Archangel, you just got me two emote slots. And two, I have to play Raw Danger now. And I have to learn either The Evil Within or The Last of Us. Archangel, which game would you prefer? Spin that wheel? I don't know how many wheels to spin, mainly because I've lost count and I might need to change up the wheel system given I need to save money. But I'll match with, let's say, 10. Last of Us. Sounds good. I'll figure that out. What's Raw Danger? Raw Danger is a game that is, um... Now! It's an interesting game that's kind of like Final De Destination. There you go. That's the 10 just to say wheels are going to be on just a minor hiatus. We have Gifts of the Skyrod and Snuffle, Spooky Trevor, Young Smokey, Jeeves, no. The Eliminator, Faishon, uh, XXLJ, J JR, LXX, The One True Hayden, and Deshi. Thank you for being here. And enjoy the subs. Thank. <laughs> Thank Archangel for that. Learn Elbleed? Oh god, Elbleed is a speedrun. I don't- I'm, I'm willing to play Elbleed again at 450. Fuck, I just got- 
No, I mean, nothing happens at 450. Just delete that, delete that common night bot. Okay, uh... We're ready! Let's go. Fight Punchy for his world record? Oh god, I don't want to play Old Blade yet. I'm not going to play it until I get 450 subs. Oh god, Orb is fucking awful. Let's go. Anyway, this is Haunting Ground, and now we're actually in. Skyrodden, thank you for being here. Thank Archangel for the insane... 100 gift sub bomb. Which is absolutely ridiculous. That is... A lot of subs. No frog? You can't put on the frog until later. You mean me putting on a frog. Oh, this game is beautiful, Aveline. This game is absolutely beautiful. The frog suit is hot. However, chats, would you like the frog suit for Fiona? Welcome back, Estafo. Yes? Shadowdome. Thank you for the 500 bits. Happy anniversary. Really, I love Remothered. It's a fun game. Here we go. We get frog suit time. Any other question? Here we go. Adorable frog time. You can't sexualize a frog. She's adorable. It was. I had bit alerts for 100, 500, 1,000, 5,000, and 10,000 now. Let's see. Exactly, MZ. I love Zam. I used to run Zam, actually. It's a fun game, Archangel. Yep, it's adorable. Correct. Hold on. Uh, is it R2 or else? There. Shit, hold on. Um. One. Two. It's been a hot mess that I've done this game, so give me that. Got him. Okay, now I need tablets. It's a beefy lad. Where all this? I do, I do underestimate your power. They can't. Shadow Dome! With the 500 more. Bits. Your night cry Thank you very much. At ADGQ. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Oh, god, there we go. Uh, hold on. Uh, meth. Me math. Chats distracting my gaming. The bats give me a birth? Carefully, I suppose. Okay, we need math. We need uh oh god. Fuck, what is this? Sulfur. We need sulfur. We need salt. It's a shopping list, chat. We need oh god, mercury. How do I spell mercury? Do I spell mercury like this? Mercury. I need a uh, L L R. No R R L. Uh. I need Adamus. I need Morgan. I need. Uh, Saltatio. One more I need. Fuck, what is it? Powder! I need powder! Fucking, oh my god. It is. It's a long list. I need all oh, those for the late game. <laughs> Shadow Dome! Thanks for the great content. With a thousand bits. Thank you very much. A thousand bits for the great content. That's a new one, by the way. I like that one. It's silly. Nice trick. <laughs> also, you know what? Both for you, Shadow Dome. Saltatio. It's called a Night of the Club Cheese, dude. Don't worry, because now he's going to die to meth. Now, what's the lesson of the story, everyone? Don't do meth. Or else you die. He melted. A wild night of dancing led into meth. Now he's dead. Moral of the lesson, don't do meth. I am excited for the next Mother game. 
Don't do meth. Meth will kill you. No problem. Correct. He partied too hard. <laughs> Correct, MC. So the thing is, Saltatio is a little Easter egg, because if you know... All right, all right, all right, hold on. So Haunting Ground's a beautiful game for a reason. This is Capcom's version... I love Silent Homecoming in many ways, Patch. This is Capcom's version of a Clock Tower game without using the official Clock Tower name. The thing is, with this game, it's an original IP. Emeth is the death word, but also meth works, and meth will disintegrate and is faster as the speedrun for less typing, and also he doesn't move out of the way, but he melts. If you know Latin, you can get a lot of things out of this game. The biggest one being, there is a way to restore all your health if you know the word for dance, which is saltatio. Knowing the Latin for dance means you can then solve the puzzle, allowing you to have him dance. How do you know the theme song that's party hard? He did party hard. And this game's roots are entirely in Latin, and there's gonna be a lot of Latin themes throughout here. It's a chemistry course in a sense, too. Everything I made in the early game, by the way, is puzzles for later. There are gonna be puzzles where we need all that stuff. Also, we're doing A ending. We're not doing uh, C ending. We're doing A ending, which is the canon. <laughs> yeah. I heard that that one, San Francisco. It's funny. And alchemy, yes. Alchemy lessons all day long. This game is beautiful. Dancing is the gateway drug to meth if you're a party golem. Does your mother have multiple endings? No. Haunting Ground has four. Re our, yeah, your mother has. One. Nightcry has a bunch. Uh, Clock Tower 3 only has one, two, so in fairness, not all the games do. Oh god, I talked a lot there. Alright, now we're kind of back to the actual game. But yeah, Haunting is a fun game, and I think I caught up with all the alerts. Thank you all for the, the bits there and the, the subs. It's It was pretty hectic, all things considered, right there. Also, here's Huey. He's finally around. Wonder if the sequel will? Probably not. I think the finale might, but I don't think the sequel will, because they're making a third game. It's a trilogy. I can see the trilogy, the end of the trilogy having it, but not all of it. Yep, this is one of a few horror games that have a dog. Also, one thing I wanted to mention, if this castle looks at all familiar, Haunted Ground uses a lot of borrowed assets for, from games like Devil May Cry and RE4. It could, it's been submitted, but it doesn't too much get into that. There we go, we got Huey. Huey is our friend now. Also, I do want to say, if you did get a, uh... Is Devil May Cry 1 horror? I kind of horror adjacent because of vampires and shit. And demons, but... Not strictly, no. Go, Huey. Fuck, hold on. Come on. No. There we go. Alright. We have to tell Huey no once so we can get him going. So the thing with Huey is, early game his commands will be really bad. Late game he'll get better and it'll be easier to uh, deal with him. However, it'll be a while to get the hang of him. Possibly, I never play it though, Juno. Also, I guess Moonshine might need to do more emotes now. Oh no. Go, Huey. There we go. Any idea for uh, emotes, by the way, chat? Can you find an emote artist? Nice. Oh, hold on. Oh, God, I'm stupid. Uh, there we go. I was like, what am I doing? Because I want to use a certain item there. I definitely say look, um, always look around, Archangel. There's a lot of cool ones, but it depends on what kind of style you want to have. I know a few artists who do pretty well. Uh, there's a lot of cool artists around. I'll probably have Moonshine do more of mine. There we go. And back we go. Little Xenomorphs? Ooh, that's adorable. That's absolutely adorable. And except for any game releases this year. Yeah, I'm really excited oh. for Carry On, RE3, Last of Us 2, and we'll see what else comes out. Oh, Remothered. Could we have Bobby two part emote? We could, potentially. Come on. I have an idea for a scissor emote, but I still need to see. No. Huey. Oh, yeah. Huey. Also, I need Huey to follow me. Come on. Go. Go. 
No, no why would I do Felton's ass? No. Felton's ass is not meme worthy, dude. It's not Rooney's booty. Go. Go. Come on, Huey. Go, Huey. I need you to yeet. Oh, he's doing it. We're good. World record? No, far from that. Yeah, Rooney's way better for a bug. Gert, let's get one to stop. Thank you very much. Oh, here I am. Turn around, like, I'm. Oh, hey, it takes look a while. At that almost a the other alien categories? I'm, I could technically now, Aging Snake, because it'll be full time. Hey, Greeny, you bought furniture? Proud of you. It's a rare find. Have you any good? Spent money? Sometimes it'd be like that. Ooh, that's weird. Every game? Like what? Also, this is a real ass shot later on. It's pretty funny. Alright, we're good. Yeah, we're good. There we go. That is a wrong opinion entirely. Rooney is way better. What, Leonard's booty? Leonard in general is a powerful man. We have to get an emote that represents that. We want to do a Leonard emote. But usually I do my own stuff as well. Like, I like having me emotes. Like, a scissor man would probably be me. Also, hold on. Please work. Shit, he found me! I don't know how, but he found me! Fuck. Get him, Huey! Alright, I tried the glitch. Oh, it didn't work. A hooded? Why hooded? Ryan, with the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you very much. It's much appreciated. And welcome to the swarm. I do want to say, though, as a reminder, uh, so there's been a hundred new subs. Currently, there's a vote in my Discord for the marathon of games I'm going to be doing tomorrow, and that's entirely a sub vote. So... Uh, if you want to vote on that, join the Discord, because that is fully there and available for whoever wants to join that. Uh, currently, the winners are only up by a couple of votes, so in theory, it can be easily swayed. Oh god, Greeny, no, oh god, oh god, oh fuck. Greeny. Oh god. I actually play- I'm getting close to the incentive too, which is the worst part. Luigi's is winning? That can easily change. Give it time. Also, time for all the things, Adamus. I'll tell you how many away I'm from Illbleed right now, if you guys are wondering. We're getting items, so if you're wondering why I like New Game Plus, Alice is close. Fantastic. Thank you, Thank you for the dollar. It is much 5, appreciated. Reasons Morgan. Morgan should be good, I think. Being a cat boy, that was her. Surprise yeah, announcement. we got it. Okay, so items, what do they do? Uh, diamond Choker, Stamina, Burst Shoes, Strength, Fair Earrings, Invisibility. Let's go. Thank you very much, Baku. Yeah, well, I'll be doing whatever games up to six hours. Alice is a good game. Alright, let's see. Uh, I'm currently exactly 30 away from Illblade. Correct. Oh, Greeny, I'll buy Illblade from you. I'll throw money. I just want to make sure that like, that's that's aware. Like, just to make sure it's not you're just handing it to me. I want to, I want to buy Illblade from you. No. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so I'll make sure. Like, I, I want to be upfront about that one. <laughs> uh, experience, Alice, it's tough. And alcohol or food? Sounds good. Probably probably money. It's, it's Ill Bleed. Ill Bleed's a bit pricier. And alcohol, that's also fair. No, not cuddles. That's a weird area of payment, because then it doesn't earn well, and that makes me a literal whore. Well, I guess prostitute, I should say. <laughs> One hug? Okay, that's fair. But actual money, though. Here we go. Anyway, you break that, we get the bridge, and now the builders will get here. One dance game together. There you go. The single hugs. Use it sparingly. <laughs> you will receive zero more. Where did I find all those games? Which games? Oh, Greeny? Oh, she has access to them. She's the treasure trove of games. And, and that, more importantly. I didn't want to mention that one outright. Yes. Okay, we're doing pretty good, though. And right now, we have to get rid of uh, Debiltus again. Most of the early game is like... So, the Haunting Ground's broken into four areas. I know you guys are wondering about Haunting Ground stuff. And by the way, I want to mention, if you have any questions, let me know, because we got pretty... pretty crazy there. Oh, I still need to rant about Smash! Wait, who had the rants? Hey, the King of Uranus, with the 500 biddies. 
two years and going full time. Thank you very much nice. for the 500. Looking forward to more Blythe. They had to say, why is Blythe not the end of the world? They only one minute rant about that. Okay, so starting at 57, I'll give you a rant. Hold on, hey, Huey. Shit, where's Huey at? I didn't do the calls. Where's Huey? There he is, I got him. Alright, 57, I'll start. Alright, Huey back. I had to be I had to concentrate a little bit there. When 57 starts, I'll rant about Blythe for one minute. Or why Blythe signed. Are in Bioshock? Yes, I did. The full list of games you found at exclamation mark speedrun. I had fans? Really? Hold on, tell me about that. Anyway, the reason why Blythe isn't the end of the world in Smash. Now, one, I'm not the biggest Smash player. I enjoy the games. I enjoy the series. I've always played them. However, the DLCs are pretty varied. Um, for instance... There's been six fighters added on so far, and there have been pretty unique choices. Keep in mind, most people complain about Smash stuff will complain just for the sake of complaining, and that's okay. I mean, people are allowed to be happy with the characters they want, but why is Blythe not bad? Well, the new Fire Emblem game just came out, and really, Huey. 8 isn't that bad, all things considered. Huey. People complained when Terry came out. Like, Terry was a great addition, but I was like, who? Smash fans will never be happy unless they're getting their exact thing. Because people want to be happy with characters they enjoy. There's a lot of people out there who enjoy Blythe, and it sounds like from what I saw, they actually made the thing not just Swordsman, which I think is nice. Now, if it was just the Swordsman, that would suck, but it wasn't just the Swordsman. They actually did put effort and thought into it, and they work hard to bring these things to people who like them. Also, there'll be six more fighters. It's not the end of the world, and then your favorites will get in too. And that's okay. But you're not happy? Sometimes it'd be like that. That's how we'll end it. Anyway, I hope you're happy with that one. I don't remember who typed it, but I'll check in point values later. People complained about Terry. I love Terry. Come on. Also, I need Huey to come out here. But yes, I do rants like that for one minute, more from feeling passionate about it. Also, Huey, come here. No. Huey. Right? Everyone loves Terry now, but when Harry got announced, everyone was like, oh, who's Terry? It's like, dude, come on, bruh. And then all of Latin America cheered because fucking Terry, my man. Also, I like Piranha Plant. They've been doing interesting Yui. things lately. I never played Banjo Kazooie. I didn't like. Don't I know Banjo is a good addition, but no, I don't really care about it. And I'll honestly, I don't care about Banjo. I'll say that right now. I don't play Banjo Kazooie. I play Donkey Kong 64. I don't like piece of shit games. Exactly, Stafo. Everyone's happy in different areas. Also, looked at the same vein. The people who are bitching about the Fire Emblem stuff also bitched about Hero. You you guys know that Hero is probably one of the most prolific characters of all time in Japan. Because the Dragon Age series is insanely popular. It's like the equivalent of what Mario is to GD Hughes. It's fucking ridiculous. The fact that they didn't have him is insane. Perfect Archangel. That should go well. Dragon Quest. Thank you. Think. I'm not the smartest on RPGs and Nintendo games, but I at least know what's fit. Huey, 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 you dick, grab it. Go, Huey. Thank you for the follow. Thank you. I hope that explains it. Overall, would I play the Fireman character? Oh God, no. I don't want to play. I don't play Fireman Swordsman. I want a Travis touchdown. That's okay. Cheese dude, you will join the Discord and then you link your Twitch in Discord. I'm not smart, Greeny. You know this. No, it could be about anything. It just depending on if there's certain ones, I'll just refund it. Like I probably won't do politics. I won't do anything that's like severely like it's silly rants. It's silly things. It won't be anything that's like that. You know? I'm not gonna tell you about the how to corner a frozen orange juice in the stock market. I'm not gonna tell you about, you know, any of that. Alright. Yeah, I just wanna make that like I know you won't and I trust you on that one. I just wanna make that known ahead of time in case anyone else wants to in the future. It those won't be allowed. Travis would be awesome, because he'd have a Luchador moveset. There I am. I have water? I don't. I hope that explains that. Anyway, what won't be? What won't be what? What about bronies? Yeah, I'd rant about bronies, because oh my fucking... I ranted about bronies for free yesterday! <laughs> or no, not yesterday, but I was being remothered. Yeah. Travis would be great because he'd be more of a wrestler than that. Well, that's fair, but it depends on the specific... I would recommend adding a specific because if it's general, that would be too easy. Yeah, we got very cursed the other day about bronies, by the way. It, it's bad. Also, right now as I'm coming the 14-second time save I found in Haunting Ground. 
the one addition I put in. Of course! So, Breaker, before we get into anything cursed. Yes, actually, you're, you're correct. Uh, hold on. Oh, shit, he's right here? Ooh, that's not good. Haunting Ground is a game where you're playing as a woman named Fiona Belly. Uh, you have woken up in this mysterious castle, and you're told that you're the owner of this castle. However, things aren't exactly what they seem. There's some weird people running around. They want you for one reason or another. Each one gets explained as you go in there. However, you do have to be careful, all things considered. Um, the more you kind of go through, you learn more about what happened with your family and how you relate to the situation at hand. That's a brief synopsis. Now, obviously, there's more, but it's going to depend. Right now, we're being chased by Debilitus, who is... He's baby. I didn't say that yet. He's baby. Debilitus isn't a bad guy. He has the brain of a two-year-old and thinks you're a doll. And when he plays with his dolls, he squeezes them really hard. However, when you do this with a human being, more importantly, like someone like Fiona, who's pretty... who's small, um... You know, um, Debilitus would probably destroy her spine and crush it into dust. Now, that's not good. Dust is bad. You would die. So we want to avoid getting tr crushed into dust. Debilitus doesn't mean any harm, though, and he doesn't hate us. We Actually, the good ending requires us to save him. So if you're wondering, he's baby. That's the brief synopsis. Ooh, true, Koblo. You only get crushed by Debilitus? He is baby. But Archangel, uh, if you want to do the point command, just feel free to... Like, I'll pop up on the, I think, now dig on this. And then I'll show the, uh... You'll have you type in the topic on that one. I have to see the official, the official thing. Alright, so in time. Yeah, that'll be fine then. And you can hit me with that whenever, whenever it comes up. I wasn't sure if you had enough yet, but we're, we're all good then. Also, we're approaching the end of this area. I'm gonna be really fucking careful. Alright. There we go. Also, did you guys like the... I saw a couple of 1,000... Uh, the 1,000... Uh, no, we don't go this way. I go around. I saw a couple of the 1,000 bits. Did you guys like the... Uh, the thing? Did you guys like the, the nice trick? I hope you did. I, I, like, I thought that one was kind of cheeky. I, I enjoyed the nice trick. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thank you. I put a little work into it. There we go. Alright, let's keep going. This puzzle's pretty straightforward. Match colors with colors. So orange with orange, green with green, and all that. I will say, though, 5,000 is a stupid meme that I made that I will probably giggle at, but it'll either be hit or miss with you guys. You're seeing a 50k channel points? Great sword, what are you doing? Also, more importantly, I just realized... I probably should have mentioned I'll... I... Do I throw on the cat ears is the real question. The answer is probably all things considered that I just got a 100 sub gift bomb. That should have been the first step of the beat. I forgot about them. Because I was kind of reading all the names. You have to give me a moment. Hey waifu, how's it going? Good to see you. You can save your points for tomorrow. We'll get them on once I have a cutscene, because I have to both hand this. How should I do this? Oh, yeah, that works. There you go. There's also a very slow area, if you're wondering. How's it going, waifu? Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Oh, yeah. You see me at GDQ? Correct, exotic tickler. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any, hope you're having a great day. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. I'm always happy to answer them as we go. Okay, I have to be very careful what I'm doing here. Let's go. Okay. One, we're taking the moonstone, adding it here. There's a puzzle with these moons. Lunar refractors. True. I was a GDQ? I was, Greeny. I was a GDQ, right? Open this door for later. Now, there. Wait, what? Oh, I didn't, oh, I didn't spin it. I'm dummy. There we go. All right, we got it. They were quality indeed. Although I like both. I do like both of them because I like the bells. 
Okay, puzzle time. Also, my save is a frog suit anyway, I think, so we'll keep going. What is GDQ, right? It's a games done quick event. Fast gaming. Alright, right now is going to be an area that is, uh... It's a puzzle. Uh... There we go. I had to just reaffirm where I'm going. It's a dark room, and if you go the wrong way, you die. It's an instant death, and will kill you if you fall in the hole. The way you're supposed to solve this puzzle is you use Huey to lead the way. Because Huey is a good boy during this section. And kind of use that mechanic. Don't worry about where Huey went, by the way, because he'll be back. Me too, Exotic Tickler. How's your day going, by the way? Hope you're having a good one. Yeah. Okay, it's time for the Debilitus fight. He's baby. It's the baby fight. Don't worry, though. The baby fight's gonna be very nice and easy. I need him to beat the ever-living shit out of this. Alright, this is good. This is good. He should break it. Oh god, what? How did he run through that? Oh my god, he got a good fucking hit. That was clean. Veltus, you dick. Yes! Good fight. Okay, so now he sees us as an angel, no longer as a doll, and now he can escape. We use the chandelier to crush him, and then we can leave. Good fight. On the way back, by the way, you better remember the pattern. Because... You'll die instantly if you fall in the hole. You have to be very careful here. Yeah. Correct. Exactly, Breaker. What do you mean the ableist undertones behind that monster? He's... He's an abomination of a monster based on cloning in a game that has fucked up tendencies all around. And this entire game gets more fucked up the more you play it. I... He's not meant to be a kind representation of things. He's quite literally has the mindset of a two-year-old. With the strength of a gargantuan. We did save him. Uh, he went back to his uh, home. He'll be alive. He's also the castle's caretaker. Don't worry, though. While we met with the groundskeeper, we'll now be dealing with the next enemy, and your favorites. If you've ever played this game, or even if you don't know this game, you're going to meet your favorite enemy in the game very soon. And this is everyone's favorite. Oh, yeah. Baby, Archangel? No, better than Old Man has to. This is genuinely a great enemy. So you're wondering, hey, Ek, who's the best enemy of all the Clock Tower series? Out of all the enemies and stalkers in this game, who is the best enemy? Like, who is the best designed, creepiest, unsettling, robotic enemy in the game? And we're about to meet her. Her. Daniela. Daniela is robotic. She is horrifying. She is very dangerous. And everything about her is insane. She is the maid of the castle and she wants to kill you to become woman. Is she in the frog suit? We are in the frog suit. Many people would Archangel. A robot in a sense. She's robotic. Because she's not entirely human. She's something else. Also, I forgot to split return to bed. Daniela, by the way, also has a power spike where she starts off chasing with a shard of glass and later on chases you with a fire poker and gets more lethal. Also, another cool thing about Daniela... She'll chase you. However... Miss, it's cleaning time now. Is 
She won't do it now. Because... She's on a... Yep. She's only gonna kill you when it comes down to it. She's incredibly unnerving. The way she behaves is amazing. Her music is creepy. And you can't kill her. You can later on, but she feels no emotions. Now I bet you're wondering, why does she want to kill Fiona? Well, the game of Haunting Ground, you learn as of this point that Fiona has something that makes her very special. This is something called Azoth. Come on, she also hates her reflection, so we're safe for a bit. Azoth is something that essentially gives the equivalent of eternal youth and a pure essence. As well, um, everybody wants this Azoth for one reason or another. Daniela's, because she hates who she's become, Seneco Cat. And you're going to know in a moment what I'm getting at, but Daniela wants to become woman because Fiona is woman. I'll play that cutscene out, by the way, because this run's already kind of down. So there we go. Also, now we get the good boys out. Come on. Good boy. There you go, chat. Come on. Good boy. I'm giving Huey good boys because it's actually gonna raise up his uh like his listening abilities. Come on. Come on. Good boy. And he follows the order. Come on. Good boy. Also, frog swat. I did put them on. They're, they 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 blend in my hair pretty well. Also, I split. So that being said, what does it mean to become woman? So, okay, I'm trying to work how to word this correctly. Um, how about I just say what Daniela wants to do? Daniela wants to take both Fiona's Azoth and her womb. Huey. Yes. Come on. No, we're not ass and womb. Azoth. It's essence. Everyone wants her Azoth. But her womb. Kanata Knight's adorable frog time. Essentially, because the Azoth is tied to that, in a sense, and fertility. Going more with that, Fiona has Azoth, and other characters want her Azoth and her womb, but in a different sense. So you guys want a more lighthearted moment than... Daniela ripping out your uterus and trying to kill you. They do. I'll get to that and explain more as we go to it. But here's a lighthearted moment for you, chat. <coughs> it's air bud time. It is Shatter Dome, and this game is very known for making you feel very vulnerable and creeped out. You shouldn't like the implication, Pixie Time. Because you're gonna die if they got you. Oh god, my eyes. I coughed a little bit. Here we go. We can't reach the top one, so Huey will do it for us. Air Bud moment, dude. The game does have some creepy bad ends, Gacha Bastard. That's absolutely correct. This game does have its creepy moments. In this sense, yes. Although I'm pretty sure that's more they don't care. Oh, nice trick. <laughs> Shadow Dome. Bud hype. With a thousand bits. Nice trick. Thank you very much. It's much appreciated. And that was the Air Bud hype. How was the controls on this game? Really good. Like, of any Clock Tower game, this is easily the best of the early ones. Huey. I actually need Huey, though, so he needs to follow me. 
Okay, interesting puzzle room, by the way. So this puzzle room is going to be a solution where it's what's different on each side. You have to find all three things. There are three. The answer is the dudes, the chess piece, and then the um, the hourglass. If you get any of these wrong, you'll die. The way you're supposed to figure this out is by going into the other room, which Daniela is in and will fucking kill you Come on. if you try it out. Oh, you won't live well, Pixie Time. Not according to Daniela. Also, time for easily the worst puzzle in the game. Because of Huey. Here's Dog RNG. Come on. I don't have a womb now. Come on. Come on. Who are you, dick? You. Huey. 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 Huey, come here. Huey. Huey. Oh my god, come on, Huey. Come here, step on the red. Huey. Step on the red. Good boy. Huey. No green, you dick! Come on. Huey. Thank you, we got it. No, not you, Greeny. Huey. Also, that Iron Maiden in the corner will fucking kill you if you try it. Don't try it. Also, you no longer need Huey, so we're good now. No, you, it's not, if you're getting chased, it is obnoxious. It's also why I don't like running this game all the time. It's good. Casually, this game is probably one of the best games ever made, and you should definitely play it. As a speedrun, this game gets brutal because of Huey. He's really rough around the edges. Also, you guys know what mandrakes are? I didn't know originally, but now I know. The maiden only works when you're being chased, and then you die instantly. Um... Also, Daniela is going to be coming, but we're immediately going to get rid of her. Gotta avoid her. I don't have I don't have all the Clock Tower world records, but I run all the Clock Tower games. I have Clock Tower SNES. I used to I have the PS2 version of this. I got that. Um, I have I used to have Clock Tower 3. I ha used to have Remother. I have Nightcry, uh, and then the other two I don't really care all that much about first world records. It does. Now, chats, would you want to watch another golem dance? Because we have another golem coming up. For anyone who missed it, I'll show you the dancing queen. You want to see, Greenie? Here you go. You can see. He's the dancing queen. They're not gonna turn into meth. Look at his moves. Also, that's Bull Heal. He's a talented boy. We all love him. Also, RRL. Alright, now he gets to run. He's a talented young man. Also, don't worry. You're, at one point, you're gonna seem like dissolve into the ground. He's going back to the start. He's not actually, he's not dying. What does this do story-wise? Oh no, it's actually just a fun Easter egg if you know Aladdin. Can I make that my dance emote, the golem? I like, I wanted to have me vibing to music. Telling we could, I don't know how I'd begin to get that done. But yeah, Saltatio just means I think dance and Latin, Latin, Latin. He's teleporting back to the beginning. Also, this is where you learn about math. Oh, oh, the po that one? I guess we could. I 
guess we could. Math? No, not math. Math. See, that's where you get meth, and then you can use that for later. Oh yeah, it's amazing. This game is tough. It's all Latin? Correct. Also, there's a puzzle that you're supposed to figure out that's really hard, but I know the answer, so I can just avoid it. And, like, you have to deal with the yellow for this puzzle, so I'd rather not do that. Did I get a bad Daniela seed in the other time I did this? I don't remember. Okay. One. Good. Well, um, Exotic Tickler, that's only temporary. At some point, they'll add in comments again. It just, they had to temporarily do it because the moderation on YouTube changed or something. At some point, though, they did say they wanted to re-add it once they got fixed. Okay. Time for the hard part. Have a good one, Dave. Take it easy. Hope you have a good rest of your day. Okay, showtime. This is the hardest puzzle in the game, and I hope I remember the order. If I don't, I'm gonna look at my instructions. Okay, it's red. Fuck. Um, got it. All right, we're good. I messed up one on those. You have three chances. I'm deactivating that, by the way. If you die, you I have to start all the way back from a save that I have safety of. Because that's an instant death puzzle. And you don't want to die to that. You have three chances at that. On the third one, you die. One aims the gun, one arms the gun, and then one fires. Also, here's the cutscene I'll play out for you. Enjoy. Also, my donation gift. It's still pretty creepy. Even with the frog costume, it's still pretty unnerving. Correct, Night Rave. Breaker, I would. Precious little prince. Precious, precious little princess. It's even it's even better with the frog costume. It is wrong. That's a giant shard of glass, by the way. I am, Ramaz. I am. Oh, 
She can't feel pain. Meaning she can't be killed. I need Huey to distract her while I get these things moving. I want Huey to get on her back. Biting the hands is fine. Throughout the fight, she's gonna be yeeting Huey around the area. Huey, yeah. Huey don't dive into her. Mount her. Huey. Thank you. Yeah. Is she here, Huey? Yeah, she's gonna do that. What's happening? Huey. I need to move these boxes and get the light in the middle. That's gonna stop in yellow. Give me a quick one about that one. Huey. Random shadow. Huey. Got it, that's good. I want Daniela to get knocked down once. Alright, hand biting's fine there. Damage? No, that's a yeet. Okay, gotta be careful. It's very technical on how you want to go about your pushing. Good falling position too. Let's do this. Out of the way, Huey. Thank you. Can Huey die? On hard mode, yes. Not in... Oh, fuck. Okay. Yeah, it was dive. There If you die, it's the game over. Because she's robotic. They took her humanity. And also... This happens. Correct, Fire Nina. That was a smile, by the way. Capcom! Capcom came up with this breaker. Well, Greenie, the thing is, Daniela can feel no emotions. With the removal of... People kind of assume that Daniela at one point had her own Azoth. With the removal of Azoth from her body, which is a kind of thing that they did to her, uh, the main villains of the game, and also, I suppose, the destruction of her womb. Um, she kind of turned into that state. This is hinted in many ways, because in the bad ending, Fiona starts to laugh and it kind of act like Daniela does. She's a broken woman, and at this point she just wants to feel something. At the very end, she finally feels something, which is that. Hey, horny gel so yeah, exactly. Your sexuality doesn't matter for horny gel. Pixie. Horny jail is horny jail. Or horny is horny, I suppose. Well, if you only have horny on main, it just. It must be acknowledged that it is indeed horny. Nice to play. Where's Huey at? Come on. Oh god, did he hit me? I just stole it from Punchy Stream for horny jail. Horny jail doesn't have actual punishments. Yeah, kind of, yeah, it's not a good ending. Also, we're not. But also this. Please work, game. I really don't want to reset anything. This is Ricardo. Ricardo has a gun. Ricardo is dangerous. No, no jail for you.
Get in there. <laughs> Over there. Got him. So we knock him down in the hole. We're good to go. That's fucking monkass, dude. Holy shit. Okay. So you need to knock him down in that hole so he goes away from you. Ricardo is the start of enemies who can one-shot you. If he shoots you, it's an instant death. He can also shoot Huey. Ricardo is not an enemy to be fucked with in this game. He is extremely dangerous. And at any moment, you're going to have to be careful around him. Yeah? He's really good at what he does. Okay. And also, where does Ricardo fall into this? We'll learn more soon enough. Come on. But Ricardo, um... He's the guy who ended up bringing you here, and he's also... He, early in the game, I didn't show it, but there's a cutscene where Ricardo shows you a wooden statue of yourself, and it's Fiona, but she's pregnant. And it gets the more fucked up the more you think about this, because I'm going to drop something heavy. You guys ready for this chat? It gets worse. Come on. It gets much worse. He is insane. They are. Oh, Fiona's like 19, I think. She's definitely over 18. She's fine. Come on. I mean, fine to the extent that it's nothing's inherently bad. Isn't that 18? I know she's legal, but... The game's supposed to make you feel weird Come about on. that, so it's not bad in that sense. Oh, those are failed clones, Breaker. Has a Come lot on. of cloning took place. Which leads... Well, it's not great, but it's not illegal. Go, Which is the important part. Clock Tower PS1 is weird when it shouldn't... Like, they, that wasn't... They didn't intend that for be weird. They intended Harris to, but I don't think they intended Nolan to be weird. Oh, wait, Graveyard Key. Really? Hold on. Huh. Huh. Come on. Okay. Oh, I didn't split. Neat. Cool. We don't need you anymore, by the way. Anyway... Let me explain. So Ricardo brought you here, and he wants to knock you up. Why does he want to knock you up? Well, Ricardo's plan... Oh, am I in danger? I'm good. Okay, thank God. Ricardo's dangerous. I'd be careful around him. This game is rated mature. and for mature. Ricardo wants to knock you up so he can have you give birth to himself. So he can be born again using your Azoth. Yes. that That is exactly what you heard. Yep. Because he can also just take the eyes off. Also, the death sounds on you have with Ricardo are very suggestive that he's not doing good things to you. He does not do nice things to your body when you die. I just want to make that known right now. You don't want to hear it. It's creepy. Maybe you do want to hear it, but you, you wouldn't want to hear it. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. No, 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 no. That's not good. Huey. 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 Please. Hit. You suck, Huey. Huey. Thank you. Okay, we're safe. We're not going to die to him. We'll be fine. Oh, not this way. We're fine. Uh, this way. Throw him on the back. Yeah, the bad ending is you get knocked up by Ricardo. Although, in fairness, the bad ending, you might agree with part of it. And the only way you can possibly get the bad ending is if you treated Huey poorly throughout the entire game. Because Huey saves you at one part of the game and you need him to save you in order to escape. Correct! Joystick. No, that's Lorenzo, though. So, Lorenzo this is the main villain of the game. We'll see you later and meet him later. However, he, he had two sons, which are clones of each other, which are 
Ricardo, and Ugo. Now, you think the guy named Ugo would be the weird one? Oh, I'm stupid. Fuck. That's, that's fine. Ugo, you, Ugo. Like Hugo, Hugo. Hugo is your dad. Uh, Ricardo is a clone of your dad. Think about what I said for a moment on what Ricardo wants to do to you. He's essentially your uncle. Correct. So glad it didn't get any creepier, right? Yep. That's what Ricardo wants to do. Give birth to a clone of your dad. And he'll enjoy every minute of it. Correct, Pixie. It did. On the upside, the final boss doesn't want to impregnate you. He wants to turn you into like a soup. He, he, just, he just wants the ass off. He doesn't really care how he gets it. Hey, call me TT has a gun. Ha <laughs> Hey, it's not Alabama. This game takes place in the UK. Actually, Italy? This game takes place in Italy, but Fiona's like British. Also, Italian horror. Exactly. Making you into a soup is natural. Wanting to pregnant you is not. No, the cute dog is what people focus on. Yeah. What's Italian horror? This. It's mainly based on Italy and Dario Argento. Fuck! Oh god, no, no, no. This is bad. Thank you, Huey. This is why we grabbed the earrings, by the way. I don't know the actual exact things. Shit, he hit me. Good. He will be fine. He can't die on hard. This is why you take the fairy earrings, by the way. We'll probably have to run away a bit, but this is fine. No, he, he can't. He can, oh, sorry. He can only die in. He can only die in hard mode. Oh, yeah. This game would make it into GDQ for a few reasons. Um. Oh god. Get him, Huey. Also, the Atomus. Oh god. No. Atomus that I grab is useful because I get infinite stamina essentially. Like, it's. You can run out, but it's really long in comparison to normal stamina, which is almost instantaneous. Oh yeah, he's good at chasing you. I hear that fire, Nina. The other way is going to be totally gone because you can't use items. All 
All right, we're good. He's gone now. How much? Oh, uh, Pancat. So, Haunting Grounds a ridiculously hard run to do new game, and she has no stamina. So, new game plus is the ideal route that I normally do for this game because it's a bitch to do new game, and I don't like doing new game for this game. Uh, also, Frog suits new game plus, so we're going all the way with it. There's an item called the Fairy Earrings. If you stand still long enough, it'll go invisible. It also reduces the amount of RNG in the run. Go for it, Malampy. There we go. No problem, Pancat. I also get more stamina, which is the major thing I'm looking for here. Yeah, it's a bit, bit of a tough one to deal with. What do you mean, which version of Clock Tower 1? Are you trying to do it casually? Because English, then, in that case, so you can read it. You're not going to have a lot of fun with it if you can't read it. Which is fair. Or, yeah, English, I'd say. This is also RNG. No, 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 no. So, Clock Tower SNES is Clock Tower 1. Clock Tower PS1 is Clock Tower 2 because the naming convention got fucked up. There are two different games. I would recommend doing Clock Tower SNES. Oh, there we go. I think that's it. All good. Nah, this ain't it. No problem. You know, it's a common question. We don't do the first fear here because that's demoting the game to what it is. Oh, come on. Am I here yet? Like, what the fuck, game? Oh, yeah, there it is. We're, we're good. We're good. We got it. This is a bad forest RNG. Also, say goodbye to the frog suit, everyone. We no longer get to be a frog girl. Oh, it was inspired. Uh, wait, the move of the movie Clock Tower is inspired by. I like both Suspiria and Phenomena. They're good. Nope, he strips us out of our frog suit. Unsubbing. Ban. I don't do it. Blame Ricardo. Ricardo stripped us out of the frog suit. Like, I don't have any control over that. Also, good ending because we didn't bully Huey. I can't put on the frog suit. I'll have to pee. Huey. Don't! Go, Huey. Huey, why did you dive it? Why did he dive the cage? Why did Huey skull butt the fucking cage? That's made of metal, Huey. There's keys. There we go. Right? He stripped us out of our clothes. We're no longer wearing frog clothes. Now we're in this. Huey will just leave you in the forest. Also, a cool part. During the part of the game with the uh, little operation, Huey. Ricardo puts something called Can't See Ricardo Juice in Our Eyes. So we can no longer see Ricardo as a result of having Cannot See Ricardo Juice in Our Eyes. Huey, however, can see Ricardo. So I'll be relying on Huey to avoid an invisible Ricardo. Also, Juno, Walls of it sucks. Huey. Ricardo is invisible to us because he rubbed Cannot See Ricardo Juice in Our Eyes. It's pretty much just like a serum or like a gel or something like that. I don't remember the exact Huey. thing, but it's funnier to say you cannot see Ricardo juice. Because that's what it does. <laughs> yeah, he's invisible. But don't you worry, though. We're going to deal with Ricardo in a smart way. This is called AI manipulation. We go up and immediately just run back down. Nope. And then, once we're here... We go back up. Huey. Ricardo's gone. That always works. Hey, Mr. Allen, how's it going? Huey. That always works. We also need Huey to stay with me. It is. The Haunting Run music is nice, but I feel like it's less inspired than the other games. Where's the fuck's Huey at? Huey. There he is. Come here. He's coming. The Ricardo away is with me. He's named Huey. I need Huey because I can't get him trapped below. There he is, we're good. Ricardo put can't see Ricardo juice in her eyes, so yeah. Ricardo jizz? No, not jizz. Juice. It's a serum. He wants to give you jizz later. Huey. There we go. He's waiting for the right moments, which I guess is... I don't know. Not now. Because he put us in a cage. Oh, 
Also, cool trick I can do. Check this out. So, by jumping backward and dashing during that, I remove a panic fall. Hey, look! Ricardo's gone again, because that works every time. Yeah, that's the actual plot. I'm not kidding about anything I've said. Like, I kind of wish I was joking to an extent, but nope. This is the clock tower plot of Haunting Ground. There we go. Also, Huey better cooperate and be a good boy. Or else Huey's not going to get a good boy. He'll get a no. Nah, Ghost Head isn't. Clock Tower, SF, Clock Tower, Clock Tower PS1 is. Clock Tower, or Haunting Ground is. Clock Tower 3 kind of is. Huey. Me Mother it isn't. Nightcry, strangely enough, isn't. Now run up. If those things hit you, it's immediate panic. Ricardo won't chase you and hit the top of this. Yeah. Right, but that's more of just a weird angle. It's not like sexuality meant in the game for design. It's sort of weird. Those are luminescence. If you touch them, you get into panic. Come on. All right, Huey, be a good boy. Oh, I remember that has old man ass in it. Stay. Stay. Huey, you fucking dick! I hate you, Huey. Go. You're gonna be a bad boy after this. This puzzle requires me to go back and forth with Huey. If he doesn't, if he ruins it, I have to start from the beginning. Stay. Stop. Bark. Sit. Stay. Stop. No. Stay. Go. Come on. It's not animal cruelty to tell Huey bad. Call him a dick. Go. Huey, Go. just get on the middle. Get in the middle, Huey. It's right there. Thank you. Holy shit, I hate that. I hate that section so much. Come on. All right, up the spire we go. This is the third boss, by the way. We aren't even on the final boss. Video game dogs, dogs are dicks. By the way, Kay, how you doing today? Go. Now, the way this is going to work is there's going to be a slight puzzle and some stuff I have to do. One, I need to break this open for later. Two, we're going to do this. That creates a bridge to the other side to the old castle, which is where the final boss will take place. That game is beautiful. It's not necessarily good, though, but it is beautiful. Huey, I'm gonna need you to cooperate with me, buddy. Huey. I can't see you. I can't see Ricardo. Get in the hole. Thank you. Good boy. Huey, Huey get him. Huey. He did it. All right, perfect fight. She has strong feet, Dark Viewer. And now he's dead. Huey killed him. Huey, Huey killed that whole man. Ricardo is dead, chat. Do crab rave. No problem, young Smokey. Thank you for being here. Thank you very much. Huey is a good boy. Come on. Story-wise, Huey is an amazing boy. Speedrun-wise, he's awful. Call him a good boy. Fine, he gets one. Good boy. Come on. Also, I can actually just abandon Huey up here because I don't need him for the rest of the game now. But he'll he'll teleport back even if I abandon him. Because of cutscenes. Believe it or not, Haunting Ground actually has a really neat glitch coming up, and I love it so much. And I'll show you what that glitch is. 
Potential? What, what do you mean potential? It premeditated is probably the better turn of phrase with that one. Potential feels like it would be like, oh, uh, it could maybe. No, he was planning on it. Yeah, premeditated for Ricardo. He was gonna have you give birth to him. You know how weird. That's a strangely specific fetish. Also, Verbal Counter, how's it going? Good to see you. Uh, that's good, Sky Roden. I'm not sure which channel he joined. Wait, did someone do a point thing earlier? Do I have to check that out? Someone made one earlier about it. Now dig on this. I missed it. Hey, Moonshine, how's it going? Yep, we got cat ears, and there are a lot of gift subs given. We have new emote slots. Moonshine, people are gonna <laughs> say more emote ideas. Yeah, it was very sweet of everyone. Archangel gifted a lot. It's been a lot of love today. There we go. And then back down. Leonard emote or a riot? I don't have any ideas for a Leonard emote. I have Rooney ideas, but I don't have any Leonard ideas. Yes, I would like to. I missed that one because I was getting heated on something else. Snake? It could be good. Meth emote? No, no meth emote. Have an emote god and call it Leonard. Can you rant about the new legalization that has. Legalized shit posting on Saturdays. You're not allowed to dab and use iPhone memes uh, using special licenses. Wait, I. But that's not actually. It's not actually a thing. It doesn't count. I don't know how I'd rant about that one. How about I refund your points and tell you one thing? Because I don't think I actually rant about something that's not actually a thing. Because I'll just tell you Saturdays are made for dads for about in a minute. And dad's car. I can just refund it. It might be easier, especially given that I missed the big window for I don't even know if Random Shadow is still even here. I'm gonna refund it. Just because I, I don't know if I can do that one. Also, glitch time. Break this open, you get a luminescent. It's all good? Alright. Now let's refund it. Because you, you should have the points. I need more time to think about that one as well. I haven't even, I've not been able to read it. Hold on. So I'm doing a glitch right now. It's hard to do that one because I don't know nearly enough about meme sites. I don't know if there's any actual legislation on anything though. I don't know what legislation would be. Also, here's a glitch. Because the Luminescent acts as the enemy of this area, I avoided them entirely so they never actually spawned in. So this is gonna happen. And as of today, Yuki, they're a good fit. And correct, BS Ben, we are 30 away. Okay, I got you. I got your random shadow. If you want to try for another one, let me know. Uh, also, he just doesn't spawn. It looks like he does, but he just doesn't. Wait, it's not this one. It's this one. No. It was this one, yeah. No, it wasn't this one. Oh, it was the back. Okay, let's see. Um... Oh, we're good, we're good. Also, weird boss time. So, since he never shows up, this just happens. Oh, wrong thing. There you go, I got you. We did pass the raw danger goal. Also, the boss fight never happens. Lorenzo is grandpa, yes. Yeah. Oh, shit, I'm missing splits. My god. They are, dude. She has strong feet. Alright, come on. You gotta run through. I was in the wrong way here, but that's fine. What did I miss? Also, Moonshine, how's your day been going today? Hope you've been having a good one. Here we go. Who wants a sub? Good question. Who wants a sub chat? 
Wait, no, not that. He acknowledges it. And we're good to go. Go for it. Oh god. Oh god, Moonshine. Is it what I think it is? Because I'm excited if it is. Also, we skip most of the rooms here because they will lead to death areas. We gotta be very careful. Why are feet people always the loudest? In which sense? Go. There. Kick that entire man down. Go. Get out of here. There we go. Katie. Get the gift sub. The dark viewer. Thank you very much. They're a fun concept, Dignus Large. Can we also this one is really good. I am baby? Damn, well you got me there, Greeny. I, I guess I I am baby. He, he's baby. The Biltus is baby. Actually I'm no longer baby, you know, I'm too old to be baby. I learned when you turn twenty five you're no longer baby. It's a sad state of life. V baby? No. Give me a quick moment. Uh Kane? How do you start something hating the games you love? I run 62 of them. If I ever get tired of a game and need a break, I can just do that. Also, time for Futile. So the final boss of the game, thanks to Powder, which I grabbed entirely for this, you kick him in the dick until he dies, about Huey Mountain. The final boss of Clock Tower, our haunting ground, was actually CBT. I wanted to explode, by the way. Ooh, that's good. You kick him apart. Oh shit, that was a close one. Bite him. Bite me. No, don't dive. Bite. You. Explosions are good, by the way. Correct to stop though. There's two ways this man can die. Damage also happens on the fire, which there's a mechanic to get more damage, but on the speedrun, it's way faster just to repeatedly kick him in the dick until he dies. <laughs> it is a fetish game in an extent. Anyway, the castle's power, the exit's ready, we need to get the fuck out of here. I didn't get Kiwi, he's fine. But the final boss isn't over yet, because he's coming back. When the earthquakes are happening... No, oh, that's good, yeah, careful now. Kiwi, get out of the way, thank you. Shit, he's fine. How's it going, Hags? Oh, god damn it, dude. Stop it, stop it, stop it, game. There we go, got it. Oh, god, he's right behind me. This is bad. Okay. Keep going. Right behind me. God. Oh god, get away, get away, get away. Here we get him! Oh fuck, oh my god, this is so fucking monk ass right now, man. Oh my god, we did it, we did it, we did it. Holy shit. You guys see that movie Man on Fire? I fucking love this, by the way. Look at him. <laughs> he just puts it for <laughs> He dies. And with that, we're done.
Holy shit, dude, that was risky. I I tripped way too much because if you fall once, you lose a lot of your cycle timing. Right? Can you imagine watching an entire man burn in front of you? Like, holy shit, dude. Anyway, enjoy the ending. I really need to pee. I'm going to be right back. Nope. That sounds about right. We'll be doing Nightcry next, which is a classic. Enjoy the ending. And also, you'll be able to see what happened to Baby. Thank you for the follows, everyone. Get out, don't see it. Feel free to follow me. It's always appreciated. Moonshine, Zoku, and other mods are in charge. There we go. He is adorable. He's actually baby. Also, yeah, the clock tower reference at the end. Which is more of a clock tower reference than clock tower ghost head had. So this game is officially a clock tower game now. No, not Chewy, Huey. One twenty two. Did I actually have one twenty two? Hold on, let me check. I got a one twenty. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, right, but I'm just saying, as a clock tower game now relates. Jesus, I hear that sky road. It's never easy. Oh God, hold on. That the checks in out really quick. Oh my God. Moonshine. I just want to say that is. Absolutely perfect. I just saw it. That is... I am looking at it! Oh god, that's fitting. Oh my god, Carsey. How is it going? The two year... Well... You guys came at a great time. Welcome, everyone. From Carsey's stream. If you guys don't know Carsey, you should. He is a wonderful streamer. Has been kicking ass at Parasite Eve. Carsey! With a two year hype in the resub. Four months. That's a lot of people. I see Multi back. I know you. Mungo, Dr. Pepper Drink. Thank you for the follow. We have Pure Heart of Dark. Sound Climax. Computer. I like reading names here. Balance. Let's see who else we got. Yakko, Dr. Pepper Drink, E-Man, Pajan, uh, let's keep looking, Quick Brand, I'll say end everyone so I can catch up with the chats, losing frames, I'm losing all the frames, dead, I look familiar, right? Welcome everyone, I'm McDysis, I do a lot of horror games and horror game speedruns, we have two runs left in our Clock Tower Series Marathon, what? 
Welcome everyone. I do 62 unique different games. If that's your jam, you're in the right- Yes! Because Haunting Ground and Nightcry also count because Remothered is the same design as them. And the reason why I count them is because anything after Clock Tower 2 doesn't even relate to the game anyway. Clock Tower 3 has a clock tower and that's its entire relation. So I feel like if you have a clock in your game and you have clock tower design inspired, you're a clock tower game. And also, we haven't had an official game since 2003. Haunting Arm was great. This one went well, but I was, dude, I was so fucking nervous on this game. Like, the ending was absolutely insane for this one. Any of you guys don't know, recently I had a Nightcry run at GDQ. You might have Otter Boxer. You may have played Dan Church with me. I was in line. I was in line for that. And I had a game called Nightcry at GDQ. And we'll be doing that now. Where are some of the other endings? B endings, the same exact same, but... Ooh, actually, hold on. Moonshine. But the five gift subs to the no! channel. Thank you very much. I'll show you one of the other endings, because it's fucking hilarious. There's a clock tower movie. Phenomena's the closest you can get. Thank you very much, Moonshine. And thank you all for the follow as well. Please work, by the way. She is multi-backing. She is. We also have a new emote coming out, which I have it on deck. Let me redo this. Five sub tickets for the chat? Correct. Indeed. Indeed correct. Warm Soda. I like your name. Hold on. And yes, it was supposed to be a movie, but it ended up falling through. Hold on. Also, Remothered 2 will count in the grand scheme of things. I really hope I don't need to buy another copy of Remothered, because I've been having problems with either my PS2 or my disc. Actually, I've been having problems with my Clock Tower 3 disc, so I think it might just be my PS2. Indeed, Illbleed. Oh, God. I have an incentive to play Illbleed, and I need, apparently, 24 more subs than we have it. Buy another copy of Remothered? No, Remothered Broken Porcelain. Haunting Ground, I mean, for copies. Please work, game. I think it's my PS2. I don't think- Haunting Ground's been fine. I've taken great care of this game. I barely unbox it. Um. Maybe. I'm gonna try this out. Oh, last time I had this problem, I had to do something else. So we'll see. Come on. Uh, I can't quite show it. I have to figure all this out. I have played Illbleed. Um, I don't. I didn't like Illbleed, so I didn't play much more than the first level. However, I watched Punchy do it again, and I've been tempted to do it for a. Uh... Thank you, Moonshine. The game looks fine. The problem as well is I need my PS2 to actually work. No, I don't own Illbleed yet. How am I going to get a copy from Greeny? Okay, come on. This cannot be red. That's fine. She has Contraband Illbleed. If this doesn't work, I'll have to just describe it to you. Ah, it's fine. Um, so what ends up happening... Also, I'm putting my haunting arm back in its case. There is an ending to this game where you leave the house immediately after Debiltus. Uh, he just gives you the key to get out. And then, uh, while that's happening, the final boss, Lorenzo, just kind of uh, tries to stop you from leaving the mansion. However... That might be the case then, Renz, because I had problems with Clock Tower 3 in the past, and I've had problems with my new copy of Clock Tower 3. So I'm thinking it might be that. 
Also, hold on. Let me check something out. Because I want to see how this shows up on Twitch. I might be adding in... Can I add in an emote like, right on stream? I might be able to. Because I get instant emote approval these days. But while that's happening... Oh, God. Let me put these on top of the headphones. There we go. Give emo. Let me try this out. Let's see if I can get it for you. For all you fine people. The ending is he's is at the top of the uh, the the stairs, and then he tries wheeling down, and then the old man falls down the stairs, and it's fucking hilarious. Because he's like the final boss, it's supposed to be like a powerful emotional beat and everything, but nope, he just falls down the stairs, and it's funny. And especially as serious a game as um, it is. Hey, you can see my splits and everything. Cool. You can see my background. Don't laugh at me, chat. Don't laugh at my Doki Doki Literature Club and my all my other stuff and my splits. It just does this sometimes. Thank you for the follow. Okay, let's see if I can add in this emote now. I'll try. Uh, I'll put in the name, too. Please let me make this name. Thank you for the follow. Okay, um... Alright, let's say it's booting up. We're all good. Does, do I get the name? It works, okay. Okay, I think it's on now. Those are cat ears, uh, Saltina can. A lot of people like me to be a cat boy. Anyway, put this back. Nice, Phantasm. So time for Nightcry. This is the game I did at GDQ. And really quick, let me refresh the page, because I'm curious if it works. Checkpoint rewards. Hold on. Also, Carsey, how's the stream? I wanted, I, it was pretty hectic for the brief moments. But I hope the stream went well. We'll see what pops up. Oh, we got a new emote. Washing machine. Oh, yeah. I'll show, I'll, this is going to be a showcase. So we'll be watching a few of them. Anyway, let's go. And if you guys don't know about Nightcry, this game is the first attempt at a clock tower spiritual successor. So Haunting Ground came out like in the mid 2000s and was re I need to change the title of the stream. Hold on. Uh, this is fine. Uh, Nightcry. There. Oh my god, you're on the old. How did you become. Wow, damn. Oh yeah, beat Triceratops. You had no problems with Eve? There we go. I thought Eve would have given. I guess you're maybe leveled. Eve was free? Good to know. No problem, BS Ben. But the thing with Nightcry is this game was a game that is a clock tower spiritual successor and it came out on 2016. It's very recent. Um, it was made by all the original, like, people and a lot of big names in Japan of the Clock Tower series. Uh, a good example is Hufumi Kono, who did the original Clock Tower, directed this. Mashiro Ito, who did monster design. On Silent Hill 2, did monster design here. Chris Darrell, who did original artwork for Clock Tower SNES. This game is amazing, Page and Zero. It's an amazing game. Oh, yeah, Ateline. It was a good timing for everything. Um, a couple of the people who did music in Metal Gear Solid, uh, no, is it Nobuko Toda? Is so I know that Plywood and Sora might know, any Metal Gear fans I know, Nobuko Toda? Toto? Uh, she did music for this game. Uh, it had Castlevania game designers. This game had a lot of talents, I just want to say that right now. First one is easy to eliminate a burst. Huh. Oh yeah, Liberate, that makes sense, actually. That makes sense, if anyone has any questions about this game or anything in general, please let me know. I'm usually pretty good at trying to answer. Also, Carsey, uh, remember that thing I talked to you about a while back? I made the uh, the official announcements on the uh, on full-time streaming. I'll be doing that starting in February. So it'll be a bit interesting, all things considered. How are you doing today, Essings? 
And for all you fine people, I'll show you the greatest thing of all time. I'm ready for it? I think so. I put in my two weeks yesterday, and I was actually planning for, like, pre-GDQ-esque, like, that was my projection, but it's been going really well lately. And I'm, I'm definitely nervous, but I think I'll be good, and there's been a lot of support of people. And the worst case scenario, if it doesn't work out, I have savings, and I can go back to IT uh, if it doesn't work. Anyway, for those of you who are wondering what we're talking about, enjoy. A lot of you might be new to Nightcry, especially if you're coming in from the raid. So, enjoy. And also, anyone from... If you haven't checked him out yet, please check out Carsey. He's an absolutely wonderful dude and is great. And yeah, Greeny, full-time streaming soon. The game is currently not responding as well. Get worked up now. Come on, I'll buy you a drink. <laughs> what? You think a soda Thank you, will get you on I think my good okay. side? Hey, you're thirsty, right? Here we go. What the? What is it now? Wait for it. Well, uh, wait for it. Something's grabbing my hand. What? It's budget Dante. Something inside Take ball, Carsey. Take it easy. Oh, Harry, get you some food if you need it. And thank you for signing by once again. You think? I'm and for serious. you, enjoy. <laughs> the lighting is intentional. Let's go. He did. And that's the Scissor Walker. So the Scissor Walker is going to be the main enemy of this game. And they are going to be the Scissor Man, equivalently. Although it's a chick. There's nothing grabbing his hand, right? He was doing the Gregory Peck act. Luckily, who wrote this? Ufumi Kono. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. The original director of the Japanese Grudge also directed this. Juon. It took his pants? Well, he's dead now. And we can keep moving. Um, this game is a very interesting game. I'll say that much. Everything about this game is amazing. Monica looked like she shit herself. There's blood everywhere. This game was supposed to be the original Clock Tower SNES. Like, that's what it's been based off of. Everyone wanted to do that one. So it's on Vending Machine? Oh, no. Vending Machine's the entire lower area. I just call it Vending Machine because that's where it's at. No! Not that I'm aware of. They may have. All I know they've done this game recently is, um... What's the word? They made a PS Vita version of it. The glitches still work perfectly. This is Monica. Rooney is in level 3. You don't know who's iconic? Sleep well, Carsey. Take it easy. Also... Thank you for the follow. Oh, hold on. I want to show you guys something. My man Koichi Yamazaki. This dog. How adorable is that? Like, I paid $400 to share his dog. There we go. $400. She has to wear them. It's a fashion statement. Also, she's drunk. Posting on Facebook is mandatory. We need to do that. Also, Aika Tanimoto. Well, let's try for the glitch here. There's a glitch right now. Let's go. Please work. I didn't get it. It's like rapid mashing. Oh, God, my hand. Something's happening to my hand. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't we are you. Pagan Zero. Um, or Pagan right? Zero. You look very the best pale. ending in this game is the major speedrun. Um, there's a shorter category, but we do ma all Bye. canon endings. The canon ending of this game is two survivors. Why? In time for the greatest thing if you've never seen it. Better than the vending machine death. Check it. What do you mean, chair lady? This man is now dead. He's no longer alive. Night Cry 2 win? I don't think they're going to make it. They're still working on the mobile port. Also, it's really interesting going from a game like Haunting Ground to this. There we go. And that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed Haunting Ground. Like, Haunting Ground is a beautiful game. It is absolutely amazing. The design is beautiful. It's creepy in all the right ways. And it really does make you feel um, kind of a sim like sympathy and empathy for Fiona. You can relate to the... A lot of what happens with her. Yeah. Pagan. Oh, gotcha. Alright. Sounds good. Yeah. 
Well, apparently, Hufumi Kono is really passionate about the vending machine death. Because they advertise that on the Kickstarter page. More importantly, did you guys know, because I mentioned this a few times and I always mention this, there was a short film that advertised Nightcry that had the Nightcry game in the short film. Like, there was a kid uh, trying to escape the Scissor Walker, but it starts with the kid playing the game Nightcry on his iPad, further proving the point that this is initially supposed to be a mobile game that hasn't come out yet, and is in development to come out apparently in 2021, according to sources online. Because the PS Vita port came out in 2019, last year. Are they still making Vita games? I don't even know, man. I don't even know. I don't even know, man. Oh, yeah, Rooney is the chair. Vita got continued. Was Nightcrab really the last game on the Vita? That's fucking hilarious if it really was. Take it easy, multi-backing. Thank you for stopping by, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Yeah. Hope you're alright, Yami. Yep, I'm not even kidding. This game is actually on Vita. Thank you, Skyvis. It's been a wonderful two years, and I'm happy that everyone's been so supportive of it. I remember starting two years ago, I mentioned uh, at the start, I was like, uh, I started off with a whopping two average viewers. I remember it. I was just starting, didn't really have much going on. I ran uh, like Little Nightmares, Clock Tower, and a few other games. And then I just kept going, and now we're here where it's currently about almost 500 of yeah. I can't thank you all enough who watch. It means a lot to me that there's so many supportive people who tune in these streams every day. And it kind of has given me the motivation to try doing it full time. Alright, here we go. Exactly. Put the trust in Clock Tower and it all works out. And what a way to christen in the fresh year with Clock Tower. Here we go. And then we get the key. And now time for a mandatory thing. I have to kill off Jessica. She is a friend of ours. Uh, and this is another one of those things in Clock Tower games that if you don't do it early, you're going to get fucked later. So by doing this now, I can entirely avoid any problems later because I need to do that in to get Chapter 3 all nice and ready. Also, we just use another fire extinguisher to take her out. Oh, god damn it, get up. There we go. Perfect. Also, I don't know if anyone's caught on, but I think the emote should be available in Twitch. I did add it. Hey, ugly photos, how's it going? She won't hesitate for the fire extinguisher? Of course she won't. Let me know if you, uh, let me know if anyone sees it, if you have a sub. It should be added. I love the names, I don't want to spoil it. Blair Witch does suck. Where do you get this game? Steam. Hey, zombie has it, perfect. Do you like the name, Moonshine? Thank you, Algothotis. That was a fun one. Moonshine and Maxi and Starwin were on my couch. I know Maxi was here earlier. Moonshine's here right now. She was on the couch. She also just did the art for Dicey Assets, which is the new emotes. And I think it looks pretty good. It looks exactly as thick as I thought it would. I love it. I think it's a good... I, I look good. I saw it yesterday for the, like, um, the line art. I was like, yep, that is, that is good. That is what we want. I hope you all enjoy it. We'll get more emotes. I have more emotes planned. Uh, I've talked with Moonshine about making two more for the GDQ celebration. So there'll be two more based on Nightcry. Although I do want to say they might be just Rooney. Because I like Rooney a lot. Like her design really rubbed off on me. But I do have two more planned for Rooney. And then I guess I have to plan two more of something. But we'll see. I hope you guys enjoy assets. Moonshine, you did a wonderful job on that. Anyway, this is Leonard. He's an absolute god of a man. He is an Adonis. He is an absolute powerful man. It could have been a Dicey Azoth, but I don't play Haunting Ground all that much. Like, I play it every now and again, but it's never been a consistent, uh... Like, I play it, but... I can't... The reason why I don't do Haunting Ground nearly as much is because I don't have a PS3 with PSN. If I had PSN, I'd do it. Although, in theory, if the PS5 comes out with backwards compatibility, I'm totally down to fucking do that. 
because they'll either one kick shit into gear to where it's not allowed to have backwards compatible shit or two it will allow me to just get fucking lightning speed times by virtue of owning that we have booty emotes everyone it's perfect there we go Rooney's booty I told you it'd be Rooney's I told you and she is absolutely thick she is thick If you guys are wondering why like, that's the booty, you'll learn in time. There's a character named Rooney in this game, and she's fucking stacked, apparently. There we go. Dummy thick? Actually, yes. Moonshine, I can't really... I, I can't, like... I came out really well. It came out really well. I'm excited about it. I'm, like, it looks good in Twitch chat and live testing. Like, it, looked, it came out way better than I thought it would, too. I always, I'm always worried when I upload things that doesn't, like, we have to, like, do edits or something like that. Also, it's currently not responding. There we go. Yeah. Again, if you guys aren't following Moonshine, you should. She's an absolute sweetheart. She does my emotes. Wow, she's packing heat, Barbie. Correct, Yakko. It's the new, the new emotes. Thank you, Zoku. And she was actually doodling these on stream and a few other things as well. Yeah. He's rolling up. Leonard? Hell yeah, he is. Leonard's a god. An absolute god of a man. And a radio DJ. And a baseball king. He's the king of everything. There we go. Correct. I love you. Moonshine does very well. Also, Moonshine, did you uh, DM those one people about the GDQ thing? I want to shoot the reminder to you just in case, because I felt bad about the video thing. I want to make sure you get proper credit for being on the Nightcry couch if you want it. You forgot? No, no rush. Just make sure you uh, make sure you do that if you want to be on the the VOD. I guess on the YouTube VOD, they forgot to add on Moonshine, so. Uh, I had to double check to kind of see how we can get her on there. Just have to send the email to the people and then it's all good. Oh, well, she's packing something. There we go. Leonard might be packing heat in that case then. Okay. Continuing on. If you guys don't know about Leonard, he's actually the master of stealth. An absolute god of stealth. Exactly, Kinocord gets it. <sighs> Joystick, that would be absolutely cursed. I would hate that. Also, I need to stretch my hands. Practically like a fucking chameleon, dude. Also, more importantly, Leonard entirely murdered this man. Because the stealth wasn't enough. He just... The man no longer exists. We just juked him. That man is dead. I like how he didn't even PB this, by the way. I just need to get better in the earlier game. In every... I play a lot of cutscenes in the mid game. I actually can't really PB this now I think about it, because... Yeah. How do I pronounce a name? Great question, Manic. Feel free to call me Ek if you like, but the official pronunciation I use is Ek Diasis. However, Ek Diasis is apparently the official pronunciation of the actual dictionary word, but my word's spelled differently. So Ek Diasis. Ek Diasis. Either one works. I use Ek Diasis. But realistically, Ek works as well. I love all the shoes here. I'm just chilling. Exactly, Kinocore. Exactly. There we go. Although, now that we have two more emote slots, what do we do with them? Sounds good, Manic. Super cool. I like Manic. It's a fun name to say. Oh, I've got to do the thing. That's fine. Fill it with two cans? But why two cans? I don't have two cans. I need chonky emotes. 
Nice audio. Very nice. Hopefully it's good. He has to take him out, Kinocore. Right, come on. Oh, run up to that liner, thank you. Well, to be fair, it was designed as a mobile game. So I guess it's sort of fitting in a sense. I feel so bad that this game was a thing. Also, this game has the original voice actor of Barry Burden. Barry has starred in two of the seven Clock Tower releases. For some reason. And it's also really weird because it's like almost 20 years apart that he did it. Like, I get doing it in, like, the same vein, but, like, 20 years later, he gets another part in fucking Nightcry, of all things. Also, yes, that Barry Burden. You know, you almost became a Jill Sandwich. Except, you know, more 90s. He's a rising star, Zoku. He is a god amongst men. Also, you guys don't see Diagonal Rope, because I'll show you that. I love this game audio. I, I, it's out of a labor of love. Diagonal Rope. Like, I play all the Clock Tower series, and I can... I, how I was roasting a lot of them earlier. Haunting Hours is the one I can say that's pure good. Clock Tower 3 is pure camp, but it's still good to play, at least. Clock Tower 3 Ghost Head is pretty fun, but pretty campy, too, and then the last level is shit. Uh, Clock Tower 2 or PS1 is the exact opposite, weirdly enough. Exactly. And this game is campy. Clock Tower SNES is pure good. Glad to hear you're enjoying it. Oh, what? I'm gonna get in there. Also, can I get the glitch? Ah, I didn't get it. Damn. Cool. How's it going, Darkest Lords? Welcome. Hope you're having a great day. I still can't believe I have to play both Raw Danger now, and I also have to do a Team Silent Marathon. If you don't know what the next style of this marathon is going to be, it'll probably be the Team Silent Marathon. I've never played Silent Hill 4, so I'll have to do that uh, and learn the speedrun at some point. I know how to do 3, but I don't know how to do it well. And then 1 and 2 are fucking... Boom, 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 boom. You know what? Fuck it. I'll throw Play Novel in too, because Play Novel is a Team Silent game, and I, ha I have the, the emulator of it. Thank you, Isofreeze. It's much appreciated. And Nick wasn't a coach me. I, I, I asked him to do it at uh, GDQ, but we both kind of fell into different schedules. Everyone got sick, unfortunately. But he'll probably help me out. Oh, yeah. I'll trade him tips in Homecoming for tips in Silent Hill 4. Oh, yeah. But the thing is, I've never played Silent Hill 4 myself, so, like, I'm wondering, do I want to play it on stream? Do I want to play it off stream? I'm kind of maybe playing it off stream, just getting it speedrun ready at some point. I don't know. Glad you're enjoying them. Brand manager Seymour. Oh, yeah. I'll call you brand manager. I like the name. But yes, I like Silent Hill mechanics, so they're fun. Also, time for the greatest song ever made. And you like, you guys like how I kept the typo? Oh no, I, I fixed the typo in this one. Aww, bruh. That might be a good idea. I mean, people like casual streams, and also Silent Hill 4's, I don't know. Everyone's trying to hit on Jerome, meanwhile you're just dancing. But this is Rooney, and you'll be able to see why the booty emote is a thing, everyone. Very soon. Oh god, Shattered Memories is fucking brutal. She's here? She is here, Moonshine. The, the looking booty e combination is interesting. I do have to say, though, out of all the booty emotes on Twitch, I think I have a, a pretty good name. That's a lot. Like, there's nothing wrong with putting assets as a name. I guess I'll let me know if assets is a bad name. But still, I think assets is fine. You guys want to hear about the world of ocean candy? 
the ocean at night seems to suck you in. Don't seems you to think suck you in. Don't you think it would feel so nice to be sucked into the ocean? It's probably comfortable in the ocean. Like a soft bed. It's a bit salty. True so random shadow. Should bring some candy. That's a good realization, I like actually. And fruit punch flavored candy. Yeah, Joe, that did indeed happen. Uh, Archangel beautiful. gifted a hundred subs. Like a billion and now I have to play Raw Day. Danger. I have to... Oh, I have learned The Last of Us. And I have yours. to do, um... And you're gonna be Silent Hill 3. Or, no, Sal Team Silent yeah. Marathon. Can you wait for me down there? Yep, next Can is Ill Bleed, the and then the last uh, Evil it's Thin, because I had to swap those two. In the soft and comfy ocean. So, Ill Bleed and Evil Thin are still on deck as sub-goals, and then... This dialogue is mad. Also, look at her. She's really tempted to look. Hey. Also, Moonshine. Uh, just saying. Did you catch that angle? Did you catch that uh, scene, Moonshine? Yeah. The scene. You saw the look that she gave, right? Okay. Because that's not like. I, I mentioned the other day that she does like that exact look that I sent you, and like. Yeah. Have a good one, Skyroden. Take it easy. Have a good night. Doo -doo, doo -doo. See, now I'm a big horror streamer. We go full time, and now we have a booty emo. It all comes together. You can't be a full time horror streamer until you have ass. I'm sorry, I don't make the rules. That is what I've learned. You need ass. It just makes sense to have it. Oh, come on. There we go. I'm glad you guys are enjoying the combination of emotes. And back we go. Time for Jerome's scene. Correct pants. I've got to split again. That's fine. No, no, not the sofa. Also, this game, does, this game does give my hand a break. I'm happy at that. And... Perfect. One. Two. Also, I'll say I definitely have one of the more unique booties. I... I don't think anyone is making Nightcry emotes in our year 2020. She's beauty and she's grace. There we go. Okay. The game is currently not responding again. There we go, we're now getting out. Nightcrawler is actually a pretty um, optimized game at this point, though. I might even be saving time in the grand scheme of things here. Okay, there we go. Although, I do think Haunting Ground had a lot of it. Why is two of Team Sound playing Sound of One today? Probably because one of them's on a marathon, I think, and the other is doing Sound of One. Is it Nub and Enigma? Because I know Enigma is gonna do something on one today, and Dub's doing a marathon of games. There we go. All right. Damn. All right, gotta keep running. Gotta keep running. I think it's Nub. It's Nub. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Told you. Told you. Oh God, Rooney, get up. We need you to run away. She's almost there, Chad. She's almost there. But that's my guess. No, oh, I didn't get the glitch. I'm not getting the good glitches. Guess who's gonna get food after we mother, by the way? She did, Athelene. She did. Athelene. Athelene. That's what Rooney does. The scissor walker is so good, though. With her kind, Rooney is a chair. She rocks over the hunt. She doesn't look like she's stacked, but believe me, chat. She is absolutely fucking stacked. 
She's like pancakes, dude. It's like a waffle house. The restaurant, not and the food, both. She's what baby got back is about. There we go. Good God. Don't doesn't everyone love Rooney? Just look at her graceful running. It's been a fun stream today. I have to wonder what games we're gonna get tomorrow. I do want to put a brief reminder. Uh, for those of you who got a sub, also anyone in general, because I do weekly votes as well. It's a fun game, Katie. It's a very fun game. There we go. If you got a sub, make sure you join the Discord if you want to vote in tomorrow's poll. Like, it's a, ga it's a games list for tomorrow. Tomorrow we'll be doing a marathon of a random assortment of games, and it is the sub votes. So those games will be a bunch of games that are chosen by the subs, and the 38 choices of all the games I run. Uh, unless they're adding on a couple of games too soon, so let's have projects for that. Moonshine, thank you for all the links. Also, Kickstarter backers, let's go. We have Bubble Ball, Dave Bruno, Leah Poplovsky, a phone call I have to make. How's the Brazilian Ghost? How are you doing well? Get her. Nice. Get her number. I need to shake my hands. Sympathy Snap next. Clockstar 3, we did that earlier. I go chronological order. Okay. Leonard Snake? It's not a bad idea, but I don't know how it'd be done. It could I guess it would be a three-part emote to just make infinite. If I get the slots for it, then sure. But currently I want to stick with single segment emotes. I feel like multi-part emotes, or if you have a lot of emotes, then multi-parts are good. Also, yeah, check Kickstarter backers. Marlania Legio, oh god. And that's my logic behind it anyway. Also, I think the first few weeks of full time are going to kind of be uh, gauging how much I should be able to do in terms of streaming. We have Steven Wagner. Alright, Rooney, keep moving. And Tamara Carrion. Oh, they all paid $400. Yeah, 400 it's a lot more than five dollars. It's four hundred dollars. Okay, and down. Here we go. See that one? Wait, you have a a four-part Cthulhu emote? That's actually pretty badass. Not gonna lie. Hey, Wildfire, how's it going? Good to see you. All right, we got the drone. Thank you for the follow, it's much appreciated. See, multi emotes could be cool, I just don't know how, like, I have an idea for them, but we'd have to, we would need more emote slots. Right now, we're probably better just to fill with normal emotions. Thank you, Gamer Girl, for the follow. I like that name. Gamer Girl. I think I, I, think I answered the phone, right? True. GDQ was a lot of fun. It was it was good. Uh, they run very well, and it's been nice ever since. To get out completed, I can hear that. Well, I probably want to make like a three piece, kind of like the uh, one Yami posted with Enigma. Although I would want to make it so the middle section can be infinitely posted, so you can make a really long Leonard. That'd be a good idea. Or a two part would just be scissors, but still. I feel like a scissor emote would just be one part. I don't think it would be two parts. There we go. Not bad. Let's keep going. I'm glad you guys are enjoying the assets emote. If you're enjoying it, make sure again that you check out Moonshine and thank her. She worked hard to get that one done, and it's very sweet. 
that we're able to get that. There we go. And also, we're about to learn why Dicey Assets is now a thing. If you're new here and wondering, why do you have just a girl with jeans as booty? Well, as you're watching right here with Nightcry, if you refresh the page, you should be able to get it, I think. If you've been watching, obviously the color scheme is matching Rooney. It's the same, same general idea. Same color scheme. There you go. There's gonna be a very interesting scene coming up. I'm a nerd? Roz, we have a booty emote now. Thanks to Moonshine. Moonshine, I like giving you props. You do good art. There we go. How are you doing today, Roz? Oh god, the game's freezing again. I am thick, not as thick as Rooney. There you go. No, the big reveal I tease on Discord, Wildfire, is that starting in February, I'll be going full-time streaming. Monica, Soon. In time. Yep, I put in my two weeks uh, yesterday, and uh, I was honestly quite nervous about the whole thing, but I'm happy I did it. It's been pretty nice getting all that kind of settled. My boss told me he was proud of me, and I'm very happy for that. There we go. Um, the hours are mostly going to be the same, but longer. So it might be eight to four a.m. or so. Um, I might go. Or I might do like seven to four. I, I kind of want to figure that out. Also, I got the glitch. This can just happen sometimes. And then weekends, I want to keep the same time as I'm currently going where it's earlier, so I have the opportunity to do that. Exactly. Um, donations and subs are heavily appreciated now, since it keeps the stream running. You haven't seen this glitch? It comes up rarely, and it saves a very small amount of time, and it entirely removes the angle. If you don't know how to do that puzzle and you do that casually, my god, that is painful to do. Which time zone I'll be in? I'm in PST. Um, so normally I start at 8 p.m. PST and end at 12 a.m. However, on weekends I start at 12, roughly 12 p.m. PST, and then I end. It really depends on the day. Like today is gonna end like probably about like 8:30 or so. While other streams might end a bit later. There we go. Or earlier. On the weekends I have to figure out what I want to do. I think eight, roughly eight hours I want to go for, but I had to kind of figure out how I want to do it. Uh, it's a two-year anniversary ruined app of when I decided to kind of make the space in the garage and do that. Also, here's Rooney's booty, everyone. Look how fucking thick she is. The actual anniversary of the thing happened during GDQ, so today is just the big day they were able to actually celebrate it and kind of put attention to that, which is nice. You can now see why Rooney's booty is now a thing, right, chats? Because she's fucking thick. Like, my god, look at her ass. She is stacked. No, I move uh, originally. So Ruidath knows this whole story. I always mention I, I've played Clock Tower for three years, but I've been streaming for two. We do have a new emote. And early on in January of 2018, I carved a space in my garage so I can stream from back there. And I had I got my own internet. I made the space, and then I started off really early January, and I picked a specific day to go full time. That day was around January 8th. However, I was at GDQ for that time and didn't really celebrate too much. Also, here you go. We'll be doing it at 52. Haiti, the 500 bits. Thank you very much. All right, let's go. Time for the coolest glitch in- oh god, hold on, let me reset this. This is a really risky glitch, because if you go too far forward, it's an instant death. And you lose a lot of time on that. Go. And enjoy the emote only mode, chats. We have about 30 seconds left. And I'll, I, I can actually- I put a button on my stream deck for this now, so it's perfect. There we go. 
Let's keep going. Poor Leonard. He is dead. Leonard died as he lived. With no skin. And there we go. Enjoy the ability to speak once again, and I'll cash the points in later today. Also, Kickstarter backers, here's where they went. Here's where they end up. Thank you for the follow. But yeah, uh, it was a pretty crazy journey. Uh, I remember the, the, those garage days. I've never forgotten them, and I always remember them. Um, it's actually really nice being in that garage. Every day after work, I would spend my eight hours at work, I would, um, and then after a few hours, I would go into my garage, and I would stream for four hours, and then I would go to bed around midnight, and I've been doing that for about two years now. That's it, man. Loot the door? No, no door looting. Now it's like we're hitting the point to where a lot of people don't know about those days. And I remember them very fondly. I remember them very well. And it's a chapter in my life that is a good point. And it led to where I am today. And now I have a room and I'm streaming from there and I have the ability to go full time. No, no looting the door. Right. She's trying. Rooney's trying her best. She's powerful. He was vibing. He was vibing. He was absolutely vibing, Athline. <laughs> That's all he does. He's just chilling in there. No, Sea Puff. No door ludes. That's a dead meme we don't need to bring back. There we go. There we go. There we go. Yeah! It was cool, Wildfire. It was really neat. And the journey has been kind of crazy, all things considered. Like, I've been on Twitch for a few years now, and I remember watching all the big partners when I was starting off, and yeah. It's not the best meme, Roz, because the joke on the door ones are just poverty. Which is... I think, pe like, normally when you were doing it was fine, but a lot of people didn't get the joke and were kind of, in a sense, making fun of poverty. So it kind of got really... E kind of bad. Which is why that one stopped, actually. There we go. Yeah. That's what I said for the most part. Was, oh god, we get up. That's what I said that one. Yeah. Like, there's a lot of growth from that point. Even GDQX, where we started at 40 from that in 20, late 2018. Barbie, when I was growing up, um, I didn't have a door for 10 years because my family wasn't the best off, and I wanted to make sure my little brother had his own room. So... Because of that, I slept in hallways for the better part of, like, almost 10 years. And didn't have a door. Yeah. Well, people were just wondering the history of that one. And, like, the looting of the door was fine for some people, but a lot of people would, uh, like, kind of just hammer it in, like, oh, we didn't have a door, and then the joke for that was poverty. I'll be a fun one, Wildfire. I'm probably gonna go to SGDQ, most likely. See, that one's better. That one's much better. Sometimes it'd be like that. Let's go. Almost a, almost a year, though. And it was very fun having the chances for GDQ stuff. And yeah, Zoku unfollows me like every other week. But Roz is coming for the booty. Swiggity swiggity. No, Roz is all fine. There we go. Exactly, Devro. Exactly. Roz, you, when you were doing it, you were fine. Like, I'm actually, if you're wondering why I ended up dying out in most cases, that's why. Like, it was one of those things, like, when you and Confucius were doing it, it was fine, but a lot of people kind of hammered on. It was like, oh, you don't understand why that's not funny in your way. Because it had very different connotations. Where one was making fun of poverty, and one was making fun of, uh, 
like just kind of a, an endearing thing I had. As some people were joking that I really liked my door because I finally had one after 10 years. I took a picture of me hugging it. And I was like, oh, hey, I finally have a door. And it was sweet. It was a fun thing. Some people were trying to make it lewd, but that, that one's fine. But then the other one was people going, hey, uh, you know, a door for 10 years. Haha. And then, yeah. Very nice to stop, though. I'm very happy to hear that. And yeah, Christina. Like, I'm doing it wrong. Like, I was never, like, in the street or anything, but, like,. I remember in middle school, um, I had to eat just free pizza we were able to get for a lot of food. Um, I remember a lot of things. I couldn't apply to a lot of colleges. I couldn't, um, like, try taking certain tests for hard. There were a lot of things I kind of missed out on because I didn't want to, uh, what's the word? Spend all the, like, family money or anything to that extent. And I heard a lot about economic problems growing up. I, as a child, I don't quite know how bad it was, but... It was enough that kind of drilled into me to be more frugal, I suppose. And now my family's are doing better. We live, we live in a nice place. I have a, have a door. I'm able to do things like stream. I have the ability to stream full time, and I paid off my student loans. But that's after a lot of hard work, which is why I'm excited for the upcoming uh, everything. Because it's going to be working a lot on my own self, in a sense. And being able to do stuff like streaming. I'm thinking for the incentives, I'll have to find days for each one, but we'll see. And thank you, Talek. Yeah, like, one of the big things is I was able to pay off my student loans. Well, not, like, I pretty much told myself I would never go full-time unless until my student loans are paid off. I paid them off late last year, and I was like, oh. All right, then. We, we have them done. I wasn't expecting to have them done. Like, I chopped that down hard, but that's because I live at home. I don't pay rents. I don't have a lot of bills, so it all kind of factored into that. I was like, I'll set money working my um, job I'm going to leave soon. Wait, hot dogs on bread? I had hot dogs on bread. It's good. I went to school for IT? No, I went to school for law. But law school would have costed way more money, and I originally majored in computer... Originally, my computer science... Originally, I was going to be a computer science major, so while that was happening, I got a job doing IT at my school. I kind of just did that, and I became good enough that I was able to get another IT job after college, and I kind of just fell into it. I went to school for law, though, and I'm not working in my field. Now I have IT training, but that's because I got through my job, and even then, it's more just kind of basic Windows training. One, two, three. Yay! Nice, Juno. Very nice great sword. I imagine you'll do a lot better with me. Like, my problem is my school. I, like, CS is fun and everything, and I liked it, but I had two problems. One, I personally could never figure out myself how the practical, like, applications of computer science went into, like, things. Like, I didn't know how you make a program and how that program actually works. Because I can see programs on, like, the end of, like, my phone and everything. Like, oh, here's how Facebook works. Here's how, uh, YouTube works. But then I couldn't ever actually think about how that, the in-between of that. I was really good at the coding aspects of just do code and try to do this. But when it came to GUIs and everything, FTE. I can never figure that out and how to make it presentable. And then as well, well, yeah, a lot of IT is pretty, t uh, just knowing what to look up. That's why it's worked well for me. And I can likely get another job in IT if I had to. Like, um, I give it six months and then if it doesn't work, we'll go to IT. If it does work, we'll keep going. And I, also, if it doesn't work, it doesn't mean I stop streaming. If it's still fun for me, I'll still stream. And now, I'll try to make it the full-time thing and I'm, I'm excited for it go nice very nice also we're almost done night cry let's see if we get the big skip we might be able to i hear that riff i definitely hear that but yeah i had to take the class software engineering three times because my full my school shafted me it's unfortunate thank you christina it's much appreciated oh dude what? 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 Look at this. Bro. Manipulatable, baby. That's also the impossible two minute time save. You gonna let minute 40, actually. You still haven't let go of your death wish? It saves a minute 40. Jesus Christ. Stray cat strut. I'm a ladies cat. You're right. What's the Five Guys Burgers and Fries reward? Muckbanger game. How? I mashed the buttons. I'm gonna survive. The, the funniest part, no though, what, also, enjoy the cutscene, because I love this. No Rumi's metal as fuck. You'll see what I mean. 
Rooney? Uh, Archangel did wildfire when Archangel gifted a hundred gift subs. It was pretty crazy. Ooh, I'm two followers away from 800 on Twitter. Revenge is yours! Destroy the man who turned you into a monster! This is gonna be me if I, uh, if I don't get an SGDQ. I use that one because it's safe. Wait, really? I need something to watch it with chat, probably. Wait! Buddy. Wait! This can't be! No! Oh. It's, oh, it's crazy, Estafa. I wasn't expecting me to get it. Wait. Yeah, that was a good time set right there. That's very burdened, by the way. Wait, wait. Thank you, Christina. <laughs> there you go, Pixie Town. That's a good one. Why isn't his own eye work anymore? Because this is only one eye like a sight, and he has multiple fake eyes. The only follower is Joe. Well, there you go. <laughs> that part, too. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna die on the GDQ stage. Yay, someone did follow me. Exactly, he just left it at home. Well, absolutely, I like his, I like the voice actor Vigo. <laughs> Although the funniest joke I've ever seen there is that was Barry Burden, that was the Barry Burden voice actor when he found out he's not getting paid as much as he thought he was for Nightcry. <laughs> wait, 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 no, 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 wait. Wait. Yes, Spigs. The full time is the announcement. Rescue. It's definitely the Oceanus. Over. Roger that. All units in the vicinity are heading your way. Over. There we go. And that's Nightcry, everybody. Oh, wrong thing. Okay. That being said, time for the final game of the list. Diffro, with the tier one sub. Thank you very much, and welcome to the swarm. Remothered, tormented fathers. Oh, hey, we got it. Yay. That's 800. Sweet, I need a screen cap at some point. It is time indeed for the final game, old man ass. Did she just leave? Oh, the Susan Walker's like peaced out. Yeah, she was cool with everyone. It's like, we're cool. It is indeed time for old man ass. I think he got paid. The pack, yeah, the backers paid to use the voices. I learned. A thousand dollars of the scream, two thousand five hundred be included. Felton booty time. Thank you, Loki. It's much appreciated. All right, time for this. Also, I look, I, I figured this out. Guys, you always wonder, you're, you're always wondering, is Rosemary Reed based off of Jodie Foster? Kind of. Feels like it's gonna rain again. The answer is technically. According to Chris Darrell, Rosemary Reed is based off several characters from the 90s. A notable one, apparently, is uh, Dana Scully from X-Files. I actually didn't know that one. Yeah, apparently um, Dana Scully is actually one of the main influences of this, and it's just a variety of women from the 90s. So, yes, in a sense, Jodie Foster is the representation. However, it's many uh, just prolific uh, women in media from the 90s. But here's the thing, here's the thing, Katie. It is, but it isn't. In the same sense that Jennifer Simpson is entirely based on Jennifer Connelly, she's not based on Jennifer Connelly. She just looks entirely like Jennifer Connelly and is entirely based on Jennifer Connelly. But she's not, officially. Officially, this isn't Jodie Foster. 
However, there's a lot of influences that go into this, so to speak. If you catch the drift. The general idea is you can't make like someone's official likeness, but you can say they look enough like the character. That's what Chris Darrell mentioned. She's not, but she is. And that's the general idea. Are they? Thank you for the follow. Let's see, I'm telling you, let's see. We have Nolan, yeah, Nolan, uh, let's rank the asses again, or back on this. You have Nolan's ass, there's no ass in SNES, it just doesn't, it's not a thing. Actually, you know, no, sorry, how can I forget? Every Clock Tower game has ass. Remothered has old man ass. Nightcry has Rooney's booty, which is number one, by the way. Haunted Ground has fucking pick one. Fiona, Daniela, everything. Hell, Huey, you can pick that if you're into that, I don't know. But Fio Fiona in general has it. You know she does. They have angles that explicitly focus on her ass. Like, the game is sexuality out the ass. Clock Tower 3. Dude, my man Corroder. He physically attacks you with ass. Ghost Head is the one I'm blanking on. Does Ghost Head have ass? I don't know. Does Ghost Head have ass? Well, not in Clock Tower 3. That's male ass. And this game is male ass too. Bates? But Bates doesn't show off the ass. Bates more is an ass. Bates isn't showing off ass. Oh, there's the, the freaky chick. She kind of has a bit. Ass is ass. <laughs> Correct. Ass is ass. No, no, not Miss Mary. Breaker. We're missing the best one. So we have Nolan in Clock Tower PS1. And in Clock Tower SNES, if you look in the fridge, there's ham ass. There's pork butt. The ham is the ass of Clock Tower SNES. Remothered is male ass. Confirmed, yes. Let's, let's see how well Remothered goes, by the way. I'm curious. I like that one. Although Felton's flat. That's a problem. He has a flat ass, man. Felton's not stacked in the slightest. Thank you for the follow. Come on. It's a good discussion, Diffro. The asses of Clock Tower. Also, note that I'm not just going on the main characters every time. Like, I'm not going to put Jennifer's ass because that's creepy. Alyssa technically is over 18, but you don't really ever focus on her ass, and also, no. There's a chick in there who's like 20-something, and she's more sleek and like, but she, it's the design they have on her. The ham in Clock Tower SNES. Ass Tower? We can, Seapup. We actually can. Oh, my ass? What about my ass? You're gonna stay far away from it, that's the answer. There we go. How can I say no to you? Now get some rest, love. My Jesus Christ, zombie. Proof? I have it right now. I could just ban you if you want. <laughs> and out we go. Let's see. No, oh, you're a zombie. You're good. You're good. That one's funnier. Alright. Anyway, we got the key, and now I can move forward with Remothered. So, with Remothered, this game came out in 2018, and it is another attempt at a Clock Tower spiritual successor. There we go. Jodie Foster? Correct. Do you think I'm enjoying your I can try Juo Strat, technically. There's a new Strat I should have tried, but nah. It's not. This is actually the good Clock Tower game. This is the second best of the series, uh, third best of the series, I would say. Ah, uh, maybe second. I rank Clock Tower SNES as a, a, one of the peaks. I, I can't. It's hard for me to choose between Haunting Ground and Clock Tower SNES. Also, yeah, she just like zooms up there. It's hilarious. Also, let me see if I can do this. I'm curious. Joe did a new glitch, and I'm curious on this. Go. Oh, 
Oh, fuck yeah, I got that. Noisy little Hold on. Is that actually gonna work? Hold on. We'll see if this works. Am I not? Oh yeah, this game has good moments. It has good scares. I'm trying out new tech, by the way. No, I didn't get the 101.50. I, uh, I'm trying out a new strat that Juo invented recently. We'll do here. Okay. Nope. Okay, we're fine. Okay. Check this out. I'm curious, actually. I want to test this out, too. Minor time loss, but we should be cool. We do have slide fast. Hovering is great, yeah. So, I want to try... If I don't get this, this is fine. It would be fun, Wildfire. Old man ass is a thing for a reason. I'll make you swallow your own tongue. I couldn't get it. Oh fuck. I'm dead. I might be dead. Ah, oh, that's fine. Okay, I couldn't get it. That's fine. Fucking cocksucker. Okay, so I'll probably this on my own time, but there's a new glitch out which you can uh just straight up walk through the wall and it's fucking great but I don't know exactly how to do it is the problem I think I have to like try to open it I saw the clip I don't know the exact angle I'll have to double check it oh absolutely dude Chris Darrell has like retweeted that shit that's allowed on Twitch Butterbean it's inserted art in this game there we go they did like they like the uh, Chris Darrell on Twitter like retweets shit about Felton's ass all the time. And he like tweeted like pictures of Felton's ass. I'm pretty sure explicitly to uh, spite Juo. Well, yeah, there's a reason why they've already added the sequel on this. Hold on, Hunter. How do you heal? Uh, either over time, or you can also get it off of. Mirrors in the game. Or metronomes, I should say. We'll get it back, though. In time. Where'd he go? Oh, where the hell did Felton go? Holy shit, wait a minute. I don't know where he is. How weird. Where is he? Oh, what are you doing? Felton, what the fuck was that? Why are you waiting there? What a dick. Is it back in the future? No. Come on. Ooh, we're gonna have to play very safe coming up. Yeah, Felton's not being nice to me. He's being pretty cruel. Well, yeah, that's what you gotta do. Yep, she does that. Come on. Good question. Good question. A hat two is also a uh, capped. Don't hit me. Doctor, oh fuck, no no. Are you doing Oh my god. Oh my god, that was so fucking real. Oh my god, that was almost death. That was almost dead, by the way. Holy shit. Shit, no weapon? Are you kidding me? Alright, come on. We're good. I got a new weapon. We're safe. Doctor Bleed, got him. Uh, 
Then we zoom away! Yay! Also, it's pretty hard to see in the dark, but... Noisy little... Here's what he's been doing. We have good RNG. This is good. I will make you regret you a okay, run through. Not bad. No, not Dr. Ill Bleed! Also, I just need to find days for everything now. I'll, I'll figure it out with all the people involved. There we go. Good gold. Still here. Yeah, that's fine. Dude, how many times have I stabbed Felton at this point? A lot, that's the answer. Fucking We have stabbed Felton a oh, fuck ton, dude. It's great. Alright, come on. We're doing good. Three? Haha. -ha. Well deserved, I might add. No, he'll never wash out his mouth. He's filthy. Come on. Good. Not bad. He does. He hates me. There we go. Is there one right here? There was one right there. I could have had that. Ah, that's fine. We're safe. Felton hates me, dude. I don't know why. He's a dick. All he did was visit his house... As a tourist. Are we really tourists in fairness? He doesn't have a gift shop or anything. Can you imagine Felton having a gift shop? Like, holy shit, dude. That'd be horrifying. Also, that was a perfect battery. How? I'll take it. Fuck her. Thanks, Felton. Picture of his ass on the film? Come on. I don't know why you want pictures of Felton's ass. More power to you if you want that, though. That's absolutely a more power to you move. In the gift shop? Ah, yes. The gift shop with pictures of Felton's ass in it. It is ass shots with inspirational quotes, yes. And then a shirt. Uh, what would the shirt say? You see, Dark Fear, you're saying it's all negative as ass, but that sounds like a positive. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a horrible film pun I just made. But I enjoy that one. Let's see if we have the, uh... Red Nun skipping on deck. Also, coolest part of the game, easily. Oh, I should have played that cutscene. Nah, it's fine. Ah, right, come on. I'll make you swallow your own tongue. What's happening? So, at this point, you played the film. Felton reveals something called the Red Nun, which is the thing on the wall. And then he started choking you like a dog like choker thing and mounted you on the wall while he prays to his deity. And now we're gonna meet that deity. So we have the runaway. Uh, Felton's also afraid of this red nun. So uh, the enemy of the enemy is my friend and we're gonna get, take Felton here. And I'm gonna launch him in this wall so I can run away. That's a glitch you do. And it blocks the red nun, also first try. And the only try you get. By doing that, the Red Nun won't be able to chase me, and I'll be considered escaped once I run to the back area here. There you go. Felton is done. And that's the Red Nun glitch. It's a pretty good skip. And now we have a new person running around. We don't know who it is yet, but we'll figure it out in time. Jennifer? Also, now I've officially healed. 
We're gonna investigate the music back here, and with that, we're also going to be... Ah, no, she looks like the red nun. She looks like a nun, Butterbean. There we go. Put that down. Let's keep running. I like how they move the record player over, like, from here to there, I think. Yeah, they really did, didn't they? They do have the line. They do. It's a good moment for this game. Nice. Where do they move her body and why? We'll find out soon. But the Red Nun moved her body, if you're wondering. I think it was the Red Nun. Also, speaking of the Red Nun, the way this is going to work is we're going to go this way. I mean, if her clock tower is probably SNES. I like all of them pretty equally, though. SNES is probably my favorite just by the sheer virtue of it. Although, if I really had to pick a game to play casually again and again, Haunting Ground every fucking day of my life. Haunting Ground is definitely the best of the series at its peak. Um, but I probably play SNES the most. I can see it. The music in this game is absolutely amazing. Yeah. Least? Probably PS1. PS1 I like, but it's very much not a game. It's a visual novel, essentially. I used to think Ghost Head was the worst because I didn't like the third level, but that kind of grew on me. Meanwhile, PS1 isn't a game, it's mashing. It's not relevant, Butterbean. Hi, Joe. Yeah, well, I think this is definitely a stellar clock tower game. I put this definitely in the better half of the games. <laughs> also, I mentioned this before, but this is, like, the best game to come out. Like, the best horror game to come out in 2018. Mainly because Horror 2018 also didn't have a lot of good releases, but still. So that lady is... Jennifer. Um, she doesn't like it when you touch her things, and we took her photo. So she wanted to get rid of us. I'm gonna try for a skip right now, which is going to work like so. The remote will be down. Perfect. I'm gonna steal her battery. And then we're gonna avoid quite a lot. Yeah, this game's coming on 2018. She's gonna chase you with a nail gun. However, I'm gonna wait for this to open, and then we're gonna run past the red nun, and bonk to there. If you don't like it, Butterbean leave. It's a good game. It looks like it came out in 2018, especially as an indie game. It looks good. What's the best horror game of 2019? Probably already... Well, no. Devotion. What am I even saying? Devotion is the best horror game of 2019. Ha oh, fuck. No, no, no. This is bad. Um, shit. No, not RE2 make. Devotion. RE2 makes fucking boring. Our Devotion, hands down. No. no devotion. That's not hard? No, Devotion. Devotion all fucking day long. Oh my god, we got that. Song of Horror is good. Blair Witch is okay. I don't even argue Blair Witch is the best, though. Blair Witch is pretty mediocre, all things considered. It's not bad. Better than Blair's Beer, too, but it's... Eh. Devotion, by the way, came out in 2019, so that game is the best one. And yeah, audio. I agree. Doing work. That was risky, though. I almost died. RE2 Make is nice, but the problem with it is it gets very old very quick. I will play RE3 Make when it comes out. Mainly because I really like RE3. RE2 Make was okay, and I played like a month after it came out for that one. I'll probably do RE3 Make pretty early on to its cycle just because of the. What the? When you spawn here, what the fuck was that? Never seen that spawn before. Well, Q, that's never happened before. What? How are you there? Oh my god, this is disgusting. Yeah, the pacing of Blair Witch is pretty rough, especially near the end of it. Yeah, the Red Nun was... She normally spawns on the stairs. It's a powerful hat. But that's my logic. Wait, Juo, would you... Oh, I guess you didn't play Devotion, so you wouldn't know. Oh, I know. Oh, if you're wondering what it was in 2017, RX7, hands down, dude. That game is so fucking good. Oh, with Pizza Percent. There you go. I agree. Like, most of the Western horror games are very much, like, 
action-y corporate. Devotion was literally art. If you want to make the claim that video games are art, Devotion proves that as in many senses. It got in a rise out of like so many people. It led to controversy. It, it was great. Ah, uh, Butterbean, I don't know where you're leading with that, but do you have any examples? It did. I got pulled from Steam as a result of uh, just kind of getting review bombed. Which is more than the review bomb part. Do you? Well, yeah, if you're going to make a claim, you have to have examples. Because if, if you're saying random things, I can ban you. You know this, right? Because that sentence comes off as rather strange if you don't have anything. Do you, can you name any, then? Name an example, or I'll time you out for 10 minutes. Yeah. You have 10 seconds. Alright then. Uh, Zoku, time out for 10 minutes. Oh, hold on, I have to do this. Thank you, Zoku. Uh, yeah, that's him. Exactly. There's a lot of cool horror games out there. I know an interesting one is going to be, uh... Did it go through? Yeah, you're good. You got it. You got it. Yeah, it's good. It's there. I saw a Filipino horror once from the same guy who was doing Never Any Nightmares, but it ended up falling through, unfortunately. There is some cool stuff. However, I just want to mention, usually when people, like... I don't, off the top of my head, I don't know any African, uh, like, lore-based horror games. And usually, given that it's Twitch, that comment can lead somewhere very quick. I can name different styles. You can name Mexican. I can name Mexican horror, you know? RE5? That's not African-inspired. That's just based in Africa. A good example is Devotion that has lore that's based in Taiwan, and it's based in that area. Give me a quick moment. Ooh, close one. I'm glad you enjoy it, Brolstein. I'm glad you enjoyed it. There we go. Hold on, where are we at? Sorry, Jim. And exactly, there's some really cool areas of horror. I don't claim to know all of them. However, given that it's Twitch, that comment goes somewhere wrong very quick. And I, like... Even hinting it's going to be a, just a ban at that point, because it's pushing it pretty well. I'm probably going to get one more. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, Devotion was Taiwanese. There's obviously Japanese horror, things like um, Juon. Hell, re like, Nightcry Tenley is Japanese horror when you think about it. Italian horror comes as things like this, and they all have their little differences in lores and the way they work. And there probably is. And not much, Camden. I are there any Mexican horror games, though, now I think about it? Because there's La Llorona. Like, I know there's the curse of that. Um, wait, is La Llorona the bride? Like the, the 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 beautiful bride, Korean horror with White Day, yeah. Why do you get timed out? Me even too much. All the the crying woman. Who's the bride? Because I know all the Rona drowns the children. But who's the bride? Because I know like there's a skin in League based off it, which is the crying bri like the ghost bride. And that's something. Yeah, it's all good. Organa, yeah. Yeah, and then obviously there's like Lechup, uh, Lechup Cabra. Exactly, Shock. We're trying to avoid all that there. There we go. And Toss. But Fatal Frame is hardcore Japanese horror. Alright, let's run through. Yeah, it's going well. How's it going, Azon? Good to see you, my dude. So all that boss time. We are. Wait, really? Alright, so we had a good dinner. I remember the Chupacabra as a kid. I was that was Latin America. I guess I could be wrong. There we go. I remember correctly, wasn't the Chupacabra like they ate livestock? The ring is definitely based on Jap as uh Japanese. Why isn't the Chupacabra game? I don't know, not profitable. No ideas on it. I never played Fatal Frame 5, so I can't quite say. Oh, yeah. Ooh, so there we go. We, all right, Puerto Rico. All right, then. 
Cool. Lava the Rona would be cool, I think. No, no goat simulator. There we go. And obviously a lot of tales are like German and such as well. But it really depends on what they come from. Alright, also grab that. Perfect. Oh, I can see that. I guess I could see that. And also, it's not entirely foreign for an example, like, hell, uh, Fumi Kono is entirely a Japanese guy, but he did remother, or he did Clock Tower SNES, which was inspired both off Dario Gento films, which are absolutely of Italian styles. There we go. Cultural horror is actually a really neat thing, because there's many different stories that get told in that sense. That's an Acronius. And I like that. Have I played Hellblade? I have, and Hellblade's amazing. And that is a good example of Celtic horror. Hellblade is very good. I have played Sweet Home. I own it, in fact. It's great. Sweet Home is amazing as a game. I want to submit that to RPG Limit Break as well, but I'm hoping that no one else does, because I'll get sniped and my ass kicked. Cajun horror. That would be fun. There I am. Okay. We got that. And then down we go. That's a lot of the logic, I would say. I don't know, it's a pretty solid game. I think it is definitely the best game of 2018 for horror. I never played the Hunt Showdown, so I'm not too sure. Technically, Left 4 Dead would be occasion setting, but nah, or Left 4 Dead 2. Oh yeah, RE7 counts, technically. Because of the bayou. Yeah, RE7, that kind of works. Yeah, RE7's great, in fact. Hell, RE7 is southern as hell, and I love every beat about it. It's like Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and it's fucking awesome. Yeah. I only already have RA7. Ooh, Voodoo would be cool. So what happened? Shit, I'm dead! No, please. Say goodbye to my eyes. We die. My eyes are dies. Oh, I do know about the Shadow Man call me CTT. Ross went out that game. Also, this is the worst part of the game easily. There you go. All right. Oh, Native American horror would be cool. Why the eyes? Uh, cause we blinded her initially years ago, I think. Oh yeah. At some point, possibly, Ra. I was about to say. There we go. I mean, like, play it off stream or on stream? Because that changes the definition very quick on the answer to that one. Off stream, maybe. I like Man Madan, never played it. Heard it's interesting. Off stream is a lot easier than on stream. Bonk. Okay. Almost done with the run. You know, funny enough, I'm not even that far off, all things considered. Yeah. I think it's still available, but it's a really neat skin. Like, that's... Oh, you sh Like, I like that skin, but I also like Blackthorn. I feel like if I get that skin for free, I'll use it, but I'm gonna wait. And I'm gonna wait, like, get, like, a skin shot or something. Like, I think I will at some point. Thank you for the follow. And dead. There's always a lot of cool things out there. Not cool cultures. But yeah, that, anyway, to answer the question about best horror game of 2019, Devotion, hands down. Again, above RE2 make. Thank you for the host, or the follow. I'm, I'm, I'm dummy. If you're wondering why I don't say RE2 make, even though everyone and their mother says RE2 make, the game is very expected. 
It's an okay game, but it lacks the nitty-gritty that devotion can bring forward. There's a big difference when you have one of the world's biggest game studios making a game that's right up their alley and making it pretty well. Very carefully, Christina. Very carefully. And then Devotion, which was done by a company that did Detention already. Not this time. Like, they hit out of the ballpark 100% of the time, and it was well-received everywhere. That's not one of the best-reviewed games on Steam for a while. Until it got review-bombed. I have the Lucha Libre Braum one, and the... I have a few of them, I think. We are coming to the end, Juo. Hey, don't worry, though. We'll have more marathons. We have a marathon of games tomorrow, which is going to be... Tomorrow will be a general set of games, depending on what we vote for. There we go. So if you're a sub and have not done so yet, feel free to join the Discord and vote. Uh, that will allow you to help pick the games for tomorrow uh, as well. I think so, uh, Verl Steam. I never played it is the problem. It, it seems like it was like Hellblade when I looked at. What games do I have in mind? Uh, I put a big list of 38 of the games I currently run, and those games can be decided by subs. I don't have the ability to pick that. I have the list. Last I checked was winning was Luigi's Mansion, Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion, and uh, Alice Mattis Returns, but it could have changed. And I'll have to check to see what ends up winning in total. I might make it like about seven hours or so, I think, but we'll see. I had not, but Pathologic sounds familiar. Also, got her. That's a good backup, just in case. I like that line. She's photosensitive, not stupid. Like about maybe. Like I'm going longer lately already to prepare for our full-time streaming. So I think we do seven. I'm liking eight hours. When's the subathon? Not sure yet, Yami. I haven't thought about that yet. I don't know what I'd offer either. I've kind of offered incentives in general. You found a cool game? Alright. Here's the thing, Butterbean. I think you understand. I You may have probably heard the point I was making. If you're genuine, that's cool. However, mentioning, like, yeah, it can lead to a very bad place very quick. You did the same with the I am. You Alice is winning. Remember, it's like the top si like six or seven hours of games. Probably seven. It's called Stasis. What's it about? There we go. I do give you props for actually doing research on one. Alright. I think so, but I've never played it. You kill the old man. How is your integrity? Yeah. That's like a bone sword, is the official kind of thing on it. Like, it's like a bone sword, I suppose, because it's like, it's a stabbing. It's really the only way I can say it. Or bone piercer? A bone full arm, maybe? I've thought about why I have no mouth on my stream. I'm not really sure. Is death face on there, in general? No, no, um... Hit exclamation mark speedrun and I'll have the full list. And also, it's in the Discord as well. Yeah, it's like a spear made out of bone. Oh, a spear, yeah, there you go, you're right. Spike? That might be it. Bone Spear is the best one. Alright, almost done. I have played Soma. I liked it. It was fun. Oh, I don't know Jennifer's actual corpse. Oh, Jennifer was Felton. So, it burned alive. Alright, yeah, that's fine. I don't mind if he does, if he does research. That's cool. But it just it's very easy to go in other ways. Helton's wife? Oh, she was in the, uh... She was in the room with all the mirrors. She's a boss fight. She's haunting you in there. Anyway, enjoy the ending. We've done this far. We're gonna watch the ending. And holy shit, 7.40? Not bad. I think I actually own Metro 2033, Estafo. I, I might just straight up own it. Soma was nice. I enjoyed it very much.
Hmm. You need to see to know where you are hmm. hiding. There we go. Go for it, Seneco. Might be a good idea, Brolstein. Also, Rooney did it better, just saying that now. Rooney did it better. Gloria is a good enemy, though. I love Gloria as an enemy. Should be my top three, I think. But Rooney did do it better. Like, Gloria is so fucking well designed. Gloria is also the Red Nun, making her pretty high up. Oh yeah, so much to me about the same amount of time. Like, so much to me about 8 hours. It's about an 8 hour game, I'd say. Clock Tower, if you know what you're doing, it's fast. We can't mind I speedrun these games. If I speedrun Soma, it'd be like an hour 30. Well, that's world record, actually. Probably gonna be like 2 hours. Well, there's nothing else for me to do in the game. The game is all cutscene from here on out. Speedrunning begins on the first, like, the menu, and then afterward, it will happen on the final action. So there's no more game for me to do. It's all just cutscene now and we can enjoy the ride. The final action of the game dictates the ending. Unless the game might be different, like some I know Japanese timing might be um, all the way to the end of the credits. But usually in the western sphere of things, you want to go final action, because honestly it's just smarter. It gives you more reset attempts. I should never have come here. The idea of the west is that you get the full breadth of time. It's like, oh, I don't want to wait... T ten minutes for this. The disease. They only used it to improve the binoxal. The moths were the final piece for the yeah. cure. And to show the world how much they were worth. They had noticed how moths were acting on Felton after he caught the disease in Egypt in 58. Oh, he deserved it. We were all test animals at the plantation. Big Pharma bad. They made us believe we had been touched by the hand of... This isn't roll the record. This is like telling eight minutes behind it, I think. Even more. I don't even remember what my YouTube video had. There's nothing just half and half. I don't like Big Pharma, but I do like the relationship between Rosemary and Gloria, which comes soon. That's why I'm talking over this shit. This shit's boring. It's Big Pharma bad. Big God bag. Bag. Oh, God. veterans suffering from post-traumatic... Panoxyl bad chat. To forget the horrors. As the Among the sleep, Butterbean. That life. technically exists. Also, What's Nightmare on Elm Street. As a series, anyway. Just like all of us, he was a victim. He could only count the results of the experiments of the plan. You mean Nikki? What about lack of sleep? Nightmare on Elm Street. Drew the drug from the market. Yeah, and remember this year comes out. I want to say summer. I think June or August. I can't remember which one. One or two. Fucking bastard. Synthesizing parasites and mixing them with the drug. Only showed him he could do better. Among the sleep? No. And Nightmare on Elm Street? Nah. No. It's not a fun game. Our memories. But we were only able to yeah, the expositional parts of this I don't like. I like the part of them talking together, and I'll let I won't talk over that. But I don't like the big pharma bad. You can enjoy the message. It's just it's extremely forced, and it's trying to get you to go in the area. I don't know. At least it is. I've heard about it, but probably I never played it. Here you go. The sessions were for her to just forget. Forget everything forever. And he was the one to push her to leave. And eventually, she did. She ran away. But I still have unanswered questions. By the way, we're we didn't for Celeste Felton, the daughter, this entire time. It may be the end of everything. And maybe we're 
already dead. Omae wo mu shinde iru. And neither of us knows it. <laughs> I'm not the one who is crazy here. Jaxler, I'll be going full time streaming starting in February. Maybe we both are. It's because she had literal acid in her eyes, and the only way to get it to stop was to rip them out. She's she was probably gonna be she's like in like a thousand daggers every second until she did that. No. No mouth is a good one. Yes, you could. Yeah, Jaxler, it'll be interesting. <laughs> yeah, Big McLarge, it'll be good. World record? Oh no, I'm behind by a few minutes. You wanted to nice, Big McLarge. We just finished Old Man Ass. This was not from God. It was fucking stupid anyway, enjoy. science. And those two things have never been compatible. We believed it. It's true. And we were wrong. Sorry to hear, Greenie. You left us there to die. I don't... I don't know. I... I don't remember. I can't remember. It's all confusing and I... I don't... Anyway, it's over now. No. I don't want to die rotting in hatred. I've hated all my life. I don't care anymore. It doesn't matter who you were. What we were. Do it. You are what you have become. Yeah, Electronic. Look at yourself. I'm nothing like this. This is all just farce, discount store garbage. You know, now I remember when I was young and I would lie on the ground. At this point, Gloria is like on the verge of dying. By the way, she's gonna die by the end of this. That is how we save our memories from oblivion. She is still alive. You will find her. I know you will find her on top of the world. What? If God is real, I know he is made of this love. I hope. You will both forgive me one day. I already have. She's like 35. Bad habit. Smoke. Forgiveness. Maybe, Audio. Maybe. <laughs> That being said, uh, Gloria and uh, Rosemary were sisters of the same nun like nunnery convents. At this point, Gloria is pretty much about to die and is accepted defeats, and they kind of share a moment together and talk about a lot of stuff here. Because uh, Christina, um, the thing that Rosemary stabbed with a needle was uh, cortisone, and one of the results of being uh, the disease that they end up getting is that they're heavily allergic to cortisone, and it makes them really. Um, a Sensitive to light. Rosemary left early and burned down the convent. Also, yeah, Ross, I'll have to do a few things. Like, eat. Hmm. It makes you allergic to the sun, there's a difference. Tired? A little bit. in the bag. Yeah, made him more uh, sensitive to cortisone, I think. The, the, the other thing was phenoxyl. It's different. 
There's phenoxyl and cortisone. There's two medicines, but which is possible. Of hope. hope? I have it going hard. I mean to say that despite everything. I'm enjoying the ending of this. She was not resigned to the idea also, of. Awesome, trying to something on my phone really quick, because I'm curious. No. I hear that zombie, but hell, that's the entire Clock Tower series no. oh. in one stream. All right. That being said, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you all for watching the uh, Clock Tower full series. And I